his car out dimmer than the moon And the radio is playing low It's Johnny Cash in June And I know these hills, these twisted roads I know they're every turn As the city sits below And like a distant fire it burns I'm a rebel to the one I love Her heart so far from me Yeah, I'm a rebel to the one I love Just a man who's lost at sea I don't, I don't, I don't want to be involved in this at all. Yeah. Like you, you, you kind of sounded like you ran straight into the epitome of white trash. Yeah. Yeah. Just about. All right. I don't know. Her apartment looked better than this. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give her. The, I guess her. I guess her ex-boyfriend's apart. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh. Sorry, we're late, chat. I'm sorry we're late. We're not late. We're, we're on time. We're exactly on time. We're, we're late by an hour, chat. I wanted to finish my episode of Venture Bros. <laughs> we weren't late. We weren't late. We Venture Bros time was, was factored in. <laughs> uh, ego for dollar. Hey, oh, lolly, oh. Ah! Ah! Uh, whose dick are we sniffing tonight? Mine. You can always sniff my dick, baby. Uh, Juan Wick for a dollar. Last time I was early, this son, my, my, my son wasn't born. Just kidding. I, I, I don't get bitches. Belly laughs and feels sad. Oh, thank God. Uh... Okay. Someone asked what that second song was. Second song was Rebel by Blitz and Trapper. Yep. Mm -hmm. Blitz and Trapper has some pretty good tunes. Yes. Pretty pretty good tunes. Yeah. All right. And before we swap on over, uh, there there is there, there is an important test that mm -hmm. must be done. Oh yeah. So I have a bunch of Magic Spoon like granola bars. Yeah. Okay. Before you before you eat this, it is supposed to be cookies and cream. Okay. I'm gonna spoil it for chat. That tastes like shit. It smells weird. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is as you taste it, this is supposed to be cookies and cream. All right, Lolly, yeah. go, give it a shot. All right. Official sponsorship by the Great Magic Spoon. <laughs> we, we got a lot of money for this. A lot of money. Very great people, great yeah. brand, great company. Does that, that taste like cookies and cream? <laughs> I told you. It tastes like someone busted in your room and just in your fucking mouth while you were asleep. 
I was gonna segue into a joke, but this fucking sucks. I've been eating one of these a day to get rid of them. I have 20 of them. I got them for free. What the fuck is this? I don't know. Are there like cranberries mixed in? I don't think so. It tastes like there's cranberries. There's chocolate. There's clearly chocolate on it. And it don't taste like chocolate. It don't taste like anything. Uh, Much most dollars owned a PS3. Any slash what armor cord games are on it. Uh, four answers on it, I know for sure. Uh, I think uh, Verdict Day. Five is on it. Four is on it. I'm pretty sure. Mm. So Wendigoon lied to us? The cereal is apparently good. The, the cereal is busting. I've had some cereal. The fucking granola bar is garbage. The granola bar is actually really bad. Holy mm -hmm. shit. This is awful. Yeah. Yeah. You get a quarter of the way, and then you go, Oh, man, I gotta eat all that? It's keto-friendly, though. You guys watched the Venture Bros movie? I have not. So, I, uh... Last anime night, I had, uh... uh we can go ahead and get that guy. Mm. Oh, I'll get him. I'll get him. Now, Space Mountain Dollars. Uh, as comic nerds, can y'all explain why y'all's ears are filled with jizz? Yeah. Oh, because oh, uh, people are simps. Um... <laughs> We'll get we'll get to it later, chat. I want to don't want to tell my story. Tell your story. I'm eating this fucking granola bar. So uh, I saw I saw the Slim Jim Fizz, which is a it's a it's a Venture Brothers drink. So last anime night, uh, I made a Slim Jim Fizz. It actually, tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good, especially for a drink that's mixed with a fucking Slim Jim uh, and has a Slim Jim in it. it it's pretty fucking good. Uh, and it got me thinking. I was like, you know, I don't think I've ever seen all of Venture Bros. I've just seen everything that was on Adult Swim whenever I was actively watching it, and I think it's a good majority of it. Uh, so I decided, yeah, I'm going to make sure I watched everything. I'm going to go ahead and re-watch Venture Bros. And uh, I just watched the last episode of Season 2 before the stream started. Uh, that's what I was halfway through. And uh, whenever Lolly got here. So we just finished it together. And uh, it's enjoyable. There's like two episodes of shit that, uh, that I, I had not seen before. So I have actually missed stuff. It's been fucking great. I'm yeah. actually getting less happy the more I eat <laughs> I know! <laughs> I'm watching you fucking... I can see the sweat beads building up on your forehead. Mm. It's like, I'm chewing it, and I'm just like... I don't taste anything, and when I do taste something... It's, it's like, not good! It's not good! It's like flavorless chocolate and, and kind of cherries. What part of this is supposed to taste like cookies and cream? I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at the... I'm going to look at the ingredients. Hang on, I might be able to turn the light on. Yeah. The mm. hell is in this? Cookies and cream flavored grain cereal. All right. It doesn't even look like cookies and cream. It doesn't even look like cereal. Mm. There's gotta be. There, there's gotta be fucking. All right. He he said it, Lolly. I was talking to Lolly uh, about this, but there's a couple like. Even so far, there's a couple fan favorite episodes that were played on Adult Swim so much that I actively dislike them, and the Mecha Shiva episode. Is one of them. Yeah. I fucking... I, I despise the uh, Trial of the Monarch. And uh, the other big one was uh, whenever they... Um, whenever they uh, go to... What's his face? Is, uh, like Admiral Lockjaw or something. Yeah, the, the jaw guy. I forget his name right now. But whenever they go to his palace and they're they're dressed up for Halloween. Mecha Shiva. Mecha Shiva. Yeah. Boo you. How many berries are in cookies and cream? I don't know! I, it's fucking garbage! Watch my dealers. Cookies and cream is never going to be health food. What, what, so this is a this is like a proper granola bar. Serving size is one bar. One bar is uh, 130 calories. So that's not terribly bad for a bar. One gram of sugar. Ten grams of protein. Four net carbs. I guess it's okay. How much fiber is in it? Oh no! It tastes like there's a bunch of fiber. I don't see any fiber. You gotta be somewhere down here. Dietary fiber, six grams. Ooh. Holy shit, that's twenty-one percent. Yeah. Holy yeah. Gonna be shitting good tonight. Fucking for real. Barren, yeah, a barren underbite. That's it. Yeah. But uh. you can. <laughs> Lolly still isn't through with the. Neither am I. But I've been talking. Lolly still isn't through with this fucking garbage ass bar. There's one bite left. I can assure you your day is ruined after you eat that final bite. I promise you. 
Original VA for Harley Quinn died. A lot of people died, like, the last two days. Uh, Bob Barker died. Uh, Sorkin died, which is the Harley Quinn voice yeah. actress. Um, Terry Funk. Terry Funk. Brett, uh, Brett Wyatt died yesterday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It hurts. Best Venture, uh, Best Venture Bros joke is Orpheus getting shot by uh, Action Man and grabbing... Grabbing him and telling him two years, seven months from a stroke before leaving him and then, then paying off the joke seven seasons later. <laughs> it, it is pretty good. My my favorite part from that joke isn't even uh, isn't even the 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 countdown or anything. It's when they fucking uh, he, ter- he he turns into snakes, right? And Hank's like, "Oh wow, I didn't know you could turn into snakes." And he goes, "No, I can't. I can just make people see things." And he ha- he has his fucking bullet wound in his arm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, that was so bad. Oh life, my god. Your life is permanently worse. I promise you. That shaved a year off. I know, right? Crypt Daddy also died. Crypt Daddy died. Yeah, him too. Oh, yeah. I literally I choked to death that. on a tombstone pizza, which is probably like, <laughs> honestly, of all the ways to die, that's probably the one he would want the most. He did love tombstone pizza. Ah, the whole gay internet drama with Eric and Dick is why the creators of Common America, my favorite alt media creators, mm-hmm. they just show up, make their magical girl comic, and even get popularized to work with them. Yeah. They started. They started the the same way as uh, everyone else, but they quickly learned that you have a wider audience if you don't shove a bunch of bullshit into it. So they stopped yeah. and kept it on their Twitter shit. They didn't care about going on streams and talking about their comic. They just fucking made it. Yeah. Uh, Mark nine nine for two dollars. Hey guys, I would go and showed us uh, something I have to tell you. Jesus showed him maybe you should just throw out the bars. They taste that bad. It's not worth it. I'd rather die. Uh, Media goes for two twenty. Showed you bitch. I thought you died. Fuck you. Uh, Zodiac for a dollar. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm. How do you choke on a pizza? Crypt Daddy was a quadriplegic. I mean, that doesn't make it better. Big Boy Clutch for $2. Uh, Brett White died, uh, death hit hard. He was only 36. Yeah, but yeah. In, in WWE terms, that's like 100. Yeah. It actually kind of is. Mm-hmm. All right, we're immediately swapping over because, uh, uh, you know. We're a little bit late. Just a little. I mean, yeah. I mean, late's part of it, but it's also just because... We're a yeah. little bit late, all right? I mean, it's part of it, but, you know. When I speak, you listen, boy. Well, you know, it's also because this game is kind of cool. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's kind of a cool game. It's kind of a very cool game. I love the cool opening of Season 1, which is just an extended space audio joke where all the dialogue is the lyrics. Yeah, the uh, Major Tom one's pretty good. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of David Bowie references. Yeah. That right had Bowie as a character. Yeah, yeah. He, David Bowie is literally the leader of the bad guys. Yeah. So that's something I've gotten a bunch, is I quit out of the game, so I go to the main menu, I quit out to the title screen, everything proper, and then the game pops up and says, hey, you didn't quit out right, bitch. Do good. Get filtered by the helicopter? No. You don't understand, we are, we, we are uh, a ways, yeah, the show does a ways into it. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm towards the end of chapter, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm sort of close to the end of chapter three, I want to say. Yeah. We, we are not going to, to play from the beginning, at least in, like, new game sense, because... I didn't want to back up my data. I'm going to be real. Yeah. Well, yeah, don't want to back up the data, and the fun of Armor Core is customizing your big robot. Uh-huh. That is the fun of Armor Core. Uh-huh. Why would you go to the very beginning of the game when, you don't allow, when it doesn't allow you much cool robot okay, customization? Okay, okay. But with that being said, when you do the tutorial, you cannot bring it another mech to it. You have to do it. Okay. Um... With that also being said, so here here's something for new players that's going to help you out a lot. If you go to Sorte, uh, so you can just go to the, the actual thing and build them however you want. Well, I mean, like, yours is already saved, right? I'm not going to stomp over it. Yeah, just hit a plus. You, we can save it with a 40. There we go. Fuck it. Yeah. Uh, Marshmallow 2, so what is the lore setting of Armor Core? Uh, big, Hell. Yeah, big robots controlled by big corporations uh, that blow up planets for resources. Yep. Marshmallow 2, so, oh, yeah. You know, I'm banning Marshall. I'm, I'm sick and tired of that. All right? You know, I, I only ever read his shit twice. Okay, so we got miniguns. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, this is where I am in the game. This is easily the most effective thing. <laughs> yeah. Because you destroy their stagger gauge with missiles, and then you absolutely shred their armor with the miniguns. All right. This works. Mm-hmm. This actually works. But your paint. It's not edgy enough. Oh, well, I just slapped on the Iron Man paint. They, yeah. they have a palette that is literally just Iron Man. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's literally just Iron Man. Uh, figure and egg for two dollars. I'm reading the Conviction Arc of Berserk. Yeah. yeah, it is great. Good shit. All of Berserk's great. All right. I like how one of them is called Spider Races. So the only reason I've been the only reason I have been doing uh, presets at all is because I don't know what the new game plus is gonna be like. 
and I really, really just, excuse me, wanted to have something saved for whenever I come up to bosses, because the, the real filter of the game is at every end of chapter boss is a pain in the fucking ass that you have to, you have to build for. You have to build for all the end of chapter bosses. And uh, end of chapter two boss is a, is a fucking tank that is a, has a shit ton of armor and you do no damage to it. So I've just been going back, okay, uh, this is a preset to beat this boss, this is a preset to beat this boss, this is a preset to beat uh, this boss. And then on New Game Plus, I'm either going to use them or I'm going to use shit I have unlocked to do it again. Yeah. Lolly, can you clean the cum out of your ears? No. Fuck you. Yeah, well, I, I should actually explain that. So, like, Estate, Eric July, and, and Dick have been going through their bullshit on Twitter, which... Their little fags fest. Yeah, which is basically, hey, we're going to totally not set up a situation where a guy will fucking sue you mm -hmm. over what we think, quote-unquote, is a trademark issue. Mm -hmm. It's not. When you actually look into trademark law, it's like, it's aggressively not, yeah. but that's the claim anyway. Uh, and if you decide to call out how fucked up that is and, like, hey, maybe you shouldn't do that, especially when your entire career got propelled yeah. specifically because you were complaining about how a guy was trying to sue you, sue you for bullshit reasons. Yeah. Apparently you're just a fanboy with cum in your ears. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you're just a big fan of Eric July's work, you, you piece of shit. You don't have any any real criticism. It's like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, seriously. Go use your use your fucking brain. All right? I understand right now you're you're like pissing your fucking pants because oh oh god I I'm I'm in I'm in trouble. But use your fucking brain, dude. Yeah, seriously. Tofu for three dollars. Crypto died with alcohol and tombstone pizza. This is a funny and sad <laughs> world. Yeah. 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 Uh, Major Void for a dollar. You guys drug so many old total drama memories out of me with the party boat stream. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, Vito was screaming, "It's just a prank." He has a defense. Yeah. Yeah, which it's not. Yeah. No. Listen, okay. If you if you cause any damages right. whatsoever, it's gonna come back on you. Yes, it is an actual thing. Like they're trying to say, well, it's not illegal. It's not illegal. Yes, it very much is illegal because it can yeah. cause punitive if, damages. If Eric July, yeah, uh, if Eric July has to spend any money on on this stupid bullshit. That he can come after you, especially since it's just a frivolous. It really just seems like a frivolous fucking lawsuit to begin with. Yeah. Uh, kicked off by them going, "Hey, man, I'm just, I'm just saying." Yeah. You know, I think, yeah, I think this guy really reminds me of you, of your guy's stuff. Completely, yeah. completely fucking unrelated. Yeah. Well, the the claim is that oh well, Eric is is claiming to be part of the ministry. It's like he's advertising as if it's a you know yeah. part of the ministry and yeah. all that. It's like no, he didn't. Yep. Uh, figure nugget for two dollars. Falconia is an awesome city. It's it, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Daddy Chill for two dollars. Fuck AAPO7 Baltius, but I'm enjoying the game. Yeah. Uh, he, Baltius is literally the filter. I think I, I died to him a, a handful of times. Maybe maybe like ten or twelve times. And I was like, all right, I'm getting upset. I need to take a break. And I played Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, redid my build. Uh, redid my mech. And then I beat him on like my third try. Yeah. Uh, remember, if you get super upset with a game, guys, it's okay to back the fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Bow bow, I'll fucking kill you. No, it's not. I'm making I'm making my emblem, which is stupid and edgy, and I love it. Mm. Mm. I have a pre-made, oh. not a pre-made one, but you can get an emblem from beating a guy uh, in the in the arena. I have it. It is a it is a fucking a wolf with a muzzle on. Okay, that's pretty <laughs> you good. You just slap that shit on on somewhere. That's pretty good. Bow, 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 bow. Fuck you, chat. Piece of shit. Nah, I don't even care about Eric July. I just, uh, I just, wait, what the fuck? Jeez, fuck. I don't even care about Eric July. I just hate, uh, fucking goddammit, chat. Stop updating. I need to read the fucking thing. Uh, uh, Eric July, I just hate Dick and Vito. Dick's a Jew and Vito's a fag. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sir Atlas for two fake money's gonna watch Korean old boy in cinema. Uh, uh, have fun, boys. Yeah. Nice. Very good shit. Very good shit. But yeah, no, the... Everyone keeps going like, oh, well, you're you're letting the fact you hate Vito get in the way of what might have happened. It's like, do you want to know what happened? Yeah. Vito, with the history of fucking people he doesn't like by tattling to the teacher, did exactly that again. Yeah. Like, people have a history of shit, man. Like, fuck yeah. off. Bad, bad dog. Bad chat. Bad. Behave. Uh, where is... There he is. I told you, it's stupid. It's stupid and edgy, and I love them. You know, what? I haven't, I haven't made, I haven't made any, so I, I can't. Talk. Okay, okay, maybe don't squish the, don't, don't squish the doggy that much. He's, he's a retard doggy now. I'm trying to keep it to where it's like centered. Yes, yeah, centered. Here. This works. 
Uh, 14's Alexander Raid theme has some good uh, good advice. Falling back is better than falling back into, into pieces again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I so I finally I finally have Samurai unlocked on 14. Because uh, for whatever reason, I, I keep deciding to make new characters instead of play through the, the newest expansion. Uh, so I've been playing playing through a dedicated Samurai. It took forever just to get to level 50. <laughs> yeah! Uh, now... No decals on your actual thing. That makes me sad. Uh, uh, where I is... I think it should be somewhere on one. Somewhere on one. Mm. Or the one that you were just on before this. There it is. Yeah, right there. Four. Yeah. Yeah. It's a wolf with a muzzle. Yeah, there we go. He's a cool guy, though. He's a cool character. Okay. So that's there. Lolly just got the bad dog in him. He got that dog in him. Yeah. Vito isn't retarded enough to think an acronym is the same as just having a uh, having a name, so that shit's uh, definitely mal uh, malicious. Yeah. Makes sense an envious asshat like Vito would do this. Space le uh, Space Man has two hours needed. Center the letters aren't <laughs> the letters aren't lined up. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Excuse me. No. Tips for dodging machine gun fire and missiles: spam dodge. <laughs> just fucking spam dodge. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. Uh. Yay. Yeah, the seven guy has a fucking ice pick. Yeah, it's fucking great. Yeah, I some of these have been pretty cool, like the one above the wolf. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The it's, koi it's fish. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, koi fish becoming a dragon. Uh, I don't think it is actually. I can't remember what it, what it is supposed to actually look like. It kind of looks like a koi fish. Oh and yeah, a dragon. it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Major Void for Dollar also got Nafuga finally. Boron fuck so hard. Love all these kids and would die yeah. from. Yeah. Boron fuck hard, baby. Ugh. I just think if Vito did this, he'd be bragging, uh, but I really get all his reasoning. Yeah, but uh, I don't think he'd be stupid He is enough. bragging. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I was going to say, I don't think he'd be stupid enough to, to do something illegal and then brag about it. But uh, but they were. Like, they were on Twitter going like, well, you know what? Well, fuck Eric, and oh, it was just journalism anyway. It's like they, they've they been flip-flopping back and forth between bragging about it very openly and going, well, we didn't know anything. We didn't do anything. Didn't Even shit. though... The email address that was used to fuck with the ministry, the one that they sent to Eric, yeah. is the same email address as when they fucked with the charity, Comics for Kids, and they bragged about doing that one. It's mm -hmm. the same email address. Same guy was involved with that. So we're supposed to believe that this time they didn't have anything to do with it? Someone, fuck you. Someone else took the email. They sold some guy. It's fine. Uh, Shut you're walking ready for the struggle snuggle that is the summer banners. Well, A, when do they drop? B, who's dropping? Because I... I just got my summer Musashi up to MP3, and I got Bunny Artoria, even though I don't I don't give a shit about her. Uh, it's official now. This is what you are. Bad dog. E. Bad dog. I, I'm, I got that mad dog in me, Chet. I got that dog in me, bro. I'm changing your legs. I don't like spider legs. Their hover is good. I mean, okay, no, no. Here's the thing. Hmm. If you use the build I have, what makes them good is you are in the air, you hover, and you rain death down. Okay. That's what makes them good. So I will try it. Uh, the the hovering thing is a little weird, and I think the game might even have the controls wrong. But you, when you're in the air, you just tap X and you'll go into hover mode. Okay. So, I don't have a shit ton of All right. illegal uh, entry. So yeah, it, it's top to bottom. Okay. Yeah. It, the, so top we to we will technically technically play it from the beginning. Yes. Uh, Much particular's favorite mecha anime. Uh, That's hard. That is hard. Uh, Gurren Logan. A big O, actually. No, it's not hard. It's big O. Yeah. They fuck with a kids charity and then bragged about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what the I don't know what the scenario is, but yeah. That one was uh, comics for kids. Uh, it was a big marketing opportunity where where Eric got Isom into comics for kids, where they hand out uh, comics to kids at hospitals. Mm -hmm. Well, they decided to call up and start asking questions, quote unquote, and be like, "Well, it, was Eric charging comics to the kids? Was he doing this? Was he doing that?" And basically tried to imply he was trying to scam the charity and like get money off them. Mm -hmm. uh, and and it's a thing where like. They even, like, there's a clip that Eric shows in the video where Dick's like, you know, this could actually fuck up his business, but you know what? Fuck it. It's like, this is shit where if Maddox did that to you back in the day, there would be 50 different stream clips of you calling him a piece of shit and how he needs to, you know, go to jail and is, like, obsessed with you and a yeah. fucking asshole. But now it's different. Okay, fuck you. Fuck, fuck you. Eighth the mess team, you're an animal. Uh, Xander Dawson, five dollars. Even gents, I'm interested in, in Armored Core, but I never played any of them before. How difficult is it actually? Is it mainly just game journals being journals? Uh, this one in particular is. Uh, it does have some difficulty moments. Like uh, the end of chapter one boss is the actual filter. You're seeing people complain about the tutorial boss, 
That's the, just people being stupid. The dude at the end of chapter one is the, the guy that's actual pain, actually a pain in the ass. But yeah, uh, all in all, they're not actually that difficult. You just need to play play them their own specific way. Yeah. Dick Masterson really hates black comic book nerds, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Lolly. Once these guys find out, we'll find out what the L stands for in your name. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, there was, there was a dude who was like a, a dick show fanboy that's like, man, you shouldn't be defending Eric on Twitter. Don't you know if he finds out what the L in your name stands for, him and his friends might might flag you down. And I'm like, I don't fucking, fuck off. I don't fucking give a shit. What's right is right. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry you're such a fucking pussy little faggot that what's right changes on how scared you are, but fuck off. Yeah, it's like, fuck off. You're not going to do this soft, threatening bullshit. It's, th- this is fucking two 40-year-old men who make comic books for boomers Yeah, I was, I was trying talking to get the earlier. fucking like, law on each you're other. You're fucking 40. You're, like, you're grown-ass men. Act like fucking adults, dude. Yeah. I, I've known fucking teenagers that act better than you. Like, Seriously. Fuck off. Fuck off. Jesus. Yeah, you're stuck in the tutorial mech, yeah. and it's garbage. I really hate this tutorial, mainly because it is not at all indicative of the actual game. No. Uh, like they, this is the equivalent of saying, "Hey, here's your broken, here's your broken straight sword in Dark Souls. Go fight the asylum demon." Yeah. And it's like, wow, that's annoying. It sucks. It isn't indicative of the actual game. Hey, then you get to the actual game, and you're like, "Wow, so that was a waste of time." <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, seriously. No, it's that they, it's that they gotta act like man children. Yeah, they do have to act like fucking kids. It's, yeah. it's fucking stupid. And at least Eric is like, hey, my lawyers are talking to the ministry's lawyers and we're gonna figure out what happened. Yeah. And even the fucking ministry is like, yeah, now we're kind of suspicious of where that email came from and we're, we're, we want to sit down and talk to you about this because, yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah. So, and as much as, like, all the people going, like, oh, well, it was just a bit, there's nothing illegal about this, like, because that's the new cope. It was, yeah. well, there's nothing illegal about making them aware of a trademark violation. It's like, yeah, you're costing them money. If you knowingly, if you, if you knowingly tried to get them to go after somebody for a quote unquote trademark violation that you knew was bullshit, there is, in fact, a, a violation. They can go after you for punitive damages. Uh, I won't lie, Baltius nearly broke me until I managed to knuckle down and actually think about what I was doing. Yeah, the big thing about him is his his shield is really fucking good, and, and he has a, a lot of damage that he just jettisons out. So you have to have a weapon that is effective against the shields, which is the plasma the plasma shit. Oh no! Uh, and then on top of that, like you need to face fuck him so that his missiles don't hurt you, and you need to you need to listen to him so you know when to dodge. It's annoying. Shoda, your build is your build is a warthog. No, I hate the tank. I hate the tank mode. Like the actual tank suck dick. I hate it. The the legs. Oh yeah. They're so slow. What they want you to do is you boost and then you can drift around. And while you're drifting, yeah. you're super duper fast. It's just really annoying to use. The thing is, like, none of the maps so far. Like, I'm still only in like Act One, so I'm super early. Mm-hmm. None of the maps even like point to you wanting to use that. You kind of oh. want to be flying in the air. Yeah, it's a lot easier to, to dodge stuff whenever you're in the air. Like, like I said, like your speed boost for the tank treads is, is probably the fastest I've gone in the game when you're drifting. Can you fight infantry and regular ground vehicles in this game? Ground vehicles, yes. Infantry, yeah. no. Yeah, uh, yeah. You're not you're not fighting people. People, you're fighting smaller mechs. Uh, you know, tanks, shit, shit like that. You know, and then also other other mechs themselves. Tanks probably better for PvP. Yeah, that's probably it. I imagine so game looks really pretty yeah no the uh, graphics are outdated from soft really needs to update their engine <laughs> yeah seriously it's like no what a, what a terrible fucking what a stupid fucking complaint yeah, the game game looks very pretty and actually runs very decent i haven't to my knowledge the problem I is noticed. i really hate uh dislike both sides of the shit show it's not a matter of sides it's don't try to get people fucking sued yeah don't don't be a massive piece of shit i don't care who you like fuck off yeah i don't give a shit if eric's comic is not that good don't yeah. fucking try to get him sued yeah He's also Missile Satan. He is. Uh, Vito chose fucking cuties of all things to play the contrarian. Yeah, sure, Vito. You totally don't actually like softcore French child porn movie. Yeah. Well, it's like, yeah. He's, yeah, he did this shit before. He tried to get Friday Night uh, Tights in trouble because they had Alex Jones on. It tried to get Rumble in trouble because they had Nick Fuentes on. Like, he does this shit all the fucking time, and for some reason, people keep giving him chances. Yeah. I don't Maybe. fucking understand it. Maybe don't give him chances. Pretty sure uh, it's on everything except for the Switch. This, yeah, it's on PS4, PS5, yeah, PC. PC. I'm sure both were, uh, I'm sure both Xbox versions. I cannot see this actually performing in functionally, functioningly on uh, on the Switch at all. No. 
I think you have to go to all three no matter what. Yeah. Oh, you do. Yeah. Uh, Owen Wally, it's obviously not a joke because he likes Berserk among with tons of Wally shit, right? Yeah, there was a guy that tried to say that, yeah. It has, it has a ton of Wally shit. You mean, you mean, you mean like, three characters? Yeah. Uh, what's, your, what's your shit? What's your damage? It's multiplayer, baby. You mean uh, multiplayer? In which case, yes. I can only imagine the multiplayer is super fun, but I, I ain't touching that until I, I beat the game. Does this game have secret parts on the uh, on the levels like previous games? Probably. I don't know. I haven't gotten to it. Probably. I haven't found any, but I did see a, a thing popped up on my YouTube earlier while I was playing it that said, How to get the Moonlight Greatsword? And I was like, okay, well, that would make sense to be something secret, so maybe yeah. we do get that. This game isn't pretty enough. Ah, yes, the Industrial Wasteland needs to be pretty. The game. That's the thing. The game is super pretty. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. I hope, I hope Eric and the ISON org work shit out. It's a dumb situation. It is. It's I think that I think they will specifically because, yeah, they're going to look at all the shit Dick and Vito are doing. Is like, okay, so they are actually just trying to interfere in this. Yeah. He might have to change the name just out of, like, a sense of, like, hey, to prevent this from ever happening again. But they'll find some new fucking business to be like, oh, well, see, they didn't even Google <laughs> and, and find out that this guy was named this, too. Yeah. Even though people are pointing out, like, Vito, your comic super killer is it, it shares the name of like an Indian like pesticide company. Right. What have they gone after you? Yeah. Uh, if you see children in Berserk as lollies, then that says more about you. I mean, there's a fucking moth girl whose name I can never remember. Rosine. Yeah, Rosine. Uh, and then there's uh, Shark. Shark. Yeah. I'm gonna call her Shark now. Uh, there you go, you. Shark. There's a there's Shark. Uh, those are your two main lollies. There are several secret parts, but they're far later in the story, like chapter four. Okay. Uh, Bamco's gonna find out the hard way why COD dropped custom emblems for Black Ops 3. Oh, they don't give a shit. Yeah, no, they don't care. Yeah, they, they don't care. Plus, you have to, like, actively go out of your way to look up the, the codes to download them and stuff. It's fine. Uh, the Moonlight Sword plays just like in Dark Souls. I highly doubt it. Um, Shark. Yes. Shark. Yes. Look at the power I hold. I'll rewrite Miura's history. Boom. Shark is best daughter. I'm picturing Gora and Berserk. I'm banning him. I'm, I'm banning him. I will not have this blasphemy. I love Shark. She'll turn Super, uh, turn Sonya inside out. My bad. Uh, Mark 99 for a dollar. My only problem with Armor Core, uh, Armor Core is you're called 621, which is uh, similar to E621, a popular furry porn site. <laughs> yeah. Same as, same as Demon Souls OG. I don't think it's that one. Two white comic nerds bully black comic cars in submission. What else is new? What else is new? That's racist, chat. Get her over here. Down. Yeah, people are complaining that it doesn't teach you how to use the sword, even though, like, it literally it's all, does. It's right it's there. On, it's on the thing. <laughs> Get her over here, Sonny. Down. It's it's right there, and then on top of that, it's it's the core part of beating the the helicopter. Yeah. I cannot I cannot see wasting so much time on the on the helicopter without it. Pronounced shark. Oof. That's on Critical Drinker and his takes. He gets a little too boomery at times where it's like the message and current thing. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't really give a shit, but yeah. he's right about some stuff, yeah. Shota, why'd you chain up that woman in Louisville? Oh, so, uh, chat, I'll tell you I'll tell you about this. So, yesterday, uh, yesterday there was a chick that got raped in Louisville. And the way that they caught the guy was there was a, there was a witness who uh, was passing by and instead of stopping this chick getting raped, the witness just took a picture of this dude raping a chick. And that's how the, the as I understand it, that's how the officials, that's how the police caught the rapist. Yeah. This dude's a literal fucking Linkara. Seriously? Literally walked on a chick, walked in on a chick getting raped and just took a picture. Bro, what the fuck? I know, right? Like, Jesus. Yeah. Compare that to some of the shit that happens around here. Like, there was that case where, uh, uh, it was in like a gas station where a fucking dude was beating up his wife at the gas station. Dude walked behind him and just blew his fucking head yeah, off. Fuck him. Uh, favorite mech game, Armored Core, Zone of Enders, or Front Mission? I mean, I really like I, re I like the way Zone of Enders plays. Zone of the Enders is awesome. So I'll have to say Zone of Enders, but Armored Core is a very close second. We don't talk about Front Mission in this house, chat. Uh, about the Xenoblade 3 season pass, I underestimated how addicting the concept of a roguelike bloody palace in a JRPG would be. That's fun. Honestly, if you don't believe me, like, look it up. Look it up. It's in the headlines. Yeah. 
and the car would just run away. I mean, the guy didn't stop him, so that's the same as running away. He walked upon a woman being raped? Dude, I'm going in. I'm going in. Women love a hero. Yeah. Well, that's it. You have full legal recourse to shoot him. Yeah, he's raping a chick. Yeah. You'll, you'll go to court and you go, well, should I have let the chick be raped instead? And then the jury's gonna go, damn, fam, you right, my bad. It's like, you know what, he he got a point, he got a point. He got a big point. I wanted the ball to help violent crime victims in New York, uh, but after what happened to that Marine in New York, I guess I can't blame them. I mean, it's called just being a decent person. Yeah, fuck consequences later. Yeah. Rex and Schultz kicked my butt in single play three. I can't believe you, chat. You have, full, you have full reason to fucking shoot the man. Yeah, literally. Just kill him. No. Uh. Uh, morning, fellas. This is my first FromSoft game, and I'm having a blast. I don't know how people are getting gay kept by the tour boss, but hey-ho. Uh, it's FromSoft. It attracts retards. I only struggled with, on Baltius and the Spider, anyways. Been uh, enjoying blasting things away in my AC based uh, off the comfort from Warren Pocket of the uh, Plantage Mech. Yeah. Restoring monarchism among the stars. The jackass not even think to call the cops. I'm assuming he. I'm assuming after he took a picture of the chick getting raped, he called the cops. I assume it was like some fucking Zoomer kid, like from Louisville mm -hmm. or something. And it's like, oh jeez, hey, oh jeez. Yeah. Uh, so a little bit base for two dollars. Me and my buddies like Mech Warrior Five. I bet you did. I bet you did, boy. Uh, nah, Mech Warrior is fine. Yeah. It got me because I ran out of my healing packs. <laughs> Best dead or alive waifu? Uh, uh, Marie Rose. Easily, chat. Alright. I've now seen all those repaired. pictures of her. Yeah, as you might have noticed, you get checkpoints. <laughs> and it even refills your repairs. Yeah, yeah. Very helpful. I only died to the heli once, but that was mostly because I was getting used to how the game plays. Yeah, that's, that was the same with me. It's like, he can get me, like, once or twice, but I, I beat him exceptionally easy. To the point that I was convinced, like, okay, there's going to be, like, a separate heli boss later, right? And people yeah, are like, actually, no, that was the guy. Yeah, no, yeah, there, there is one. They literally copy and paste this boss, but you're more capable later on. Okay. Uh, he, he does have a shit ton more health than shields, though. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, uh, that, that was the annoying part. I was like, ah, I see. They really said, now's the real boss. Ugh. Armor Core is low tier Mech Warrior. Mech Warrior is, I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. Mech Warrior compared to Armor Core is fucking shit. Like, if you compare them directly, I'm gonna I'm outright say Mech Warrior is fucking garbage. I love, like, I love Armor Core. Yeah, I mean, there, there's like two completely different fucking series mm -hmm. here. Well, uh, early on, not quite, but yes. Now, yes. Ah, he wants to be a fucking asshole. Making strides in technology in modern times. World's first wind powered cargo ship with ground baking metal wings. And stuff. I'm sure. Marsh Parts 2, is you prefer realistic mecha or unrealistic? Unrealistic, you get way more fun shit. Yeah, as long as you're doing fun stuff, unrealistic. Like, uh, what is it? For, for Answer has a giant a giant laser that you can just load in on the map and yeah. laser the fuck out of everything. Yeah. Like, yeah. I want that over, over like, super gritty, realistic shit. It's about having fun. Like, I, I don't want to pilot a mech just because it, like... It realistic. I want to pilot yeah. a mech to have fun. I want to pilot a mech because I want fucking Gundam Zone of the Ender shit. Yeah. I, I, uh, I was playing this early on and I was like, man, I really wish they just let, like, license out a Gundam game to someone other than fucking Bandai. Yeah, I know, right? I, I, want, I want from Bandai South snatches up licenses so many fucking times. Like, oh. Jesus. Yeah. I'll take a, uh, I hate the tank on legs design of Mech Warriors, and it, do, it doesn't even make sense in a, in a realistic sense. Eh. No, oh, Mech Warrior has some really cool shit to it. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact of people take that too far and, and have to turn that into, well, if it's not realistic. It's like, who gives a shit about realism? Sure. Mech Warrior's not really that realistic. Yeah. Uh, you're getting dangerous. Shorty, you're getting dangerously close to Journal skill. Oh, uh, this ain't me playing. This is Lolly. The way, the way I do this boss fight is I hit L3 and face fuck the face fuck the plane until I can uh, sort it, and then I sort it, because it does the most damage. Yeah, see? Yeah, see? Ass loads of damage. A shit ton of damage and a ton of stagger gauge. That's why I have an S rank on this mission. Ugh. Bamco are bad, bad devs. I think they just don't... They just have a set plan in place, and yeah. they go, yeah, we're going to do that every fucking game, and it's like... Because it works, it sells! Yeah. It's like, yo, we're gonna make a, we're gonna make an arena fighter, or we're gonna make a Muso, and it's like, my brother in Christ, you have you have the IP to to some of these insanely popular franchises. You just yeah. keep 
just keep making the same shit, please. His kids buy it up. That's yeah. the sad part. They just buy it up. You're goddamn right. I'm going to buy every fucking Dragon Ball game that releases, and I won't hesitate. Ugh. All he's getting filtered. He gets filtered every time he streams. Don't we all, chat? Don't we all? Chat, why are you sending me pictures of, of Kimberly and Lily? I told you I don't like them. Uh, did you know FromSoft made a Unicorn Gundam game on the PS3? Uh, maybe? Was that the multiplayer one? Ah. I was getting impatient there. It's your fault that Kakarot exists, Yoda. Hey, I enjoy playing Kakarot. Bow bow. I'll kill you. <laughs> have you done the Have you done the first act boss for this game? Uh, you mean the guy that starts with the beat? Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Uh, I'm on chapter three. I'm close to the end. Yeah. Because I, I got past the point where the game says, "Hey, you need to choose between these two missions, and it's going to change the story." Uh, I got to that point, and I was like, "Ah, yeah." Okay. I was like, I want to do New Game Plus, but I don't want to have to fucking choose my missions. This sucks. I'm still on Chapter 1, just because, like, I started it yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I played yes. about 10 missions or so. Then I had to, to stop because I got to work on, on video shit. Yeah. Ooh. Favorite thing about mech stuff is the scientists saying, okay, instead of building a gun on the, uh, on the mech, we'll just build a ridiculously big gun for it to wield. Yeah. Ooh. Well, you know, shit like that's always a lot more entertaining. Like I said, you, you don't need to strictly adhere to realism for it to be entertaining. Yeah. Sometimes that actually kind of gets in the way where you're trying so hard to be like, no, but it's legit that you're gimping yourself and you're breaking your own leg. It's like, who cares about realism? Yeah. Should have, where were you when the Discord got raided yesterday? Uh, probably living my life instead of living online. <laughs> uh, I know not a lot of people uh, know that they can do that, chat. Plantage a mech, not plant age mech. It's a pun on plant agents. You, you historically illiterate fucking. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't care about your niche mech thing. Uh, I think it's garbage, and I think that the only reason it lives is uh, because people are dumb enough to think that it's cool. Yeah. Ugh. How does that make you feel? Fucking faggot. <laughs> chat escapism versus virgin realism. Yeah, I play games to I game I play games to escape bullshit. Chat. <laughs> there we go. There you go. I don't like the tutorial mech. I don't like I don't. the tutorial I, mech. I, I, it'd be fine if you went back through the tutorial and they're like, okay, now you get to do it with your own mech to absolutely thrash this thing, but they double down on it and go, nah, bitch. Yeah, seriously. It's like you have oh. to use the fucking tutorial mech. Yeah. So I got an S rank. I got an S rank on this when I replayed it because if you want the platinum, you need to go. You need to replay every mission yeah. and get an S rank on everything. Yay. Uh, damn it, Lolly. Why'd you have to stream at the same time as EFAP 24, 20, uh, 25 episodes or 250 episodes for your anniversary? They were streaming this morning at like 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that is a choice for you. Uh, the realistic mech argument is stupid because a giant robot is inherently unrealistic to begin with. I don't know. Japan's making a lot of strides. Yeah. All right. I hate so. the tutorial mech. I hate the tutorial mech. It is a garbage mech. It is not yeah. fun to play with. I was going to say. I almost forgot. Yeah, there you go. And just go down the line. Yeah. We're going to have to watch for that. We've got an S rank with the worst mech in the game. It's amazing. It's literally just... I think the ranking system is literally just do mission fast. Yeah, probably. I think that's all it is. There is one mission that has been giving me a lot of trouble. It's the one that I stopped replaying missions on. Because I did the entire mission in, I think, 50 seconds. And it still gave me an A rank instead of an S rank. And I was like... I'm going to have to look this up. Uh, starter mech is visibly interesting, but legit shit tier mech. Yeah. It, it, like I said, it, it is the equivalent of doing the... Uh, I was going to say... I also hate that you have to press circle for boost mode. It should be on 24-7. Yeah. I will not... I will never... I will never say otherwise. It needs to be that way. There's not much of a reason for it not to. Fuck you, shit. I bet you can't even pronounce Worcestershire sauce correctly. Worcestershire... Fuck you! Worcestershire... Just a shy, you fucking uncultured cuck. Wait, that, that's a helicopter that's bigger than a Boeing. Oh, it's fucking humongous, dude. Yeah. Because it has to drop off mechs. Yeah. Made this mech out of your dead mom. Now get in this womb. Don't worry, you can jizz on the unconscious girl afterwards. Peak mecha. I mean, he right, though. Did From Software make all the Armor Core games? Yeah, all of them. They weren't called something different back in the day, like, uh... Uh, like, uh... Uh, not from soft, like um, Squaresoft, right? Yeah. 
I'm just imagining, you know, you remember that scene in Oppenheimer when he's trying to talk to, to Truman, and it's like, I feel like I got blood in my hands, and all I can think is, is, is like, this. It's like, man, if only if only he could have lived to see the future where there's armor core mechs running around blowing shit up. <laughs> where it's like, motherfucker, you, have you got blood on your hands? Get the fuck out, pussy. We're committing war crimes. No, I'll always write to Worcestershire Pratt. Oh, look at this fucking Euro fag. Can't believe this shit, chat. Square Enix used to be Squaresoft. Yes. Yep. Ah, spider Mac. That deep voice isn't Yong Yao, is it? Uh, Yong Yao can't do a deep voice. spider Mac. Dual miniguns going hard. Yeah, I fucking love the dual miniguns. Yeah, I, I'm with spider you. I'm with you. I, I only like the bipedal legs. However, the, the efficiency of these legs... <laughs> And being able to hover for like no no energy cost at all is insane, because most enemies like most enemies with a shield of any sort only hold it forward, so you just fly over top, you hover over top of them and do that and just go, <laughs> you destroy them. The world shall be filled with birds. Yes. Yeah, I, I was gonna say you you tap you tap uh, X while you're in the air, and then you'll go into hover mode. It's it's weird, and it kind of feels a little a slight bit clunky, but once you get used to it, it's fine. Uh, you're playing a video game, fat fuck. You uh, don't have blood on you. Says you, fag. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dual meaty guns go hard, don't uh, they? Uh, <laughs> ah! Oh god, they're fucking up! Oh shit! Don't hurt Spider Mech. No. Oh, that's a police car with its lights on down the street from my house. Yeah. Nah. Is there so transmog in this game? Tran I don't think so. Transmog? No. I don't think so. No, because the entire point is everything affects it, so... Yeah. The... And and even <laughs> if there's, like, a, a part that you think looks cool, but visual, but stat-wise doesn't have the best, there's usually an upgraded version with a much better one. Yeah. Beat the time. <laughs> Stop bullying the spider mech. You guys see the Arlene Sorkin passed away? Yeah. Yep. Stop bullying Spider Mech. That test pilot just wanted a call sign. I mean, we just wanted a call sign too. I want my freedom. <laughs> I I I love I love that this game's story is the the equivalent of a fucking literal lobotomite hopping in a yeah. mech and then slaughtering an entire army. Cause that's what it is. It really is. Uh, Prince Harry divorced his wife. The reason he ruined his whole life and uh, now she's gone. Life comes at you fast sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Getting stunned, stunned midair is kind of dumb. I mean, they're holding you in place is kind of dumb, but they are shooting, like, torpedoes at your ass. Yeah. Can't make it too forgiving. Mm -hmm. And we killing, did it. They're killing the spider mech. I'm calling PETA. <laughs> Who started the trend of S rank being higher than A plus in Japan's media? Uh, it's a thing with their alphabet. Yeah, I have no idea. And it's just the way that their their alphabet works, as I understand it. Uh, Fierce up like Black Q for all our thoughts on David Lynch's Dune. Eh, eh. I thought the Villeneuve movie was a million times better. Yeah. Anyone that says otherwise is like, guys, you gotta you, you gotta stop with the weird hate Listen, of Villeneuve. I understand, I understand Patrick Stewart was in the movie, but uh, yeah. it's just not good. <laughs> It's just not that good. It's like, you gotta stop the weird hate of Villeneuve or, like, he can't adapt anything without people going, like, well, I don't think it was that good. It's like, it, every single thing he touches, people, for some reason, find reason to bitch. The human corpse is full of psycho drugs and spinal implants are forcibly made into an autist. Yeah, you're an early version, yeah. Sure, what do your feet smell like? Uh, not, a uh, not enough money, uh, for me to tell you that yet, chat. It has nothing to do with their uh, syllabary. It just, they just like the letter S. Well, they don't chat. You stupid fuck. It's not a mech. This is spider mech. Oh. Uh, moving on from shitting on Shota. I'm sorry, but you're European. Uh, there's one thing I dislike about this game. Uh, it's how on some bosses I physically cannot beat a boss without changing my loadout. I want my LARP. Yeah, uh, that's something that annoys me. It's not having to change my mech because they make it super accessible for you. Uh, it's a matter of getting to the end of a chapter boss and there's no point in just buying up every part that you can because you'd have to replay missions a bunch to have enough money to do that. It's a matter of you get to the end of a chapter, uh, you fight the end chapter boss, you go, oh shit I need to redo my mech uh, and find out how to beat this one uh, and instead of being able, me being able to go to the shop and do it there even though I can redo my mech uh, even though I can you know, uh, change my parts out on my mech right there from the, from the retry screen I have to back out, do the entire uh, uh, 
back out, go to the shop, buy the part, put the part on, then redo the mission, and then I can see whether or not my new build works. And that gets annoying. Yeah. And it's annoying that I can't just buy stuff from the retry screen whenever you already let me swap parts out. Yeah. Six million peso man for dollars. You should do a video on this. From stuff gave us the mobile suit Gundam game we never got. Oh god. Yeah, I wish we'd just get an actual Gundam game because it would it would be more about. The oh god. Yeah, there you go, baby. Be more about the spectacle of it. No. Uh. Do remember, you can press down L three. I also just hover. You can hover. I like the original Dune's visuals. It looks so alien, like uh, like and weird. It does have some pretty good visuals. I just don't like the movie. Yeah. Do a triple S rank, Devil May Cry style. Oh no. Yeah, I think I think a big reason why I don't really care for the uh, the David Lynch one is because you read about what uh, Hodorowski wanted to do, and it's oh, like, yeah. man. I could feel your ass clinch there, love. I bet. You need a Gundam game with visual novel elements? There is one. Yeah. There's a uh, fucking... God damn it. What it there's there's one, actually multiple ones. Yeah, there are. There's there's a three-part one that you can get right now, and I don't remember its name. It's like plants. It's like plants of love or flowers yeah. or something. Maybe flowers, it might be F yeah. or some shit. I think it's like flowers of conflict. Uh, something like that. But you could, you, it's very easily accessible right now. Here's that thing, Black Q, for a dollar. Razor has scenes of a semen baby vomiting, and one of Harry, uh, and one of Henry kills a semen baby, and Henry meets a lady in the radiator ending. Yeah, I've seen a Razor Head. Yeah. The canceled Dune movie would have been a trip. Yeah, I mean Dune's kind of supposed to be. Yeah. New Gundam Breaker. No, it is a uh, no. I mean Gundam Breaker does have VN yeah, elements. Yeah, Code Fairy. Code Fairy. Yep. Yeah. 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 It, it is, it is like, it's visual novel, and then you get to the gameplay, and it's a Gundam game. Yeah. How the hell did you get quad legs on this early? Uh, we're, we're replaying through it, because I didn't yeah, want to upload my shit to the cloud. We are replaying missions. Fourth, yeah, there you go. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot to put Parmesan in these meatballs. Why didn't you remind me, Shota? I'll get you for this. You can put my you can put my semen in your meatballs, chat. Thoughts on vaginal cheese. Mm, curious. I'm banning him. Is that, <laughs> is that a thing women do? Do they put cheese they, inside of them? they willingly do? It's disgusting. Disgusting, chat. GPO2 on PC fucking sucks. Eh. Uh, Gunna Breaker, what? <laughs> I think they. I, I think they're talking about like Gundam battle operations. Oh, okay. David, go lynch yourself! Ha <laughs> ha! Damn that you. That that really cuts David Lynch, man. I'm banning him. I'm banning him. I'm oh, ban this no. No one should talk to David Lynch like that. This is the this is the actual mission where I actually got fucked over because I accidentally did all the mission objectives before I could kill the uh, the mini boss mech. Yeah, yeah. You just you just redo uh, redo yeah. the mission. The, that's the cool thing about the missions is they're all so fucking short that if you fuck something up, it's like, ah, it's another three minutes. Yeah. What's Code Fairy based on? I don't fucking know. I think Gundam. It's just an, yeah, I think <laughs> it's just an original one. <laughs> Pretty sure. It, I don't know what fucking Gundam timeline it takes place in. It's just, uh, it's just fun. Nerd. 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 You want to fill out the target logs? They give you parts? Yeah. That is true. I uh, the mission that I have an A rank on, you'll see on the replay mission screen. Um, the one that I have an A rank on, I got his I got his his uh, his log right, and it never registered that I got his log. Oh. Huh. And now I can't get an S rank on the mission, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's concerning. I forgive me, his armor core six. Uh, it has more checkpoints. Yeah. The gameplay itself is harder than previous Armored Core games, at least in my opinion. No, nah, no, nah, fuck that. That's a fact. Uh, the game itself is harder than previous Armored Core games. It's just a matter of it has more checkpoints. Yeah. It is both harder and more forgiving. Yeah. Uh, you can... Yeah, hey, buddy! Yeah. Remember, you have two missile launchers. <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. bitch! Yeah. Melt this bitch! Uh, and remember, you can also fly above them. Yeah, but that's not styling. Fuck styling. That's not styling or profiling. We need to have our anime fight. You can literally Goomba stop him. Uh, yeah! Fuck him up, baby! Damn it. 
I understand the, the lock-on is uh, tied to an actual part in game, but the lock-on sucks. Yeah, it's not great. Yeah. Last Raven is the hardest, I bet. Fucking loser. Yeah! Beautiful. Beautiful. I committed so much murder. I <laughs> know oh, I meant the game as in Code Fair. He is on GBO2's gameplay. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. Yeah! See, you didn't, you didn't like, you didn't like Spider Racist, but now you like Spider Racist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. War crimes. Yeah. Yeah. Favorite build in this game? Uh, from what I have so far, this. I, I like just fucking molly whopping guys. Yeah. Uh, well, I take it back. This, but with actual legs, because I, I like the way the legs control more than the spider. But I can't give up the utility of just being able to hover. I can't. All right, this is this is the uh, this is the moment where we can we fucking commit murder. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's not even gonna seem like an issue. Hey hey, uh, Boo, when are we gonna get uh, when are we gonna get Summer uh, Morgan Lafay, huh? When is that gonna happen? All right. Uh, not having the store is a bitch. Plus, it'd be nice if it, if it kills you, rack up added money like on the bonuses. Uh, to make it viable, although they might break the balance by allowing really easy grinding. I mean, you can already replay missions and get a shit ton of money. Yeah. Um, it's just a matter of I don't. It's a it's a fucking armor core game. I ain't I ain't grinding. You got me fucked up. Uh, but there are missions where you where, where you kill people and you get money. It's just a mission by mission basis. <laughs> the best mecha show is Mega's XLR. Chicks dig giant robots, dudes. Dig giant robots. Also, what? also, if you shoot him with a missile, you get bonus damage because he's unaware. You shit on fucking loser! <laughs> yeah, melt him! Melt him! Destroy his dreams! Fuck his wife! She was this year's JP anniversary unit. Alright. For your Summer first test, survive. Summer Morgan Le Fay? You're not doing a very good job. All right, your first job is to fight the spider, the spider mech guy. This is his tutorial. He's getting filtered. You are the <laughs> helicopter. Yeah. Uh, fears up that black Hugh for dollar. Thoughts on Spider-Man Lotus situation? Uh, I haven't watched it. Yeah. Uh, People are saying it's not great, but it was a fan the, film anyway. So. It's a fan film, and then on top of that, like, is it really bad, or is it people that are just like, the guy's racist. His movies. Sucks. Like, yeah, that kind of thing. Because it is a legitimate thing to ask. You, you, like, you know goddamn well people will just lie about the quality of stuff to, to follow their politics. Like, come on. That was quick. Yes. Yeah. Only got a B rank, Lolly. She got mixed in with young with young Morgan, aka uh, a sick, so she only has one ascension. Is that a is that the chick with the that's the chick with the, like the actual wizard hat, right? I thought she I thought she was a grandcaster. I was telling Irishman that I thought she was the grandcaster. She fills upward, you know? Alright. Attack the dam. Uh, Spider-Man Lotus is bad, but people are, uh, people are way too hard on it. The The cool thing is... Uh, excuse me. The the cool thing about Spider, Spider-Man Spider Lotus coming out is it had people go back and look at a bunch of other Spider-Man fan movies. Yeah. And there's some crazy ones. Like, there's one where they di a guy did his own stunt, and he's literally like doing parkour from building to building on New York rooftops and swinging without any landing like landing equipment to stop him on like fucking New York buildings like My literally God. jumping off a building holding on to a rope that's supposed to be a web and swinging around a building and, and it's like man you are fucking dedicated to yeah, this yeah that's, that's fucking commitment holy shit yeah. oh it, uh, boo is that person a, a grandcaster because that, that's what I told that's what I told Irish and that, uh, that's why I asked in the uh, that's why I asked in the the uh, gambling chamber I was like hey is uh is fuckface an actual grandcaster or not? And I was given a confusing answer. Uh, fuck you, rockets, dicks, chick, giant, oh, oh, wild well, well, west spider giant robot build. Yeah, she's the young version of Morgan. She's not. I'm disgusted. I hate you. But she's a caster, and Morgan hit hard. She hit hard. All mechs shall die. Oh. $50, reset the clock on Twitter freaks complaining about Ann. Yeah, they're complaining about on again. Uh, so they're from <laughs> fucking P5. I, I heard them going, man, we need to take her away from from Atlas, and I was like, why? 
It's like, oh, Persona 5 fan excited to play Persona 5 for the first time. You literally did not pay attention to her arc. I don't think servants from a lost boat can be, can be grand servants. I mean, maybe? No, that's not the uh, that's not the uh, say, uh, case. Rather, because uh, what's his face is the grand archer, right? Orion, he's the he's the grand archer, right? Or am I mistaken on that? Plenty of on again. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Green Goblin's last stand. Yeah, that's the one. That's from 1992. Writers, a different one. I think it's Green Goblin's last stand. <laughs> so much minigun. Show this the lolliest timestamp with the guy actually swinging. I can't wait for this to be a Rick roll. Ah, I gotta watch it on YouTube. Fuck you. All right. Well, let me swap back over to. <laughs> let me swap back over to YouTube, I guess. Yeah, it will be silent, chat. Okay, it yeah. won't be silent. Yeah. That actually yeah! Is pretty crazy. Yeah. Knowing that he actually did that, it's like, goddamn. It's a fucking, like, six-foot drop. Like, he's doing parkour on, on buildings, but he literally swings on a rope around the fucking buildings. My God. That, that is, you will die instantly, drop height. Yeah. It's like, holy shit. It's uh, Green Goblin's Last Stand. You can find the whole fan film on, uh... Ryan's a PHH servant? What the fuck is that? Uh, fear stuff like Black Hugh for an hour. The meme about Spider-Man Lotus of Spider-Man KK and KKK meme about actor and director of racist white supremacist. Well, I think it's like the the dude said nigger once. He like one of the guys, one of the like one of the guys said nigger, and the other one shit talked John Favreau. Yeah. Uh, and said like, hey, yeah, like, well, what we're making is gonna be ten times better than than his fucking chicken shit garbage. After John Favreau, I gave him a shout shout out. I think. Yeah. It's like, it, it's small time stuff that only got big because of the way people are now. Regular human history. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess, I guess that makes sense. But Morgan Le Fay is also from regular human history. I forgot. He's a, he's a special one. Yeah. This is the guy I've killed him several times now. Uh, and it has not given me his thing yet. Because you're supposed to kill him and you get your little whatever the fuck. Yeah. Armor core's non-binary? Question mark, question mark. It's a robot. It's a mech. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, Grand Archer is super Orion. Orion is just when he summoned as a teddy bear. Well, Almost take Wicked herself in order to be summoned as an actual servant. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know that. I, I, I don't, I don't call him uh, Super Orion because uh, I don't, I don't use actual Orion for anything. I don't use her for shit. We. Uh, the guy who made Goblin's Last Stand actually made the fan film as a proof of concept to hopefully get hired by James Cameron when he was set to direct the Spider-Man film before Sam Raimi. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. Hopefully he did get uh, uh, hired in some way. That is, that is impressive. Yeah. It was legitimately impressive. The one we saw... Uh, probably already know this, but just in case, look. At, uh, it looks like the merge is on. Yeah, the, the Christian got yeah, Christian, set free. Not only did he get set free, he was dismissed of all charges, yeah. which... Which means there is now a non-zero percent chance he did not bang his mom. Right. It's not a high chance because people are like swearing up and down. It's like, no, he admitted to it. He did it. And they're not wrong, but it's now non-zero. Oh, there's another core you have to kill on the map. Oh, can you point Lolly in that direction? Can you replay that mission again? Sure. Uh, it should be the... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us where that one is? <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's from Fairy Britain, but it wasn't Fairy... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess you are I guess you are technically correct. Uh, chat, can you tell me, though, where the fuck do the Lost Belts take place? They take place on our Earth, right? That's why you call regular Orion Artemis. I will not. I refuse, chat. Can you make a Gundam in this game? Kinda, sorta. Yeah. yeah you, you can basically can. make Gun Tank. That's what that guy is. Yeah. Yeah, you can make, yeah, you can make whatever. There's a the the big thing about armored armored core is they are very big on non creativity. Yes yeah. and no. Okay, okay. So it it is on our earth, but they just section it out to people. Yes. Is that German? No. Fuck you. Uh, They're superimposed on our Earth. It's uh, in a ah, in a weird in a weird projection kind of way, but there are they are alternate realities. Okay. 
Boom. geographically on Earth after the planet got bleached. Okay, I I'm getting to the first. Okay, well I'm not I'm not getting to the first Lost Belt. Uh, I just finished um, Agartha, and now I'm now I'm gonna do what is it Shimosa? And I know I know um I know Musashi is in Sh uh, Shimosa, so I'm excited I'm excited for that. Uh, then I gotta plow through whatever comes after that. And then I finally get to the to the Lost Belt, which is when they actually start having a bunch of visual novel shit, and it takes <laughs> it takes fucking hours to blow through it. Uh, it might be this guy. Uh, go over to him. Uh, yep, it is in fact that guy. I just never saw him. Slaughter his family. Make him watch. He wants to be oh, the spider oh, tank. Fuck. Oh god. You all want the spider tank privilege? You gotta earn the spider tank respect. Keep in mind that the CCC collab is part of the main story. What the fuck is CCC, chat? What you think about Starfield? I, I mean, I'm not gonna play it. Yeah. All supposed to just alternate universes on Earth. Yeah, that, that's what I, that's what I gathered. They did the. Visual, <laughs> yeah. He tried to hit me, but he yeah. whiffed. They did the visual novel stuff starting from Camelot. Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah. Like uh, everyone says that Camelot's when the story starts getting good, and I was like. I you know I like uh, uh, not Morgan I like I like Mordred in it I like uh, there we go not Gwen yeah Gwen yeah I like Gwen I like characters the story itself I could take it or leave it me yeah I acquired fucking, acquired combat log that might have yeah, been it yeah, yeah that, that's it that was him uh, I fucking hated Agartha because Christopher Columbus was in it and he's the most annoying fucking character ever like tomboy Mordred absolutely hey. I love Mordred she's great. This is why I don't use boost. Translation for CC. Oh, extra CCC. Uh, that's the one where um, fucking uh, Koyan uh, tries to consume the world with her fucking pussy, right? That's the one I'm thinking of. She literally tries to shove the world in her pussy. I'm not joking. That is a final boss fight. Fate gets so fucking weird. It is. Uh, Garth was one of the worst chapters. I uh, I liked I like to play on history stuff because the the main like bad person uh, of it is. Uh, the chick from um, Arabian Nights, right? It's the chick that yeah. it's the chick that the king uh, beds and is going to kill. So she has to keep telling stories. And her her main thing is, well, I made a world uh, essentially where men are oppressed because I really fucking don't like men. Uh, I'm afraid of dying and shit like that. And it's like, yeah, yeah I like I like the basics of it. Christopher Columbus is a piece of shit, and I fucking hate him. <laughs> they they full dive on the on the uh, American like modern American school system stuff of. Fuck Christopher Columbus. He is the worst man to ever exist type shit. Yeah, like piece of shit, horrible massive, person Massive, massive fucking piece of shit. It doesn't help that I hate fighting Hercules uh, anytime he shows up in the story because just having to fight a dude six or seven times in a row is not engaging for me whatsoever. So just, hey, fight him like five times in the story and then each time you fight him you have to kill him like four times per per fight. Is, oh, God. is annoying. Yeah, it's just annoying. Soccer face started there. Yeah, that is true. She tried to shove what up her where? Uh, yeah, she she tried. She became a god, sort of, kind of. No, I think outright became a god, and then tried to shove the entire world inside her pussy. Fucking love fate, man. She, <laughs> she great. Literally part of Japan's economy. Yeah, to be fair, he was a pretty fucking brutal guy, and the Spanish royalty had to tell him to chill out. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. It's just a matter of uh. <laughs> I don't like him. He's annoying. Yeah, you gotta make him interesting. Yeah. So him being in the yeah chat, what is okay? I see. <laughs> I was gonna say chat, what is getting those things even do? I've only gotten like a one bar's worth, and then it gave us legs. And I was like, oh, yeah, I, I see. We we did nothing. We got you mean legs. Shazarad, yes. And his profile was more complicated. I'm sure. Okay. He's just really fucking annoying in that mission, and it sucks. Yeah, we're at Juggernaut now, baby. Yeah. This is probably a very bad one for Juggernaut. Uh, this is not Juggernaut. This is the mining ship. I call so him Juggernaut. right before Juggernaut. I call him Juggernaut. Uh, this is probably a really bad one from the mining ship. <laughs> the the mech. <laughs> we, we shall see. It's going to put out a lot of damage, but the spider legs are going to be awful. Yeah. Lost Belt 4 is pretty great. I, I know, the, I know the, the general things that happen in the Lost Belts. Is Lost Belt 4 Olympus? Or is that further? She was, she is a beast like Kama. Yeah. Well, it was I think? Was it a WAP shorter? Sort of. 
All right, there it is. Oh, India, Olympus is five. Okay, yeah. Uh, what did you think of Babylonia? Babylonia was nice. Uh, there was a couple things. Uh, ha having the part where uh, Inkadu fucking chains up um, Ushiwaki Maru and like fucking stabs her and is digging around in her insides or, or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, that got me. That got me going because Ushiwaki Maru is is one of those characters that uh, got me into fate. Uh, Arjuna Alter is a cool unit. Uh, he has carried me through the entirety of the game. That being said, okay. Arjuna Alter is a character. Piece of shit. Massive cunt. We should be safe now from the big scary uh, laser. Yeah. You'll have to run up on that one and yeah. blow out his kneecaps. I, I love I love just beating a giant robot using Rush, uh, not Russian, uh, Italian mob style yeah. tactics. <laughs> Alright. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Ugh. Burr. It goes Russia, Scandinavia, China, India, and Olympus. Okay. And then you get Camelot again. Even though it's fairy Camelot. There By the way, go. the fairies are dumb as fuck. Like, on a on a species level, they're dumb as fuck. Tiny spider leg man fight big spider man. <laughs> no. No. I don't know if there's an alternate way to get up this. Uh... One thing I can think of is having so much energy you can just fly up. Yeah, I well when I downed him, he fell over Ow. on a mountain over there, and I was able to just fly up yeah. very easily. But you downed him earlier than I did, I think. Yeah, we're gonna skitter on up like a spider. <laughs> fairies are literal niggers. the The fairies are fucking. The fairies are fucking insane because they're just. Such massive pieces of shit that they literally wiped their world out. <laughs> like, they were literally told by their god, hey, don't make this fucky wucky. And then they made the fucky wucky, so he wiped them out. <laughs> they they go to the planet and it's literally a barren a barren nothingness. I mean to be fair, that is fairies in mythology. That is fairies in mythology. They are little shitters. Yeah, they will they are just spiteful little fuckers. Here. <laughs> massive fucking cunts. They're literally... I, they're just jealous over something. I forget what they're jealous over, but it literally wipes out the planet. <laughs> <laughs> fucking massive cunts. Fairies are the reason Morgan is so so cruel. If you had to have a bunch of fairies rolling, rolling around, like, yeah, fuck the fairies. I'd be cruel, too. There we go. Artoria oh, Castro is a good one. Yeah, but she doesn't look like a fairy, so... Mm. Mm -hmm. Ugh. In, in regular human history, they actually did their fucking jobs. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Uh, that's why it wasn't wiped the fuck out. Meow. Morality, what's that? Fairies, yeah. Yeah, quite literally. Well, I mean, like, every single culture's fairy tales in, in some way mention a fairy trying to steal a child. Yeah. It's like, they're, they're just evil. You're saying that fairies are incarnations of envy? Uh, just negative stuff in general, really. They covet a lot of stuff, chat. They covet a lot of stuff. Uh, there, there's a part where the fairies are literally killing each other, like, just for the thought of being able to get at one of the characters. Like, I, like, oh shit, it's a human, and literally are tearing each other apart. <laughs> that, that, that's how bad fairies are, they're fucking cunts. Vargas is bottom tier, and just because she feels guilty about being a piece of shit doesn't mean she isn't a piece of shit. I mean, all the Tamlins kind of got a raw deal because Morgan is, um... Morgan Morgan is not a good person. All right, no one in Lost Belt Six is a good person except for the the spinstress. Armored Core, yeah. I, I like seeing all the stuff that people are, are doing with the mechs. That's a that's a great thing about Armored Core is they're so creative. Oh yeah. Slaughter the Eye of God. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Guess what? I have repair kits. <laughs> There's always more repair kits. And missiles. Bing, 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 bing. Eat shit. Woodwose did nothing wrong. Yeah, the... Fuck Woodwose. Alright. Vargas is great. Uh, I do like Vargas. I, I like all the Tamlins. Scary away! Scary, 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 scary. Scary, 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 scary. Uh, we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Have you seen the CJAC? Yeah, I, I saw that, uh, like, day one, uh, Nexus Mods had, uh, had yeah. it where they changed the mechs to CJ. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here! Woo! Uh, uh.
Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Turn around, Lolly. Turn around. We can watch it. Yeah. yeah. Should be clear. I think we should be clear, but keep. <laughs> I was gonna say keep keep rolling away just in case. Just just be safe. Turn the boost off, Lolly. Turn the boost off. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> scuttle, 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 scuttle. This is this is what uh, this is what any any uh, uh, venomous spider feels like after it kills a human. <laughs> scary, 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 scary. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Fucking wolf spiders, yo, punch your shit in, baby. Fuck you. I have taken the world. Nah, nah. The mighty monarch. <laughs> <laughs> So you just keep it, uh, a piece of iron bar wrought with iron nearby to fuck with fairies, yeah? Cool, guys. Don't look at explosions. <laughs> okay, first off, Varg did all that to Lost Belt 6 fairies, so nothing of value was lost. He, she did kill one, at least one dude because her husband... What causes her to go mad is she's forced to see that she actually killed her husband. That's what pushes her over the edge. Name your AC the Scuddler. No, it's spider racist. I will not have anything otherwise in this household. Does spider mech make Dr. Zoidberg noises as it scurries away? No. <laughs> it screams and talks about being the monarch! <laughs> cool Cat pilots the Armored Corps. <laughs> and today, Cool Cat's going to tell you about the Vietnam War. Is that a Gatling gun? <laughs> Remember, if their families aren't alive to petition the U.S. government, we don't have to pay them anything. <laughs> uh, our sentence for five dollars was fairies all deserve worse, uh, way worse. By the way, what you, uh, what they did uh, make Vargas such a baddie? By the way, why did they make her such a baddie? Uh, this is another mission. Money. Okay, this is another mission people had a lot of problems with, and I don't really understand. Uh, you just go around the right, hide, and then uh, face fuck the wall. As long as you fight the the big the big fucking mech over there by the wall you're good yeah also i don't know where i'm also missing the um the chips from the people you got to beat in this one i don't know where they are so probably up there maybe all right fuck you guys yeah melon knows melon knows what he likes the spider perseveres <laughs> Monarch being uh, Monarch being a clone of of Doc was a weird decision. He's not a he's not a clone. He's a he's a he's his brother. He's Doc's brother. Yeah. Please give me a chance. What about my uncle? Did you give him a chance, nigger? Literal chills. <laughs> Spider Man Lotus is going wild. Like oh man, I forgot. Sam Raimi looked over the script. Spider Mech, Spider Mech, radioactive Spider Mech. Yeah. Yeah, if you get close enough, you don't have to worry about the snipers. Yeah. On top of that, like, you can just hover over top of this guy for the most part and slaughter him. Uh, people are now getting fed up with Destiny's shit. Uh, like, last week he was having a meltdown on Twitter saying retarded shit, like, that the government would never do anything bad, the corpos would never do shady shit. Uh, people were shitting on him for obvious reasons, except for Destiny's shields that have room temperature IQ. The thing is, he already want, uh, he already want an unlikable piece of shit. I assume that uh, is was an unlikable piece of shit. Remember that he was buddy with Vosh until he said that you shouldn't let yourself get lynched by a mob, even if it's leftist. Yeah. Uh, and he would never forget the entirety of the bread tube commentary community exists because of him. Yeah. Uh, more than that, you also had the shit where, like, uh, he, he was on, like, Sitch and Adam, which right there, I think Sitch and Adam are, like, fucking fart huffing and a half, where they're all, like, you, you know, oh, we're, 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 like, 2004 liberals. Like, okay, so dick suck faggot. Mm. You know, it's like, I, I, I gotta make it clear there. It's like, listen... I know you guys view that with a lot of nostalgia and, like, the Obama years were so fucking great and all that shit, but, yeah. like, 2004 liberals ruined the world. Hey, racism was dead while Obama was president, okay? I didn't see a single racist on the street. Some of my best friends were black, okay? Because I was dead, that's why. Because <laughs> I was dead, I was in my coffin. But, uh, 2004 liberals ruined the world. Yeah. And the whole cope of, like, oh, well, it changed. Like, no, you just saw the true face. But, basically... Uh, they they had Destiny on, and he was saying like, you gotta treat conservatives like four year old children, like they're fucking retards and all that. And people people pulled up a clip of like, you're literally debating on the objectivity of math. Right. Like, can numbers actually mean what they mean? It's like that's fucking stupid. Yeah. Like I, I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take that shit from a guy who, unironically, debated on whether or not math is real. Right. Current servers also can't be divine spirits, by the way, Shoda. Do we? How many divine spirits do we actually have? Two thousand four liberals are the cause of all of this. They really are. The monarch. What? What's your name? D 
Dean Vin- Your name is BITCH! And I own you! Your property! And when I'm tired of having sex with every hole God drilled in your- in your slender frame, King Gorilla! You got a cigarette? There, I just sold you for a cigarette and I don't smoke! <laughs> I love that when they're in prison. Yeah. Hey, as much as I don't like the Trial of the Monarch, what comes after the Trial of the Monarch is fucking peak. Oh, it's I, so I, great. It's I, so great. I, I love that, that Dean uh, uh, Dean and Hank get so butthurt at the prospect of, of Doc having another kid that they yeah. run away. Yeah. <laughs> they, do, they, they just don't under... Uh, there's a part in particular where they're at uh, Dr. Orphis' house, and, and, and they're like... They say something along the lines of, if we stay here, then that means Dr. Orpheus is our dad. And you like uh, you like what's her face, Doctor Orpheus' daughter. Yeah. And that mean that means you'd uh, you'd be you'd be fucking your sister, uh, which means you'd have weird retard babies. And Dean goes, "Oh God, you're right." <laughs> and Dean's the smart one. Yeah, <laughs> Dean's so fucking, the smart one. It's so fucking good. It's so fucking good. I love it. Holy shit! You're dead, Venture King Gorilla. I need my bitch back. I I, I, I like that. <laughs> Holy shit! You're Dean Venture. King Grill, I need I need my bitch back. He tries to he tries he tries to buy him back with the cigarette yeah. that he got from King Gorilla, and King Gorilla goes, "What? No, I want to give me a dollar." <laughs> Extra retard babies, yeah. What's funny are South Park or Venture Bros. Uh, South Park has like it has some, so many classic moments. It has some really good ones, uh, but man, Venture Venture Bros has been like. Not, there were some episodes of South Park where I was like, oh, uh, okay, I mean, yeah, it's sort of funny, but I never really laughed. There's not a single episode, even of the episodes that I don't like, where I did not laugh my ass off on this rewatch of Venture Bros. Oh, yeah. Like, even even just when we were sitting down together watching uh, the season, the second part of the season two finale, the last little half of it, oh, yeah, we were so snickering good. nonstop. It's so good. Smart one, yeah. Romulus queerness and uh, Tech are divine grand service by technicality. Yeah, I know Romulus is like a fucking humunculus with a Caligula. Uh, there was a section of a stream with him and his viewers surprised that people that were nice to them are conservative. <laughs> well, it's like, yeah, not everybody is obsessed with fucking uh, Twitter politics. About him. This guy's super easy. Yeah, I love him. He's all he was shitloads of fun. Yeah, he's he's super easy. I I, I think I nearly died one part on, on this. I didn't die, but I think I nearly died on one part because he was literally clipping into me in the corner, and I was yeah. like, oh god, he's fucking me. Oh god. I, I died a few times to him purely because I was using the wrong gun. Yeah. Where I, I didn't think about it, but on my whenever I beat him, my ally died. Yeah. I think you could probably beat him with your ally surviving. Holy shit. You have might to be able, able to, to, yeah. But yeah, like, uh, he, he would kill me a handful of times purely because I was using the wrong gun, where if you use the uh, the, the burst rifle, which you, mm -hmm. you have around this time, yeah. you can break his posture super fucking easy. Oh, yeah. It's great. Well, that, that's what makes this setup that I've got right here so good is... Uh, different types of enemies require different stuff to build their posture gauge. Some of it, it's just rapid fire, yeah. and sometimes it's explosions and, and whatnot. You have access to, to two of the three ways to do it. Yeah, it's it's either it's either uh, ballistics, explosions, or plasma is what fucks people up. Yeah. Come on, there we go. Yeah, baby. Picture Bros is good, and I don't even like TV, uh, TV and, or movies. Okay, a a I don't I, I don't believe what you just said, but yes, it is very good. I'm actually getting to the point where I'm watching more TV and movies than I am YouTube. It's like a weird reverse. Yeah, I was like, it's, it's, it's weird. It's weird you wouldn't think so, but yeah. Some of y'all should live here, not naming names. Damn, bro. Durr. Rusty is such a bro. Rusty's such a fucking cunt. I forgot how much of a dick the doctor is in the first, like, four seasons. Oh, yeah. Like he's an awful. unrepentant asshole. Like, like yeah, there, there's the banter stuff, but he's just a genuine fucking... Like, like the, he the, just flat first, out fucks people over. Well, the first two seasons, he just talks to Dean and Hank like he he just genuinely fucking hates them. Yeah. Which is such a turnaround of later on where it's like, oh, I mean, yeah, I do, I do fucking care about, I care about them. Yeah. It's like, it's like, oh, why am I so hard on on Hank? Because I think he can take it. Dean can't take it. You know. YouTube quality has fallen off the shift over content, uh, over videos. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. That's kind of part of it. It's like there's just not much to watch anymore. Mm -hmm. Should he can actually survive, but he'll fuck off uh, whenever the boss gets in the half health, or he, whenever the boss gets the half health. Is that what you, uh, yeah? That that might have been it. I wasn't paying much attention. I was busy fighting the boss, and I just realized that my ally was gone at one point. And I was like, oh, I think Spider. he died. Yeah. <laughs> He steals the kidneys of both Hank and Dean, yeah. 
Made a machine powered by an orphan heart, among other things. Ugh. But yeah, like I said, I've, I've I haven't really been watching too much like dedicated YouTube shit. I mean, I, I do occasionally. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm working on something, I'll flip something on in the background. Like I've even been going through like shady do rags because he he makes videos on King of the Hill, so I literally just flip it on for background noise, and <laughs> and I'm hearing him talk about King of the Hill while I'm working on something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm, like dedicated sitting down and watching someone's video shit. I haven't actually done that in a while. Yeah. You know, there, there's the there's the dedicated few where like I'll I'll, I'll check them out like Wendigoon, Count Dankula, uh, Mandalore, Red Lair Media guys like that. Even that Red Lair Media, it's usually I take breaks from. Then I come back and watch yeah. all their shit. Then I yeah. take breaks. Now I'm mainly watching like TV and like movies and anime and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Doctor Doctor O is my favorite character. Doctor Orpheus, do you have a pin, Hank? Hank, to use as a magic wand, Doctor Orpheus, to use as a pin, Hank. Yeah, that, that is a pretty good one. It is great. It is great. I, I like whenever Orpheus blames himself for the for the death of uh, of, yeah. the Venture, of the Venture Brothers, and he's he's doing the necromancer he's doing the necromancer ritual, and his daughter walks in and she fucking breaks down in tears, and yeah. she's she she's like, no, I, I don't I don't want to think about about, about the Venture Brothers as zombies, Daddy. No, I don't want to think about it. He's he's, he's just like. He's like, Dar darling, it's normal. I do this all the time. I he starts naming off celebrities he yeah. brought back to life. It's funny as fuck. Yeah, because I think he outright has their dead bodies in his office, <laughs> or like a piece of them, like their their skulls yeah, or something. Yeah, he, he he has their he has their he went and dug up their bodies, so he has yeah. their he has their bodies. But since since the doc is bringing them back to life with clones, he doesn't have access to their souls. Yeah. Uh, but, well, oh, I, I I love whenever he he goes to his master for the first time. And, uh, and 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 he's like, oh, I'm setting up this thing to show you uh, to show you. Uh, uh, fuck, what, what is it? It's I'm setting up this thing to show you. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, sh uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it, it's like getting ahead of yourself. I can't remember his exact, his exact words, but it, it's it's I'm I'm setting up a, a metaphor for you getting ahead of yourself, and it's yeah. Catherine the Great and the horse. Yeah. Uh, which, if you don't know that story, uh, there was a rumor going on about her death. Um, I don't know how she actually died, but I. Don't at all believe this is true. It's just a rumor that, that was around after she died, uh, where she had a uh, she wanted to have sex with her horse, so she had it hoisted up in a harness <laughs> so that she could so she could fuck her horse, and the harness broke and crushed her. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It was, it, it was. I set this thing up with, with uh, Catherine the Great to, to show you about biting off more than you can chew. Uh, this girl right here is 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 going to be Catherine the Great, and I'm going to be the horse. <laughs> Would you consider Brock Sampson a male role model? I would. He is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, he's, he's a fucking Chad, dude. Yeah, Brock Sampson's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, he, uh, he's a Chad, and he's... At the end of the day, he does everything for his family. Yeah. What are you doing here? Like, even whenever they're like, oh, yeah, you can you can go, like, get assigned to something more ho uh, high-profile, Brock's like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay with my family. Yeah. Very interesting. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Yeah. Orpheus, pumpkin, fetch me my cloak! <laughs> Triana... <laughs> And Dr. Corvus, all right, very well. Fetch me my blue windbreaker. I, I I love it when they're eating. They're eating at the diner, and you have the two hillbillies that are that are yeah. hassling. At first, you think they're hassling Dean and Hank, but it pans around, and it's it's Dr. Orpheus because he's wearing the fucking windbreaker. Yeah. And, and uh, he he says something to him. He tells him to fuck off. And uh, one of the hillbillies leans in and goes, "Fuck." <laughs> Orpheus's daughter was voiced by Doc Hammer's wife. They got divorced, so she had to be written off. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Oh. That sucks. That does explain why she doesn't show up after a bit. Yeah. Yeah, his assistant was saying, hey, don't wince. Yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, she had an actual name, and he said this, like, this partially beautiful girl, because she had, like, 20 faces. Yeah. Brock Sampson, my favorite character. He, he is super fun. I, uh, as, as poorly animated as the pilot for it was, it has a lot of really good moments. Like, oh, yeah. The 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 alligator in the uh, caught in the plane is from the pilot, yeah. and and when they're when they're like, oh, sorry, so you can't bring any any weapons in, and he's like, ah, oh, it's my bodyguard Brock, and he's like, yeah, doesn't matter, I need to take your knife, and it pans the Brock, and he's like, go ahead, take it from me, yeah. and you have the heavy metal music that start that starts playing, that's from the fucking pilot, and it's I was so like, fucking great. I was like, oh my god, I thought that was like season two. Yeah, I love that one. Uh, fucking, I think it's also from the pilot when. When they hit Brock with the truck to kidnap the boys, and, and like uh, he's raiding the Monarch's base later, and he's super fucking pissed off, and I think I think Hank is in the car with him, or it might have just been Doc Venture. I think, and it's like, get out and let me handle this. Is like, what are you talking about? They hit me with the truck. Yeah, I, I think that's that's season that's season one because that 
that's whenever they go to hunt down uh, hunt down the, the Venture Bros, and it's a dude that doesn't have his wings yet, and he's the one that gets them to, it's to your knock kid him fight. out. Ooh. It's your kid fight. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Run faster. Run faster. Run faster. They hit me with a truck, Dean. All right. Brock is scary. Brock would be fucking scary. It's from the first episode. I thought it was, well, technically, yeah, season one. Like I said, I knew it was from that time period. Eat shit, eat shit, eat shit, eat shit. Uh, Guac Home Federal Samson was a, a sociopathic murderer in the first two seasons. Overall, the first two seasons felt like a test run for the writers uh, to set the tone. Sort of, kind of, like, there's a lot of groundwork done in the first oh, yeah. two seasons. Speedy got his wings that day. Yeah. Oh yeah. It it, it was Speedy. It was Speedy. Uh, I like whenever they're like, oh yeah, we we captured we uh, we captured uh, or no, we we killed Brock Sampson. He's like, holy shit, really? <laughs> and uh, they're talking uh, they're talking about Speedy, and it's like, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It was. Uh, uh, where uh, where where's Speedy right now? And, and like he uh, uh, he didn't make it. <laughs> uh, Brock got him, and Monarch goes, oh, oh. Well, no, the best part of that is, like, the they build up Speedy, and he's, like, the, the enthusiastic new recruit that wants to, like, yeah. impress the monarch, and he's like, I'm going to do it, it's going to be great, and they're trying to get Brock. Uh, they're they're attacking Brock so they can kill, so they can kidnap the boys, because that's it, Brock's their, their bodyguard, and he's fucking scary. And he grabs Speedy by the throat, and they're like tranquilizing him. <laughs> yeah. but they yeah. can't get him to let go of Speedy. Yeah, they're like <laughs> once he once they hit him with the car, and he's actually knocked, and he he's knocked out. They can't let him. They can't. He won't let go of a Speedy's throat. So they put Speedy down. Yeah. They kill Speedy. He's literally like in tears, crying. Like he he can't breathe. His face is all swollen up and red and shit. And they just fucking kill him, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's legitimately pretty upset. Yeah. Like, pretty upsetting, and, like, they talk about it later. It's like, yeah, Speedy didn't make it. It's like this tragic event <laughs> yeah. for him. Yeah, I, I, I like it because... Uh, that was, like, the second episode, yeah. And uh, I like it because the very... the Well, okay. It's technically the third episode, I want to say. Because uh, the pilot. In the pilot, Mo uh, Hank gets a... Not Hank. Uh, uh, Brock gets a hold of Monarch and fucking gouges his eyes out. Yeah. And there's a, there's a part where, where Monarch... They say they tell him that Speedy was got by, by Brock. And and Monarch goes, Oh, that is terrible. I, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Yeah. <laughs> like, like he's like genuinely sad that he died such a brutal death. And when they dig up Brock, he's still gripping Speedy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did like the uh, I did like the Scooby Doo parody where it was um yeah that happened, like, that's in season two yeah I believe where, where it was uh you you see like the the minions trying to attack the venture base and yeah. and Brock kills one of them and they decide to experiment on him and turn him into like Frankenstein yeah like I I like that one a lot because like the the very end like everything's wrapped up and and they're like let's go let's let's go to a brothel and fuck some prostitutes yeah and the Frankenstein minion guy just goes prostitutes yeah Ace. Uh, he says something about him not having any money. He's like, "Don't, don't worry, Franken, uh, Franken Venture." I think is what he calls him. Yeah. He's like, "Don't worry, Franken, uh, Franken Venture. I'll spot you." And he fucking shoves his hand, his arms through the roof of a uh, rocked car. Yeah. Uh, the talking dog is the best part. Uh, oh yeah. It was like a it, it, it straight up like a Nazi dog and oh yeah because they changed him to a German Shepherd and like Shaggy's a, sk a schizophrenic a yeah so yeah. He, they uh, what's his face is withholding uh, the Shaggy inserts uh, fucking schizophrenia meds yeah yeah fucking Fred yeah I I love I love how hardcore they get just to get oh oh I'll, I'll walk to your right go back up on the bridge walk to your right so he, here's a scale comparison you see these are cars these are like normal fucking military vehicle type cars that is how fucking <laughs> Huge we are in comparison, chat. We are <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Learn what it means to feel true fear in the face of the monarch. <laughs> you okay, boss? <laughs> Dave's the gambler, for Lars. The Venture Bros could, uh, could get pretty dark too. There are a lot of dead, uh, dead kid effed up experiments. Yeah. I fucking love the science fair episode. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. They invite the kids to the science fair and they get attacked by the gorillas. Yeah. And they'll, they, they're trying to like find out what happened to some of the midget guys. Like, yeah, yeah we lost three of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I fucking died laughing at that. Yeah. Holy shit, y'all see the NASCAR accident? Dude's car did like 11 bell, bell rows and went 30 feet in the air. Oh no. Oh Jesus. Uh, Fred, Fred is Ted Bundy, Shaggy is son of Sam, Velma is some crazy feminist murder lady, and Daphne is Patty Hearst. Yeah. It's fucking great. Yeah. Yeah, it's so fucking good. No. It's been 21 going through an arc is the best. I, I do like the arc that he goes through. It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty fucking good. He actually becomes competent 
But but he's in the, he's in a world where even when he's competent, everyone else around him is so much more competent. Oh yeah. Hey, this is uh, I, I really didn't like this mission because you're literally hunting down invisible dudes. Ah, that's yeah. always annoying. Yeah. And so far, it's the only time that this has shown up in the game. Like it, it's just nowhere else in the game. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Girlfriend was fine as fuck, Shampoo the voice, though. Well, that, that was the whole joke with her. Yeah, I, I, I also, I do love Dr. Girlfriend. Like, uh, her, her arc in the series is pretty good. Uh, but she's just a fun fucking character. Yeah, she's Plus, great. all the tranny jokes that Brock makes at, yeah. at uh, the Monarch's expense are great. Yeah. Well, like, her, her whole banter with the Monarch is fucking great. I love when, yeah. I love when he's, like, explaining his backstory to her. It's like... I was a child and I was raised by monarch butterflies and now my dream is to find my family flock and it's like you know they only live nine months right <laughs> oh oh honey monarchs only live for eight months what <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's fucking great tranny tranny jokes are a win it's just funny it's just funny the way that they do it and they yeah the I forgot that the stinger the after credit sequence for for the end of season two they they have they have like a small illusion where after she's married to the monarch uh she she's like she's like honey i got something i need to tell you and it's going to change everything and it's it's a small uh, it, it's implied that she's a tranny there yeah i'm pretty sure it's undone at the beginning of season three but <laughs> yeah they, they always have like some bullshit cliffhanger for for the season finale mm -hmm. just to immediately make a joke of it later to be fair the, the cliffhanger for season one's finale was bro uh, uh not brock uh dean and hank dying yeah that which is, is true. pretty fucking good it's pretty great uh captain sunshine's funny too yeah captain sunshine's yeah. fucking great Water boy, <laughs> I fucking love I, it. I fucking uh, the the episode after the trial of the monarch, where they're talking to the monarch in, in prison, and he's listing off the things they had him do. And and, and, and it's, did you dig up Wonder Boy's corpse and send it to Captain fucking fucking little Sunshine? Yeah. Like, hey, check. <laughs> it's like Jesus fuck. Phantom Limb was probably one of the better villains too, uh, aside from David Bowie. Yeah, yeah. Phantom Limb, like, could actually be a threat. Like, he could actually yeah. get shit done. He can insta-kill anybody that he touches. That's a pretty metal power. Yeah. Captain Sunshine was voiced by Kevin Conroy, right? I don't remember. Because I don't think... I'd, if I saw him the first two seasons, I don't remember actually hearing him speak. I know what he looks like. I just don't remember hearing him speak. Uh, remember the Fantastic Four Antarctica episode? Yeah, the, the Human Torch is like always on fire and he's screaming his head off. Those <laughs> yeah. those are funny as shit. Yeah, I love all the I love all the inserts. I love that Mr. Fantastic is like an abusive husband. Yeah. Uh, the Monarch. Uh, what is this dye? Why, why, uh, why did you get a dye, Dr. Girlfriend? I didn't. The Monarch. Taste this then, Dr. Girlfriend. Okay, maybe I grabbed the wrong bottle. Yeah, it's fucking great. <laughs> How do you do that? God, it's like having my dad do the shopping. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Dave is a game lover for $2. 21 also becomes like Monarch's, uh, also becomes Monarch's genuine best friend. Yeah. yeah. But, but he also, he stops hinching for the Monarch because he, 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 uh, falls in love with Dr. Girlfriend. Yeah. I, I love the prom episode where he just, he, he like fucking breaks down. He's, he's like, I can't, I can't hinge for you no more. I, I just, I can't do it. You're incompetent. I think, I, I think I'm in love with you. And it would just make things weird. <laughs> uh, here's something like Black Cube for Dollar. I just watched a historical video about Hitler's Jewish soldiers as it's not surprising. <laughs> mm. Mm. Curious. Uh, thoughts on Rage Against the Machine. I like their music, but I think Tom Morello's a tanky piece of shit. I mean, they're all, they're all massive pieces of shit. Yeah. I never liked them. Yeah, some of their songs are pretty good. Uh, I just—I don't think I could say I like a majority of their discography, though. Uh, I don't know for a dollar. Uh, what do you think of Noel's idea that Dick's only keeping video the pedal around because it means everyone would go after him and not talk about any of the failings, such as the Simps, uh, spiracy? Oh, I mean, it makes sense because I means to the point of like, you know, why then God's name would you, you know, keep hanging out with this guy <laughs> who just has a constant shady history, right. does fucked up things, and whenever he does fucked up things, it now reflects on you. It's like I don't know if I got this. No. Ah, I think I did. Yeah. Mm. He was voiced by Kevin. Okay, cool. I'd like to believe, I'd like to apply to be your arch enemy. Okay, what what do you think qualifies you? I kidnapped your daughter. You did what? <laughs> it's yeah. fucking great. Yeah, whenever <laughs> whenever Doctor O and them are taking a uh, taking a super or arch enemy yeah. uh, applications. Well, uh, what was it that Doctor Girlfriend called herself? Miss Boppet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Boppet and her little moppets, and it's the two the two the killer two midgets. midgets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, they were funny. I, I always kind of liked them. They were funny. Yeah. 
No, my favorite is the the albino and the the midget guy. That their dynamic. Yeah, I f- clue uh, clue boy. <laughs> yeah, clue boy. I fucking laugh my ass off every episode they're in. Like it, it's just great. Uh, I love the one where uh, Dean and Hank go on a a, a double date, and uh, it's it's Phantom Limb. Uh, it's a double date between uh, Dean, uh, Doctor O's uh, daughter, and her friend. Uh, but Phantom Limb, Doctor Girlfriend, uh, what's his face, uh, the Monarch, yeah, and some girl he pulled he he pulled off the internet. Uh, and it's 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 a big big whole rigmarole. That one's yeah. so much fucking funny. There, there's one thing that sticks out to me, and it's whenever his uh, Doctor Monarch's date goes and cries uh, cries to herself in the bathroom, and and Doctor Girlfriend goes uh, is is berating him, and she's like she's like how old is that girl? And, and, he's, and he's like I dress up as a giant fucking butterfly. How old? What t- how old do you think the crowd that I attract is? And I was like, oh no, <laughs> oh no. I also forgot what's his face. Uh, uh. Major hate or whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, uh, uh, major hatred or something. Yeah, yeah, major hatred. Uh, I forgot he was an actual fucking pedophile. Yeah. I completely forgot that. Uh, Epi Ostrada for a dollar. He says nothing. Nothing. Mm. Oh, interesting chat. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's an actual fucking he's an actual fucking pedophile. Yeah. It's fucking <laughs> it's great. Insane. Uh, that was the episode where Dean dry humps the blow dryer. It. That was a pretty funny part. Uh, the best thing is it's not the funniest part at all. This one fucking. Uh, this mission, I had to be... This is the most stressful mission. Okay, well, fuck me. This was, like, the most uh, stressful mission in the game because none of my weapons were piercing his fucking shield. <laughs> and you have, like, five dudes on the wall sniping you and they do so much damage. I was like, oh, this this is Armored Core, baby. 24. Come on, it's one female servicing a large group of males. That applies a species that lays eggs. 21. Smurfs don't lay eggs. <laughs> I'm not going through this with you again. They're, they're mammals. Papa Smurf has a fucking beard. <laughs> <laughs> Love of the monarch and the, uh, and number t- uh, two become the green hornet. Yeah, Sergeant Hatred. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, when they're talking about uh, for the wedding of, of Monarch and Doctor Girlfriend, they're talking about their seating stuff, and they're like, uh, they're like, oh yeah, Hank, uh, you need to sit next to to uh, to Hatred, and, and he's like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's like, oh man, uh, after, after what he did to, uh, after the weird stuff he did to us last time, and Dean's like, what? What, what are you talking about? He's like, oh, did you block that out? <laughs> it's implied fucking hatred, like molested the boys. Yeah. And it's like, oh no. God, Venture Bros is so fucking good. <laughs> so fucking good. Yeah, Sergeant, ha- uh, Sergeant Hatred was made a pedo due to super soldier drugs. Oh yeah, he's a massive fucking piece of shit. It's he's a foot great. fag too. And- no, no, he's not a foot fag. He's a foot fag spe- specifically because Princess Tiny Feet's Feet look like children's feet. Yeah, that's why he's attracted to her feet. <laughs> they look like children's feet. The the funniest part is like after Brock leaves, he hires hatred to be his new body. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God. Remember the episode with her mom? Uh, you mean their their not mom, the the old bodyguard chick? That was fucking great. It's a good episode. God, there, there's there's so many consistently good episodes of the Venture Bros. Like. The, the ones I didn't enjoy on, on a rewatch are ones that I've watched like 30 times. Yeah, because Adult way Swim, too many times, yeah. Like, Adult Swim wouldn't stop airing them. But that didn't make them, like, not good or anything. They're still very enjoyable episodes. Ain't, ain't his fault. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're injected with something that makes you a pedo. You're still a pedo. Yeah, you gotta be still put a pedo. Down. You gotta be put down. Who the fuck is their mom? I We don't find out. It's, Unless it's, it's something revealed in the in the movie, because yeah. apparently the apparently the the movie has a lot of a lot of stuff that they like rush to shove in there. Yeah. Did Did you know they were greenlit for an eighth season and they had the entire thing fully planned out? Jesus. They they were greenlit for it, had the entire thing planned out, and once season seven ended, the uh, the studio that greenlit it said, "Ah, oh, yeah, we're not doing that. Fuck you." See, this is just so they like, had to turn it into a fucking movie. Yeah, I'm like, this is just more proof of like, what the fuck is adult- what the fuck, dude? Like, Jesus Christ! Like, yeah. these guys make you a ton of fucking money. This is stuff that people love. It, like, it, it yeah. is a beloved series. It, it is genuinely fantastic, one and most, it makes you money. Why are you doing this? One of the most acclaimed fucking Adult Swim series. Like, I don't understand the absolute pathological hatred Adult Swim had with Venture Bros. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. I will never understand it. Yeah. Uh, Hatred takes drugs to make him stop being a pedo, and it makes him uh, grow breasts. It was a funny subplot. It, that's not only what makes him grow breasts. Uh, they're dealing with radiation that is transforming people. 
uh, for that episode, if I remember correctly. Because uh, that's the same one where Dean's girlfriend turns into, like, a fucking vampire chick with a giant brain. Yeah. Uh, didn't scam over two hours. Brock literally killed two, killed two guys with his butt. Yeah. The, the, the <laughs> nah, I forgot yeah. the fucking the ghost pirate, the yeah. Major Tom episode. That, that's one I laughed uh. so hard at, where where he's like, uh, it's like I have a I have a transponder, and he's like, okay, where is it? It's in my ass. Yeah, and the guy sticks his ass. hand up Brock's ass, and he clenches, and no, he beats no, the guy to no, death. No, it's with him. It, it's it's so it's so good because they're they're looking for the keys keys to the boat. Because yeah, they yeah, yeah. They want to steal the boat and, and and leave, and he's and he's like, the keys are up my ass, and yeah. and uh, <laughs> if you want him, you need to stick your hand up my ass, and uh, and and, uh, and and they're like. Well, what if he's telling, or uh, what if he's lying? I don't want to stick my hand up his ass. And the guy looks at him and goes, "If he's telling the truth, does that make it better?" <laughs> <laughs> so they 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 shove they sho- he shoves his hand up Brock's ass and he's looking for the keys, and uh, and the guy pulls a cigarette out and he starts smoking. And Brock's like, uh, "I'd kill for one of those." Yeah. Uh, and, and he's like, "I'm not giving it to you." And he's like, "Well, help me re- help me relax." Uh, and the guy's like, give him a fucking cigarette, bro. Like, and, like I'm sticking around in his ass. Yeah. And I like, I don't want to make this any harder than he's. He's like, no, I'm a fucking pirate. I take what I want. I don't give anyone anything. And he beats. He he ta- he clinches his ass, breaks the dude's hand, beats the other dude to death with the with the guy while his hand is in his ass. <laughs> Literally <laughs> slinging he asses his ass around to beat a dude to death with another motherfucker. My favorite part. <laughs> my favorite part is what the guy is screaming when he's doing it. Where it's like, he broke my hand. Yeah, with his he ass. broke my hand with his ass. He he beats him. To death, and, and fucking, he picks up the cigarette and he goes, I "Told you I'd kill for one of these." Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking good. Uh, uh, Abayel Estrada for five dollars. Uh, Lolly, I have a question. I, I, I try, I'm trying to do my own creative projects, but I'm worried that others might. Uh, I'm worried what others might think. What should I do? I uh, just make them. Yeah, just make them. Yeah, do do whatever you want, man. It doesn't, what other people think don't ma- don't matter. Yeah. If you're doing something creative, you should be doing it for yourself, anyways. Yeah. It's not about what others think. It's about learning a process. Yeah. That's literally it. Yeah. Brock got that gorilla grip. Pussy. Yeah. I love the bit where Brock torches the guy's testicles, finds a lump, and immediately is remorseful for the guy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's that's one of the episodes that I don't like because I've seen it so much. That's the one where they go to uh, uh, Underbite's uh, castle. That's the yeah. one where they, uh, they're they all dressed up as, as Star Wars characters. And, and they meet like a... It's like the neo-Nazi group, but they just do like... like kids pranks yeah where they do like ding dong ditches <laughs> yeah but they're like oh, avowed nazis like the one chick is dressed like hitler yeah, the no no she she's she's female hitler she's yeah. literally female hitler uh and but the only reason they're they're fucking with with underbite is because he uh he strapped bombs to tigers and tried to yeah. kill them other than that he they wouldn't be doing it yeah the major tom resolves the best brock showing up and beats the guy's ghost thing. i i love the major tom part uh, what i love about the major tom part what is so fucking funny is um uh, the way the way it goes down is they have they're talking to Major Tom's uh, ex wife uh, over over the transponder and she's she's like Tom you you gotta you gotta go you gotta go away you need to move on uh, it's been uh, fucking sixty years uh, I moved on you need to pass on to the next world and the uh, uh, action guy I forget what his name is but uh, uh, Rusty's old bodyguard the guy yeah. with the a, on, a on his helmet uh, he comes over and takes a transponder he's he's like he's like. Uh, he's like Tom. Is that you? Ah, oh, it's been it's been sixty years. Yeah. You, uh, you, you need to move on. Your uh, your wife's remarried to me. Yeah. Your wife your wife married me. And he goes from screaming screaming quieter to screaming louder than ever <laughs> before. <laughs> ah! It's so good. It's so fucking good. Tom, it's Jeannie. You're de- uh, you're dead, sweetie. Leave the Venture family alone. Yeah. yeah. You have to go home, honey. You're dead now. Drunk college, Brock Payne and her scene. Yeah! <laughs> that was funny. Where, where it's like, uh, I think that is, <laughs> that's the one where they're kidnapped by their, their old college yeah. friend. It's, it's Baron Underbite, Doc. Uh, uh, the albino. The albino, Monarch, all them. And they're trying to figure out what's going on. And and the Asian guy, the Asian guy who kidnapped him, it's like, oh well, thanks to you, I couldn't go on my date. And he thinks they're responsible. And they all just blocked out the memory of Brock showing up super drunk <laughs> and like fucking rage because he killed a guy in football practice. Like, he just beats the door down beats and the beats door the, door the beat, shit out of beats the shit out of everybody. And then uh, I, I forget who says it, but one of one of them's like, you know. You know, it was, Brock was probably the one that fucked his girlfriend. And he yeah. was. He, Brock was the he one that was. fucked the girl. He was the one who fucked his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you mess with the girl, you get the Hitler! Yeah, yeah it's so fucking great. It is fantastic. Just a fucking awesome show. Fucking awesome <laughs> show. Go ahead. Yeah. Take it from me. It's so good. It's in the pit. Yeah, it's, it's fucking amazing. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
I think it's Leslie. Leslie Nielsen, I think. Yeah, Leslie. Yeah. He, he made a bunch of sex bots the, of, of Leslie Nielsen. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like that, that uh, uh, Brock single-handedly beats the entirety of old, old Team Venture yeah. by himself. <laughs> it's so fucking good. Wally, I'm sorry for this, but we're at the part that I was talking about. <laughs> people just hate money. They're assholes, dude. Yeah. Like, I, I genuinely don't understand it. Where There has to be some kind of infighting happening at Adult Swim that even yeah. the people that make Venture Bros don't know about. Because every time bad news comes out about the Venture Bros, the creators aren't told. Yeah. They're not told, and it's just it's just terrible stuff, dude. Yeah. Uh, Maltov cock teas with spy wife materials. I, I fucking, I, I love the prom episode because you get to the part where, where Brock chases her down and she's hanging off the cliff and yeah. she and she and she's like she's like no uh, I'm no longer gonna be celibate I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself and Brock's like oh real real shit we're, we're gonna fuck and she's gonna go no I'm in love with I forget like his uh, uh, doctor uh, something doctor Mongo or some shit yeah doctor big word big like the word meant big doctor humongous I think uh, he's like no I've fallen in love with him. It's great. So good. Uh, Alchemist for $5. I heard More Mike Laszlo, out. the Adult Swim head, was the one keeping Venture Bros alive while keeping Metalocalypse down because he had a problem with Brendan Small. So when he left, they killed Venture Bros and gave Metalocalypse an ending. Finally, I don't know what's with Adult Swim. Uh, uh, Brendan Small has voiced several characters on Venture Bros. Yeah, I don't understand that beef then. It makes it, it does make sense because, as stated, Metalocalypse was another one where at every chance Brendan would try to end it or do something special, they tell him no. Mm -hmm. He had to fight tooth and nail to let him do, do uh, Doomstar. Which Doomstar yeah. was like, hey, why won't you let me finish the fucking show? Yeah. Anybody here watch Robot Chicken Heaven in over 15 years? I haven't watched Robot Chicken in a, in a long time. But yeah. it, it was fun while I watched it. Uh, it's one of those where the longer it goes on, the more it kind of gets painful. But they're genuinely funny skits. Mm -hmm. I got canceled because Mike Leslie barely even does anything anymore. And it's run by committee. Uh, some board member literally tried to tell Jackson Public to make the show more like Rick and Morty. Oh, we, God. We were talking about that, too. And it's it's like... Uh, the reason the reason you're so hard on on Rick and Morty is because it's just not nearly as good. Yeah, like, like we it, we it, were watching we were literally watching Venture Bros because we we were getting the stream set up when we were finishing the episode you had on, and literally like as we were watching it 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 fucking hit me. It's like I think I know why I don't like Rick and Morty that much, and it's because Venture Bros did it first and did it better. Mm -hmm. You know, like Moral Oral did the you know goofy comedy that gets really fucking serious thing a lot better. Venture Bros was just genuinely funnier. Mm -hmm. You know, to the point of like like comedy that really even like upped adult swim standards. Yeah. You know, like it's fantastic. It, you know, it, it's kind of crazy how how funny it was. So and you know, and I don't want to talk too much shit about Rick and Morty. Some people really like it and, and they they enjoy it a lot, but No, they should feel bad. Yeah, the, the more I was watching it, it's like it's really basically the same concept. It's like Hey, you know those old adventure serials of like old man taking his grandson out on an adventure or something like that? Well, what if it actually fucked the kid up pretty bad though? It's like that's literally what Venture Bros did. Yeah. Venture Bros, Venture Bros as a premise just does what Rick and Morty does, but better. Yeah, because they actually address like every aspect of it. Of hey, yeah, the kids are so fucking sheltered they genuinely can't survive in the outside world. Yeah, the the kids can't survive in the outside world, and then later later on they just can't adapt to living in the real world like in season six and seven i think it's six and seven might just be they, seven they move to new york they even do the joke of like oh yeah the main characters have died multiple times they do that better yeah where where it's like explicitly a joke of like yeah the boys have died over and over again we just clone them yeah they, they don't they like by by nature of what is going on you have taken the weight out of the character's depths yeah but rick and morty tries to go back in there and go like nah but like Imagine having, imagine having to bury another version of yourself because you fucked up the world, and, and, it's, and it's like, who cares? It's like you took all the weight out of out of that by your very nature. Yeah, it's know? explicitly who cares. Yeah, you yourself go. Who cares? Yeah. Ow. I was gonna say uh, we can we, we have what we need to to do this first try. So I, I believe in you, Lolly. I'm sorry if you're lost. <laughs> Don't let Baltius do this to you. That's Baltius. Yeah, this is Baltius. Oh. I told you my build fucking good. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty good. I I imagine I imagine this is probably something that's going to be pretty prolific for a, a majority of the game because once once I was able to to do this, uh, none of the game has been any difficult 
at all, any difficulty at all. Spider! Now, I didn't have access to this whenever I fought uh, Baltius. The, yeah. the first mech on my list is what I had to beat him with. Yeah, so I imagine, yeah, early game stuff would be a lot different. But I genuinely didn't realize that was Baltius. Yeah, you literally unlocked this stuff, I think, right after Baltius, anyways. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, Fierce after that Black Q for a dollar. Thoughts on Toonami takes on BLM as failure? What? Well, last I checked, Toonami doesn't think BLM is a failure. They fucking simped for that shit. But yeah, no, uh, it, it was, in fact, a horrible failure because mm -hmm. they took all those millions of dollars and turned it into mansions. Yeah. So if I play Metal Wolf Chaos, am I ready for this game? This game is a lot harder than Metal Wolf Chaos. Yeah, substantially plays, different. It also plays different. Yeah. Uh, fun story, Action Johnny was literally called and meant to be Johnny Quest. Yeah, when he was introduced and they were allowed to do it because uh, that and Venture Bros are both owned by Turner Broadcasting. But So yeah. when the Hanna-Barbera division asked him to stop, so they tweaked his character. Yep. Uh, Rick and Morty feels like a uh, skit that would be in another show. It's Back to the Future Perry that went on too long after one season. There are some genuinely funny aspects to Rick and Morty, like... Whenever it did the interdimensional TV episodes, I thought those were kind of clever because it's just ad libbing of like, "Hey, let's you know, come up and see what we can we can do," you mm -hmm. know, shit like that. I specifically hated it when it tried being serious. Yeah. Every time it tried being serious and was like, like Beth and Jerry's marriage, I fucking hated every single second they focused on that. Yep. Because that was literally Dan Harmon jerking off about his own marriage. Yeah. It's like I don't fucking care. Mm -hmm. The early game, you're pretty limited. Yeah, but like you're not, you're not crazy limited. The the thing about Baltius is, uh, what's hard about him is getting his shield down. That giant orb is the only thing that's hard about him because he spams it a lot. It has a lot, it has a lot of uh, damage resistance on the shield itself, so the shield takes forever to get down. Uh, you're supposed to use plasma weapons to, yeah. to get it down. Plasma weapons, I think, do more damage, or at least they really fucking seem to do a lot more damage when I was playing it. Uh, so you got to keep you got to keep things in mind. Uh, uh, Square for two hours. I find it funny that Venture Bros has heart, uh, heart rather than Rick and Morty. Yeah, yeah, it really does. You know, there, there's more clever jokes. They're actually like more of an understanding of what it's parodying. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm in Code Vein, and Coco is now my favorite waifu. Good, she is pretty good. I remember when everyone tried to explain what a rusty venture was? Yeah, that's the prom episode too. The yeah. prom episode is a really good one. It has a lot of stuff. It is a pretty funny one. I, I, I like, I like Rusty, uh, Rusty thinks a rusty venture is just a just a drink if i remember correctly yeah. and everyone's like no nah, rusty a rusty venture is this fucking like rancid sex act he's like oh my god why would they name that after me yeah. and they're like like come on rusty you were the poster child for a, a shit ton of gay guys back in the day and he's like oh god <laughs> which also doesn't go into into the gay nihilism shit yeah i mean yeah. well sort of sort of kind of they, they don't they don't wear it on their sleeve but like yeah the the closest it does is just going like, "Hey, the characters are kind of bad. Mm -hmm. Like they're they're bad people." Yeah. And even then, it doesn't really obsess over it. I, was like, I don't remember any character going on that there is no there is no god or whatever stuff. Yeah. But like the doc is very very firmly in like the this realm of science. Like whenever yeah. Orpheus is talking about souls and stuff, like the doc will not let him finish his sentence. He's 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 like, "You call it a yeah. soul. I call he, it a circuit board." And, he you know, has to prove he's right. Yeah. yeah. But they're willing to make fun of that and go like, but motherfucker, he's literally pulling people out of hell. Yeah. You know, uh, that kind of thing where should, they have fun with it. I should have watched Moral Oral. Yeah, I've seen I've seen Moral Oral. I've seen all of Moral Oral. Uh, if you like Venture Bros, I recommend getting a copy of this book. It's written by Doc and Jackson, and it goes into how they created the show. It's interesting be, uh, behind-the-scenes stuff, and they go uh, episode by episode with explanations and trivia. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, yeah, the Go Team Venture book. I, I've seen it. I've seen that uh, places before. I don't own it, but I've seen it. Uh, Marquis Great Ape, Dealers, Smiling Friends is better than Rick and Morty as well. Yeah. It is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty fun. When season two? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> when season two? Chat, how many years has it been? This has been three years, chat. Remember when the Ventures met their female doppelgangers and they ended up more messed up than the Ventures? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I love how the gayest character in the Venture Bros is Shirley, even one of the most badass characters. Yeah. Shirley's fun. Uh, Abbey Illustrata for $2. Thoughts on the Netflix Daredevil show and the comics? Daredevil show is great. It's completely yeah. like completely separate from the comics. Yeah I, I, yeah, I do like it. It's fun. I never really read much Daredevil, but I liked the Netflix show a lot. There's a there's several like fucking truly Kino uh, uh, comic runs for for Daredevil. Uh, they're adapting they're adapting one right now that yeah. they had already seems like they've given up on doing it justice at all. Yeah. Uh, Born again is gonna fucking be garbage. Yeah, they're already they have to advertise the fact it's PG thirteen and specifically say, okay guys, it might not feel like the Netflix show. It's like, <laughs> why the fuck are you making it? Yeah. Well, even then, like... Why are you that, bringing in this version of Punisher, then? It's like... Yeah. He is, like, hard fucking R-rated. Yeah. 
Why did Dexter have to get into weird incest shit? Uh, I, I, we don't yeah. talk about Dexter. We don't talk about Dexter here. Okay? It would have been fine if they didn't confirm that they were blood related. Like that was a that that was a <laughs> twist that made the already kind of dumb plot point worse. Yeah. Where it's like, why? You had the perfect out with like, well, they're adopted, and then you had to go and go. All right, but no, they're not actually. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Uh, Doc Venture actually knocked up a 15-year-old and had a bastard child. Yeah, she was the president of his yeah. fan club, and he, he knocked her up. And yeah, that's how you get the to, fucking uh, jock kid. Yeah, yeah, I forget. what is. He's not even a jock kid. He's just yeah. a piece of shit. He's yeah, just uh, a piece his, of shit, like Holden Caulfield, like yeah, asshole. Yeah, I forget what his name is, but yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it because, it, yeah, at the at the science fair episode, he's like just a complete dick, and he kept yeah. talking over everything. <laughs> then at the very end, he's like, you sure he's my dad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dermot, Dermot, yeah. Uh, he's like he's just a massive piece of shit, and he he says that he says that Brock's his dad because he thinks yeah. Brock he thinks Brock is super cool. Yeah. Uh, God, that episode is so fucking fun, so much fun. Dexter was sitting out Alabama. If only it was in Florida. Yep. Ooh, excuse me. Punisher needs at least an X rating, like, like you don't like, have to go that Pun- far. Punisher, Punisher is just really like a serious subject matter. One, yeah. Like one hundred percent of the time, like. Why would you ever be like, no, we need to make a PG-13? It's like, no, it's for mature audiences. Treat, yeah. treat it as such. Yeah. Well, it's like you have the perfect tone of, of like a, a Punisher movie, and that's the Thomas Jane one where, yeah. yeah, you are unafraid to show pretty grisly imagery and concepts. Yeah, you have a, you have, you have grisly and fucked up shit happening, but then you also have moments like the the Russian busting in and whooping yeah. his fucking ass. To, to the uh, Italian uh, opera thing where yeah. it's, it's this over-the-top goofy fight. His, his neighbors are cooking dinner uh, without any knowledge. Like, you know, they're, they're, a Punisher tone can be set and be set very well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, love, I love when Doc and Jackson decided to make the show about the characters trying to improve to the point when they have Rusty straight up say it. What the hell am I doing in therapy in the first place? I'm no drug addict. I don't have an eating disorder. And as much as I resent my father, I never wanted to kill him. Most importantly, I grew up. I'm not a boy adventurer. I have my own business and my own family. And if you'll excuse me, I think it's high time I got back to them. Yeah. I mean, everyone. to be fair, he was in a room with a bunch of, like, literal psychopaths. Like, yeah. uh, uh, the, I forget the the two boys, but they're, they're a play on the, the book detectives. The yeah. Hardy Boys. The Hardy Boys. Yeah, they're a play on the Hardy Boys. Uh, they literally killed their fucking dad. Like yeah, well, one of them. I'm pretty sure one of the people there uh, is one of uh, Wonder uh, Wonder guys. Yeah, uh, uh, ex sidekicks. In, yeah. in which case, he absolutely molested to nonstop. Yeah, he, I didn't get like, this. Yeah, he's super fucked up. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 for a dollar. Uh, I watched Panty and Stocking Dub for the first time this week. It's great. I don't know what people are complaining about. My only worry is Funimation will fuck up the new season. It's purely that the people involved in the dub were bad people. Mm-hmm. Like that's literally what I'm after. It's like it's a very fun dub. A lot of people, a lot of people view it the as the way to watch Pain Stalking because then it's just like watching Ren and Stimpy with with women. Yeah. But the the people in the dub were fucking terrible people. Yeah. That gunned after Vic yeah. Mignogna and tried to ruin his fucking life. A much more stars. Uh, hardest Punisher kill moment across all his media. Punisher Max when he put the guy's guts in the tree. Put the guy's guts in the tree. Uh, I do. I do. Whenever he kills the uh, the uh, one chick, is pretty brutal. Yeah. Uh, he keeps chucking her up against, yeah, the, against fucking the window. Yeah. Glass. Yeah. I can't remember. I can't remember if it's just from the from the game or if it's in the comic too. Uh, you put her in a trash compactor. Uh, you can put a guy in the game in a trash compactor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you have a shootout in a junkyard. I do know that there is one. There's he, there's a kill that he does in the comics where he uh, drops. I think it's a chick, but I'm not 100% sure, into a garbage compactor more and than starts likely. shutting it. That, more than likely, because that, you know, that would be what the game would be referencing. Yeah. Uh, those people also won. I haven't seen Vic in anything. He's pretty hard blacklisted. He started his own dubbing studio. Yeah. I don't and, know. I don't and know he is getting contracts, but mainly for, like, kid stuff. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, hey, it still work. Yeah. You miss something from PSG when you don't hear, what the fuck? Sir? Yeah, like, I, I watched it in sub, and I was happy. I thought it was funny. Oh, uh, yeah. Panning and stalking and Gardabelle. Yeah, it's it's just fantastic. The best super best friends let's play. That's hard. That's hard. Uh, I never watched the entire thing because it's a fucking JRPG and as long as fuck. But some of my favorite moments did come from the Final Fantasy X playthrough. Yeah. Racist Waka Peak. That was pretty fucking great. Hey yo man, I I don't I don't wanna mix no blood with no dirty fucking owl bed. <laughs> so fucking good. Our bed could be here, man. Our bed could be anywhere. Walking up. Like, 
best, like best super best friends moment. God, that's that is that's it, it, fucking hard. I loved all those shitstorm scarinesses. Like they were awesome. If you just category categorize that as a series, yeah, the shitstorm scariness is fantastic. Well, uh, I love I love the Bug Island one that they Bug did. Island was funny it was, shit. It was Liam and Matt, if I remember correctly, and the entire time was fantastic because it's it's just this weird niche Wii game that you would never think would ever even get ported, and like Liam knows a fucking weird a, sh- a weirdly large amount about the game, and you're like, what the fuck? It's Did great. He, didn't he test for it, and that was why he might he might have tested for it. Yeah, that, that's very is possible because. Uh, Wooly was a tester, Matt was a tester, and I think Liam were a tester. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think the only one that wasn't was Pat. I think yeah. I think Pat was just a friend of Wooly's in college. Yeah. And then, by extension, a friend of Matt's. Uh, if I had to pick a personal best, um, I really liked whenever they did the David Cage shit. Mm-hmm. The, I, I know those are kind of like, you know, dead memes now, but, God, they were fucking funny. The only one that I really like was the... Um, the David Bowie one, fuck what's it called? Oh, uh, Omicron, yeah. Omicron had its moments, and even even then, like, they got burnt out on it. Yeah, they got it, tired. It took so long to do the fucking Let's Play. Yeah. It was, like, one of the last ones they did before, before they, it fucking broke up. Yeah, and, like, if you actually watch it, there are moments when they get legitimately fucking vitriolically angry, oh, yeah. and you're like... Like, hey guys, uh, you can cut this out of the let, uh, out of let's play, guys. You can, cut, is, the, you can cut this out. This is a funny bit, you know. Like, this is this is a funny bit, right, guys? Like, people talk about them, like Matt and Pat snipping, uh, snipping at each other on the podcast and stuff. Yeah. Dude, it, like, there are moments on that playthrough where it yeah. just everyone involved is fucking pissed, and it's like, how long did this take? I know, right? Like. Are you angry because you're fighting behind the scenes, or are you angry because the game took this long and you're just pissed off? Yeah, I know, right? Like I think a, at one point, I think at one point during the playthrough, one of them just dips out. Like one of oh the, one of them just stops going through the fucking playthrough. Oh my god! Yeah. Like I, I, the first time I really noticed that there was there was something going on was uh, the homecoming, homecoming playthrough, where at the very end they're on the final boss. Matt kept dying, and he was getting like legitimately pissy, mm-hmm. and and like Matt was trying to keep it up, and 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 uh, and Matt was like, "Man, this boss fucking sucks. It's not great." And and Pat kind of segued off that. It's like, "Yeah, it sucks because it's like not scary." But that's <laughs> that moment always stuck out to me, where I'm like, Matt was legitimately like, angry. "Oh yeah, Matt, Matt Matt was legitimately legitimately upset uh, for it." And you know, whenever you have Pat, who his, his entire like gimmick was. Uh, he's the grumpy one. He's he's always yeah. upset uh, and stuff like that. And he's the one that's like, "Hey, bro, like we need to lighten the mood, dog." Yeah, yeah. And it's like, ah, oh, shit. Which, I mean, in all fairness, Silent Hill Homecoming sucked, but it's mm-hmm. like that 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 was the first time I kind of noticed, like, huh? Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm playing Homecoming. Shut the fuck up, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I, I know, I know. There, are, there are times when I get snippy with Lolly, but it's never, it's never. No, as, that was. It's like, never as bad as, hey, shut the fuck up. Yeah, like that <laughs> was. Followed oof. by fucking awkward silence. Yeah, that that was that was that was. You, you see what I mean? Like homecoming was like the first time I really noticed like. Oh wow! They're like at yeah. first. At first, you know, because it, it came out when we were dumb teenagers. Like, oh, yeah. you know, the game sucks that much. They're they're that it angry pretty, at the poopy boat game. game. <laughs> yeah. And then now, in hindsight, you kind of look back on it. And it's like there's a lot of moments we just kind of like, yeah, let slide, and we didn't realize like, ooh, okay. <laughs> you didn't you didn't look into it because they were they were because why would you? Yeah, uh, they did a very good job of keeping a, a good public face. Oh yeah, they were like, great at up till the very fucking end. People were all great. on board with the Zaibatsu thing. Yeah, everyone was on board with the Zaibatsu thing. Everyone was surprised whenever they they broke up. Like yeah. whenever whenever Woolies Woolies like. Hey, this is a bad video. You know, I really didn't want to have to make it, but people were convinced friends are done, and it's like what? People were convinced it was a bit. I thought it was a bit. Yeah, when it started off, I thought it was a bit too, and then you have every every the part that that made me realize it when I was first watching the video, realize it wasn't a bit is whenever they cut to everybody and everyone is recording from their own homes. Yeah, and I was like, ah, 
fuck, bro. Yeah. Uh, I was like, shit, yeah, this is real. Because, yeah, when, when the video started, I was like, oh, well, you know, it's a bit because the Omicron playthrough... It, yeah. You know, it, it, it's like when 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 Monkey started like losing all his friends and they were booting him out of everything. Yeah. I thought it was a bit where it's like, oh, he's getting he's getting booted from like every podcast in a day. Whatever, that's a joke. Yeah. And it's only in hindsight that you go like, oh wow, that was just like flat out. Okay. Yeah. I would really prefer if you'd be quiet, Pat to Matt. Yeah. They, t- towards the end, t- towards the end, there were some there were some, uh, there were some moments. Brutal moments. It, it's, it's stuff that only stands out like. Pa- like past tense, right? Like yeah, even, yeah. Even if you were to like watch it for the first time and not know anything that's going on or anything that had happened, I don't think it would stand out to you. Yeah, no, you you it wouldn't really click because you 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 kind of understand the gimmick already. It's like a game grumps thing. Oh, they get snippy with each other. They're playing it up, performing of outrage, mm-hmm. and it's only like yeah, when you when you see the story in hindsight, you're like. That wasn't performative. Yeah, yeah, they just started to, you know, whatever the fuck was going on behind the scenes genuinely had them fucking vitriolic Angry. at each other. Yeah. Like, and and there's still theories to this day of what happened. Yeah. Um, I, I I genuinely think it might have just been a, a money a money thing. Nine times out of ten, it's always money. Because it, 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 I, like, a lot of people go like, no, nah, it's the politics of it, man. It's the politics of it. And it's like, they, they all, they, they all share other. the same politics. Like, they all agree with each other. Like, they all, they all... Even now that they're not friends, they still believe all the same shit, you know? Uh, yeah, a bunch of fucking Canadians living in Montreal. Yeah, they all agree uh, with yeah. each other. <laughs> yeah, like, the Canadians living in the heart of Canada. You think they're not going to just share a hive mind? Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. So it's like, I don't think that would be the be the case. Uh, mainly, mainly it was, oh, the politics of Matt's girlfriend. And I don't think Matt's girlfriend has fucking anything to do with... No. Like, may, may, maybe he was like, oh, well... Like we need to renegotiate how much everyone gets paid because I'm supporting two people now. Like maybe, yeah. But that's not on her. That's on Matt. And that comes back to it's about the money. Yeah, it does. It does boil down to it. It's about the money. Yeah. And I, I can understand because they're uh, someone. Someone had their channel pulled up. Can Can you check how many subs that they have right now, uh, real quick for me? Because I, I I know view wise they had they had a pretty good view ratio. They had a great view ratio. Uh, and they had a really good engagement ratio too. Yeah. Like people people love commenting and just you know. Expressing their their opinions on on their playthroughs and stuff. It was, it was like they had a really fucking good community. Yeah. Like I always viewed them as like just better game grumps. Like me and my oh, brother would they fucking blew the they blew game grumps out of the fucking water. Even yeah. with Jontron. Me me and my brother would talk about it all the time. Or it's like yeah, game grumps. You get like a fucking ten minute part for a playthrough. You know, super best friends. It's like half an hour at least. Yeah. 715k, so around 800k. So whenever they broke up, they might have been a little bit over 800k, I think maybe. Uh, so yeah, like they had a decent amount, but I can see if you're splitting that that money between four people, artists and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I can see where you know people would start getting to the point where they're arguing about money. Yeah, uh, there was also like, from what I understand. Uh, a common theory that would go around, mm-hmm. and maybe it's true, maybe it's not true, maybe yeah, it's all speculative. We don't actually know. Uh, none, of them are gonna, none of them are going to comment. Is that Pat wanted more money because he wanted to marry Paige, mm-hmm. and he thought Matt would blow it all? Because you know, if you follow Matt's Twitter, he was always going on vacation, oh, he, doing this, doing that. He he was doing the um, what's his face, uh, the dark side Phil thing, where he would. He was always showing off uh, new expensive collectibles or yeah. you know, going on vacation and stuff like that. He has a lot of expensive shit. Like he yeah, has, he does. Yeah, he has one of the like what one sixth scale poison figures that's like yeah. six hundred dollars and stuff. And he was getting this while they were, I don't know, like uh, before around twenty thirteen. I want to say maybe. Yeah. So. Yeah, unlike you guys sharing fifty fifty, right, Lolly? <laughs> <laughs> Showed it directly. Lolly. Should have directly threatened me if I gave him any more. True, true. Yeah. That's why I'm putting it all in an investment account. Mm-hmm. So that he can be poor with me. <laughs> <laughs> you can also tell they actually enjoyed and were passionate for the games they played, too. Look at how many games reference them or the Zybots compared to Game Grumps references. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Fuck, they have they have their own self-insert character in a game. In Dive Kick, fucking, what's his, what's his name? Uh, not Rage. No, um, fucking. Uh, I think he's uh, Baz. Yeah, Baz, Baz. Baz is a character in Dive Kick, you know. And granted, Dive Kick's like a, just a, a fun, fun little game, and not a genuinely serious fighting game. But it was but still. They, a... Yeah, they got a character in there. They yeah. themselves, the best friends, are in Skullgirls as a background asset. I don't know if they've been taken out post breakup or some shit. Yeah, and, uh, and, and very just possible. Post, and just post Skullgirls bullshit. Yeah, but like still. But yeah, I mean, it's like it. They were they were very very popular and a lot of people you know fucking loved them. They were the reason Skullgirls got any recognition whatsoever. Yeah, 
Like, that can't even be contested. They're the reason. They're, they're a big part of it. Skull, now, Skullgirls had a lot of a lot of talent behind it, and as such, a lot of advertising potential. Super Best Friends, Zone, oh, several yeah. other very affluent fucking uh, uh, internet personalities were behind it, too. You know, like, the Super Best Friends weren't the only ones added in, into a background for the game. But, like, for sure, they, they did a good job of, of uh, advertising the game. Oh, yeah. Skullgirls launch party all week, every week. <laughs> Jaspunk also has a building called Zaibatsu Inc. in the background for one of the levels. All right, now here's the thing. Now, Zaibatsu is a thing that comes from Tekken. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's called the Zaibatsu Corporation. It is um, Jin's... It's the Kazuya's Corporation that they have. So that comes from Tekken. That's not a that's not a super best friend thing. They just kind of uh, adopted the name. I don't know what the fuck Zaibatsu means. It probably means something in particular. Yeah. Uh, I only know about Skullgirls from Matt and Willie. Exactly. Super Best Friends cast was so good. There were a lot of great moments. Super Best Friends cast was genuinely pretty good. Like, yeah. It, it was before podcasts blew up, and it was also, even to this day, because I don't really actively listen to, to Castle Super Beast, um, it's the only podcast I ever genuinely like listen to. I tuned yeah. into. Once I found out that they actually had a podcast, however many hundred episodes in, it was every fucking, everyone. Oh, yeah. I tuned in for everyone. Oh, yeah. It was fucking great. Mm-hmm. Ow! I bit my th- I bit my lip. No, it's a historical term. Well, what does it mean, chat? Fuck! What does it mean, chat? A zaibatsu is a Japanese-sanctioned megacorp. Oh, okay. Okay. Mitsubishi is a zaibatsu. Oh, okay, okay. I wouldn't call that a historical term. Ouch! Eh. Ow! Zaibatsu is basically an umbrella corp. Okay. 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 Can't stand listening to Castle Super Beast. It's not as bad. It's just now that you yeah. have less personalities on the podcast to kind of intermingle with each other. It's just the way that Wooly and Pat bounce off of each other. Yeah, which is still the same way it's always been. Only you had other playthroughs to break st- break stuff up on the channel, and it wasn't just them on the podcast. Yeah, like uh, on the last Castle Super Beast. Well, it might not be the last one anymore, but. Uh, I remember seeing it on Twitter where they're like, "Hey, we got fucking Vinny Vine Sauce on," and I was like, "Damn, they are actually doing good for themselves." Aren't yeah, they? that that would actually be kind of fun to listen yeah. to. I like I like Vinny. Uh, yeah. Vin, Vinny usually has at least an acceptable take on shit. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm 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 willing to be down for this. Well, usually Vinny is like, "Hey, let's talk about video games." Yeah, that's fair. V- Vinny can actually talk about video games, and he uh, the way he gets distracted and, and derailed uh, is it seems very um, very organic. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. Like he'll he'll be talking about one thing, ease into something else, and you won't you you won't notice it. Still got their Samurai Cop riff track saved up. It's fun to watch in the back burner. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, that's another one where they they really liked uh, Samurai Cop. Mm-hmm. They, they fucking they, they got fucking Ludwig Forsell on for a couple too. Yeah, but Ludwig's a fucking cuck. Yeah, I hate that piece of shit. Uh, 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 saving you trouble, go down. Yeah, that's right. That's saving where going. you trouble, that's where go going. Down. Oh god, oh god. We don't have the armor to survive. Stop floating, spider bot. This is the one time you don't need to float. Oh my god, it's cave full of laser smoking. Boom. <laughs> I'm fucking begging you, spider bot. You don't need to float. Mm. Funniest cast of uh, clip I've seen was the one where they found out that Pokemon in Gen 5 locked easy mode behind completing the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Uh, they used to have their own website where they where they would post their podcasts and LPs a few days early. Yep. Yep. Opinion on Oni plays. I don't watch them very much. And by very much, I mean at all. Yeah. Uh, they're they're okay. Uh, some of the bits I think are genuinely funny, but they're they're one of those where I'd rather look up a highlights uh, video than like actually watch the LP, which That's fair. which is a difference between uh, fucking super best friends and 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 Oni oh, yeah. plays. I I wanted to watch. I I would just. Uh, after after they split up and stuff, and people started making a ton of mega comps, I would just watch the mega comps, and it's, just, oh, it's yeah. literally just all their LPs into one long fucking video, and it's like, it's like, yeah, I'll just put this on in the background because it's funny as fuck. Uh, fuck is carcass for dollar lolly. How many people are not aware of Kami Progs infiltrating companies just to cancel the uh, original creators with bogus Me Too allegations just for the sole purpose of stealing the IP and subverting it? Case in point: Super Mega, Skullgirls, Pixar. Well, people know what happens, just. For some reason, nobody wants to actually go, hey, let's not do that. I don't think Super Mega was anybody getting in there and subverting stuff. I think it's just, I think that was there from the beginning. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, it, it, it is a thing that does happen. Yeah, it's why, it's why whenever, you know, you hear about, like, oh, we need to gatekeep, gatekeep. It's like, unless you're getting a job at that company, you're not gatekeeping shit. Right. 
Uh, I miss Halloween sh- uh, shitstorms. Halloween isn't the same anymore. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, I, I I, always looked forward to the shitstorms of, sta- of scariness. Because they never covered, I, like, obvious stuff. It was always, it was always like, something, something niche, weird and interesting. Niche and fun. Uh, like, whenever we first started doing streams, uh, they're like, there, was, there was a while when I was, like, super excited whenever Halloween would start to tick around because, like, oh, this is the time to do a, a, a bunch of horror stuff. And then I realized, like, I don't think there's that much horror stuff that I'm super duper interested in right now to actually do streams Ow. on, you know? Uh, the cancellation attempt on Vinny was bullshit. I think it generally affected him, though. Yeah, but he did the smart thing and immediately fucking lawyered up and said, yeah. hey, this is a lie, it's all false, and we will do this through the legal process. Yeah. It's like, no, you fucking piece of shit, I didn't do it. Yeah. Uh... Molly! No! Lower area limit, spider tank perish. Spider tank said... Oh, you fucking dick! Fucker. Okay. To be fair, you can you can probably just hover that entire distance. Here. No. Is there ever a horror game that terrified you? Uh. Darkwood got pretty freaky. Not that I can think of right now. That like had me fucking piss in my pants. Nah. Not that I can think of. Okay. Your thoughts on Sphere Damn Hunter? Uh, I like a lot of Sphere Hunter's uh, early videos. I have yeah. not watched her in fucking forever. When when she decided to go full on like shell tuber, that's where I started going a little like, all right, I'm okay, okay. Yeah. I don't need to watch this upload. Like, what, what really like rubbed me the wrong way was was doing the whole oh maybe we can redesign Ashley and then did a cosplay as original as, Ashley. Yeah, as original Ashley, and it's like I mean you had your chance to do to do the new Ashley. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to be fair, I think I think the complaints about the redesign came after that, if I remember correctly. Still, it's it's a thing of like you clearly don't care, like yeah. you you clearly don't care, and I hate that shit yeah. of like, you know, writing the current thing even though you blatantly don't give a shit. Yeah. It's, a, it's what happens whenever you uh, become a big YouTuber and yeah. you get early access uh, to stuff. Yeah. As long as you shill, chat. It's the truth of it. Yeah. So, a multiplayer match? Uh, probably not. I haven't played any of the multiplayer, but I imagine it's min max the fuck because oh, yeah. all of them are. It's uh, from soft multiplayer. It's exactly <laughs> just meta and min max. Uh, if you do want to watch an Oni Planes playthrough, uh, don't watch any Sonic related ones. Bad Kids is, is insufferable in those episodes. You no, know, Aaron kept saying he liked Sonic, but all he would do was complain. Take that, but ten times spare gear. I imagine so. Well, Spaz Kid was like Spaz uh, Kid is also uh, you know a Spaz. Yeah. <laughs> it's like had that little brief period in the the early you know early to late two thousands yeah. where it's like, hey, it's pretty funny, and then it's like. Okay. Yeah. Miss when I thought Spear Hunter was a woman. Yeah, it's been too long. Home slices. I'm not correcting shit. Yeah. Yeah, y'all should know better. Still surprised Spear Hunter hasn't scrubbed away most of her true cam girl past yet. It's the internet. You really, it's really fucking hard to. Yeah, it's it's really like, a coin flip. It's either you're you you are able to to completely wipe away all copies of a file somewhere. Like if you're trying to find like a really obscure movie, have fucking fun. Yeah. Have fucking fun. But, yeah, other shit, no. You're, it's up there forever, and you need to accept that risk. Yeah. I, uh, like, yeah, fuck that shit. Also, oh, also, I love that, uh, that thing that you blew up and released into the air. Yeah, it's in the fucking air. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that giant red sky? Yeah, that's it. I see. Yeah. So, what, is that good or bad? I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet. Oh, you know what? So, it does have a cool gameplay effect. Uh, later on in missions. So whenever you are surrounded by it, you get uh, your energy depletes at a super duper slow rate and it regenerates instantly. Uh, uh. But it constantly damages you. So no. it's like it's like constantly energizing your mech. It's cool. It's not min max yet, people are still trying to figure shit out. Just know how your your time, your QB and you'll do fine. Whenever uh, a spear hunter annoys me, I just say okay sure see lightning and spam taking out of the ass. See shit like that. I don't. I don't really care for because it's it? like, you know, whenever uh, Spear Hunter annoys them, they'll spam with their porns. Like, you know, I don't give a shit about that. It's, it's like, it's like, eh? like people make a living, however it be. It's just the fact of, yeah, I, I don't like the the shill thing. I don't like the whole like, yeah, I don't, I don't. Whatever the current thing people on Twitter are talking about, you're you're gonna take the side of the most popular opinion. Yeah. Which most of the time is actually incorrect. It's like. Yeah, the, the I say the the Resident Evil the, thing the, the really shill, the rubbed shill me the wrong way. The stuff is really annoying, but you know what's even more annoying? People on the internet. Yeah, yeah. 
It, it, any time anyone like just spams something constantly, it's like, all right, buddy, you, you did it for three seconds, and now it's no longer funny. Yeah. I don't think there's anything that that is that is funny past like the three second mark. There's a reason. There's a reason it's called the rule of threes. Oh yeah. It works for it works as a rule of three in fucking everything. Video games, movies, TV shows, yeah. life. No one to end a bit. No one to end a bit. If you if, listen, man. If you go on three dates and you ain't liking it yet, don't do it. Easy peasy. Uh. Oh no. Can only show to have you see. I have not seen. Yeah. Uh, how was AC6? It's very fun. Very, very fun. It is It is a fantastic. The spider tank knows no mercy. The spider tank does know no mercy. As a matter of fact, the spider tank is what I built to dismantle the spider. Yeah. And you're getting there, buddy. Ow. Have you, shown, have you found where the Japanese office worker lives to finish what you started? Yes, chat. Oh, God. I We're finally away her. from the fucking gimmick. Oh, you think that was the gimmick? I'm sorry for your loss, buddy. No. Scatterverse. Yeah. You ranted about shit for five hours and I found it funny. That's because I did. That's because I never dropped the bit, chat. Yeah. I didn't get. I didn't get to round two or three. I just never dropped bit one. <laughs> no sure's a way to join Joseph Pizzi in Far Cry Five, but he nukes the world, chat. Like, like no matter what, he nukes the world. Yeah. Gotta access the container. Yeah. Now, if you just step Enemy detected. Enemy oh god. This is why I call the spider spider racist. Because <laughs> it, it was built specifically to slaughter this fuck. <laughs> is everyone okay this fine morning? Yes. Oh god. About to meet Spider Tank's bigger brother. Yeah, no, chat. I built this I built this mech specifically to, to destroy spider uh the sea spider, so uh Lolly should have this in the bag. Ow. Lolly? Lolly? Why are you fumbling, Lolly? Now, uh, what do you guys know about the Tekken storyline? Uh, I know the broad strokes. Not too much. I never really played story in Tekken. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird, because it's one of the more story-focused fighting games. Yeah, sort of, kind of. I, I could probably... I could probably just fucking pull a bunch of stuff out of my ass that was... Uh, uh, from the Tekken games, but I can't I can't actively remember a timeline. Yeah. Uh, which Zayler movie do you like better? Bone Tomahawk, Brawl and Cellblock 99, or Dragged Across Con Concrete? It's either Bone Tomahawk or... Eh, it's probably Brawl and Cellblock 99. Brawl and Cellblock 99 is really fucking good. Mm -hmm. I also really, really like... Um, I really like Dragged Across Concrete. The, the ending to that one is just so good. Mm -hmm. Enemy detected. Yeah. Looks like you were in the bag. <laughs> right. The Mishima family hates each other uh, and fucks over so many people that it makes it makes them hate the Mishima family. Yeah, like they're just not good people. What good? What popular movie is just sucky? No Marvel. Uh, any romance movie ever. Yeah, a lot of them. I just generally do not like romance movies. Uh, you can still dash in the air while you're in hover mode. Well, not anymore. We don't have any energy for it. But yeah, I'll try that. Uh, a lot of Avatar movies, like the the one and two. Oh yeah, I, like all the Avatar movies, the all two of them. <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're fucking, fucking garbage. I hate they're them. fucking terrible. I fucking hate them so much. The Battle of the Arachnids. Yes, Chad. Uh. I'm gonna rent Armor Core Five to see if I uh, like it before I buy six. I mean, sure. Ow. No. Hmm. Uh, thoughts on Blaze Blue? I thought the cutscenes went on for too long, and if it was go uh, even if it was going for a visual novel, uh, Blaze Blue's got a fun, a fun story. Yeah, I I'm fine with a lot of that because you know, the the entire point of Blaze Blue is once again it's it's kind of a more f story focused fighting game. Uh, that's why every character has like different systems because the context of who they are requires it. Mm -hmm. No. It's also like. It's also got a, a like a fun overarching story. Uh, yeah. The main ca the main character essentially having the race uh, having to erase himself from history is a uh, kind of is, is pretty sad. Make you feel bad. You feel some some type of way. 
Avatar Jim Cameron's misanthropic humanity bad movie that just irritates the RDA and always makes them look cooler. Oh, always justifies the RDA. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, it it really wouldn't even be an issue if they explained, like, hey, we don't even need the energy. It's just a greedy company. Yeah. But the fact they specifically say humanity needs it is like, what, are we supposed to go fucking extinct? Right. All right, you first, asshole. Yeah. It's it's uh, well developed uh, well developed civilization or uh, literal monkeys and rags. Literal monkeys and rags that worship a death tree that tells them how many children they can have. Yeah. Sure, Lolly has there ever been an anime show, movie, etc. that you otherwise enjoyed, but the ending was so bad and unfulfilling that it ruined it for you? Uh, uh, most definitely. If rather, uh, if I can think of it right now or not, I do knew. Uh. I will say Akadama Drive's ending was pretty weak. Like, yeah, it definitely seems like it should be going on for more. That yeah, sure. like, it, it just kind of ends right as one character goes through a pretty major character shift. Yeah. To the point that, like, you genuinely, like, she just gets dropped out of the fucking story. I, I want to change one of these two. Yeah, uh, go for it. Uh, who suffers worst fate, the main protect from Blaze Blue or the franchise being stuck in gotcha and a gotcha hellscape? I played the Blaze Blue gotcha. It fucking, like, it's not fun. It's not yeah. very fun. Devil Man. Devil Man's ending isn't incomplete. It's intentional. Oh, yeah. Earth 2 sucked. Uh, I mean, as much, I, I like Clannad after story, but uh, you have that whole, like, congruent storyline that's yeah. happening with his, like, his, uh, his daughter. So the ending kind of is just, like, kind of nullifies the all the feels. Yeah. But you mean, you understand they're trying to go for, like, uh, oh, well... You, you fight like hell and you can get your happy ending yeah. thing, but then it also kind of like, it kind of removes the point of, right. well, you can't just wipe away a loss, you have to get over it. Yeah. Of course, you know, when, once his kid died, you knew exactly what was going to happen. Yeah. But with that being said, dong go, dong yeah. <laughs> go, dong. It's like, yeah, as, as soon as his daughter died, I could kind of yeah. guess, like, they're, they're going to bullshit something yeah, to, to, to bring her back. Yeah, which was, uh, like, it, it just kind of... Yeah, all happy and stuff, but you literally just brought a character back from the dead home slice. Yeah, literally. It'd be one thing if he, if she like wasn't dead and was just like you know, you know, severely hypothermic and they gotta mm -hmm. take her to the hospital or something, you know, something like that. Yeah. No, they straight up introduce magic and bring her back. Yeah. That's when you cry to Clannad again, Irishman. Yeah, Irishman. Magic dongo, dongo, dongo. Have you guys seen any good m new movies lately? Uh, I have not. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess Oppenheimer was pretty good. Oppenheimer was great. Alright. I feel like I'm not doing enough damage to... Hmm. All I can say is just circle strafe and literally mash all triggers nonstop. I guess hold down your, your Gatling guns, but mash the missiles nonstop. Alright. Uh, Shota, thoughts on the P3 reload trailer? Uh, I don't really care for a majority of the voice cast, but... There are certain ones that are pretty good, and I love everything I've seen so far. Like, I wasn't one of those people that was like, "Oh man, we we, we need to have we need to have the female pro tag." I was like, "That's an entire game." Yeah, like, that is an entire game, and with uh, the amount of effort I imagine that they're putting into this, like, not no way. Bro. Yeah, nah. What what we're getting is substantial enough. Yeah, it's substantial enough. It looks really really cool. Uh, it looks like they're being faithful to stuff. I haven't seen anything that they've changed a ton, other literally other than the outfits. Yeah. Uh, speaking of arcs, is I highly recommend watching Demetrio Moe's Bridget video. I no, only fucked behind the scenes stuff is so, is so far worse than I thought it was. I, I, I I've just moved on to it, and I will proceed to just uh, not involve myself with anything. Get guilty gear from this point forward. Yeah. Uh, have you seen Watanabe's new anime? Was now yeah, uh, uh, Lazarus. It yeah. looks pretty good. Uh. I mean, there was a literal book magic character in Clan Season 1. Yeah. yeah. That's what that's what I mean by, like, as soon as the daughter died, you knew what was going to happen. Yeah. Where, where it's like, yeah, they're going to bring her back because they, they have introduced magic as a thing in this setting. Uh, they keep a good portion of the FES content, like the recordings, and I'm all for it. Yeah. Like, they're, they're keeping a bunch of FES stuff or stuff that was added in with FES. And, you know, of course, you're going to have all the the stuff that's been added in uh, Golden and... Um, and five, five royal. Yeah. Uh, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a lot of quality of life improvements again. Uh, a you're, lot not gonna, are... you're not gonna get the answer, and I understand that's that's annoying. But at the same time, I 
really kind of didn't expect them to after the the very initial announcement. For some yeah. reason, people got themselves like doubly hyped up after after almost being told to their face you're not getting the answer. People got themselves hyped up and then were told you're not getting the answer and got yeah. angry. Yeah, seriously. Uh, generally stuck for five dollars. We're building the mother of all. We're building the mother of all rice cookers here, Oppenheimer. Can't fret over every grain of rice. Ugh. Bro. What's your f uh, favorite Satoshi Khan film? That's hard. Perfect. Blue. Perfect Blue or um, fucking what's it called? Uh, Tokyo Godfathers. Tokyo Godfathers is great. Yeah, I, I either or. I love Tokyo Godfathers because it is just such an incredibly heartwarming movie. It is an awesome Christmas movie. Yeah, it is. It is a. It's a movie that I, I make time to watch every year, along with Spirited Away. Uh, very, very good. No, they don't need to have it in the game TPH. They can literally just make an OVA or a movie for the new fans. We have we have uh, the main story already done as a movie. Here's the thing: people don't people want to play it. People want to yeah. actually play it. They want to see they want to see all the stuff that came with FES and you know reanimated. Yeah, the 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 fun part of, of Persona Three was being able to play because that was still when it had like the the marriage between Persona and and Shimigami Tensei gameplay because you could you could use different weapons and they uh, accounted for different physical types of damage. Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Um, a lot of people are worried with Reloaded that you're going to be stuck with one type of damage. Mm -hmm. And you're basically just going to be Joker with a knife where you, you do your slash damage, but it's not even like slash. It's, you know, uh, fucking physical damage. Mm -hmm. Have you guys tried an all, uh, an all speed, all missiles mech yet? Pretty fun. Just zipping around and firing uh, and forgetting. Uh, not yet. Then episode 3 was actually difficult. Yeah, but base game Persona 3 uh, uh, had its moments. No. A lot of it was gimmicks, and I still argue a lot of base Persona 3's difficulty was just the fact you couldn't control your party. There, There is the Wheel of Fortune boss fight. I know it's not the fucking Wheel of Fortune Arcana, but yeah, there is the Wheel of Fortune boss fight. I mean, that's basically what it was. Yeah. Hey, Lolly, what are, you, what are your thoughts on black exploitation films like Black Lawyer, Shaft, or stuff like that? Uh, they're fun, as long as, yeah. they're, as long as they're fun movies. Uh, it's cool. Yeah. You know, it, it, whole-ass fucking genre. Yeah. Like... It existed as long as it did for a reason, and that's where you got guys like Isaac Hayes. Mm -hmm. uh, hot take, but all the hate P3R is getting kills kind of forced. It's like how you feel with, with malls. Uh, with malls? A lot of it is is people who can't get over the, the fucking new fags coming in with Persona 5, and they resent yeah. the franchise. So they're like, oh, God, Persona, it's that franchise. Like, listen, it's... the games are good. It's the people that wear the fucking Kawakami avatar on Twitter that never played the fucking game that are the problem. Uh, it's a uh, well, fuck all that shit. Uh, it's pe it's people that they just want they want a complete version of Persona Three, but they don't realize how much shit happened to Persona Three oh, yeah. that made that an impossibility. Yeah. Because in order to get the full version of Persona Three, you need to you need to have uh, base Persona Three, uh, all the stuff they added in FES, uh, including f including the answer. Which is just in an, a second game attached to it. Yeah. Then on top of that, you need the the female MC uh, entire campaign. Yeah. Which is a whole, uh, literally a, an entire fucking game added on to it worth of dialogue that you need to comb through and change. Like there, there's a lot. Yeah. There, there's a whole bunch of stuff and and you have to remember. I, I understand wanting it, but it just yeah. wasn't going to happen. And and you have to remember that it, it's very very common in Japanese game development to not save the source code on what you're doing. Yeah, that, that that was a that was a big thing on why uh, they couldn't do anything else with Persona Three was apparently yeah. the source code was lost. Yeah, because they just don't think to save it. Yeah. You know, that, that's actually a very common thing in Japan. Where they're like, well, why would we ever touch it? The game's out. Yeah. Well, it's not the to my knowledge, it's not the practice anymore. Yeah. But yeah, back in nowadays, back, back in yeah. the day, they fucking they hate they hated it they hated it. Spider Squid, it's Spider Vulture. I fucking. He just start. He just literally becomes a fucking flying top and goes, oh, oh no, nah, I'm about to fuck your shit. Ow! How unfortunate. We almost got him. Yeah. Why do dudes want to complete Persona 3? Because it's a complete it's Persona a complete, 3. It's a complete experience. Yeah. Well, in short, I need a Blaze Blue collaboration with FGO, and I want an artist who drew Raiko and Ibuki to draw Nine and, uh, and the Phantom with the biggest and fattest milkers, uh, even bigger than Passion Lips. Uh, <laughs> You know what? If we're gonna if we're gonna get that specific artist, I want to see their take on Bullet. I, I love Bullet. Bullet's great. Yeah. A Punch Girl. Uh, fuck his carcass for dollar lolly. If you ever do a video, dunk it on a retard. Who could it be? Short fat taco, turkey tom, review tech, rebel taxi, whoever. Or is it really you don't want to become like a commentary channel? I don't want to. Yeah. Like the only times I've ever done it is because it's been something where I personally am like genuinely upset at what happened. You know, like, just some guys because I genuinely liked his videos and they kept doing really retarded shit and it's like. 
dude, what the fuck is your problem? And the Hogwarts thing is because, you know, every video coming out would try to be super fair and be like, well, you know, both sides of this are pretty bad. And it's like, no, the people drawing pick me burning a trans flag are not as bad as the ones that are literally telling people to kill themselves. Yeah. Why the fuck does this need to be stated? Yeah. Uh, Atlas also doesn't own the engine the PS2 versions were developed on, uh, and the group that does own the engine won't license anything else out for it for some reason. I mean, they uh, they built the, they built a new engine for it. Yeah. So, like, they they were always going to have to completely for a remake. They're going to have to rebuild the entire game in their in their new engine. Uh, Which is for the better because it yeah. looks pretty. Yeah, which I, I, I like a lot of the stylistic stuff that they're going for. Uh, it might be better to just slap on regular legs for this. Uh, I, don't, I, I put the I put the the hover legs on this for the boss fight that comes after this one uh, because whenever it does that leaping forward thing, you have to you have to rush into it to get under it. Yeah. It's in you now. Yeah, whatever you say, buddy. Uh, also, I think people are giving the new VAs too much shit. The only thing I can understand being mad at is the seventy dollars price tag. Well, it's, it's like I told y'all, like it's it's games have had their prices uh, raised so many times, and there's usually oh, yeah. the bare minimum amount of pushback and or people actively agreeing with it. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's gonna be seventy dollars now, and another five years it's gonna be eighty dollars, and another five years it's gonna be ninety, and then a hundred. It's just gonna yeah. keep going up. Like, uh, this it's the world you live in, and people don't push back enough against yeah. it. Anytime anyone actually mentions it being a problem, you're met with, yeah, oh my god, you... go, go, like, like, no, you have no idea how much work goes into it. And it's like, I don't fucking give a shit. Like, fuck off. You can drift around him. We shall. Yeah. We shall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you need to actually do the drift. Yeah. For it. So, you boost, and then after you boost, you hit square. And yeah. And then you'll drift. Arthur Tomlinson tell us, you have doomed him. You have doomed him. Show that tank legs bigger generator. Tank legs, bigger generator, good. Now, you just step yeah. <laughs> uh, hot P3 take, but I think Fuka's voice in 3 is good. I, I like her. She doesn't sound the most normal, but that's all right. Also, I wonder how many people are going to complain about the uh, evokers. Well, they changed the design of the evokers. Yeah. So they look, they look less like actual guns now. Uh, they they kind of look like Walthers uh, beforehand, and now they, they just look like a toy. Which makes sense because they're literally not guns. Yeah, they're they're not guns. They're just supposed to evoke the image of a gun because you you're facing your death. Yeah. Memento more. Blah blah blah. Let's Tokyo drift around this. <laughs> Damn, Lolly. That really you got your didn't shit work. Fucking rock. That really didn't work. All right, you might want to practice uh, drifting for for, for a second. <laughs> Uh, have you spent seventy dollars on any games? Because I haven't. I'm actually still waiting for a sell on Final Fantasy sixteen. Uh, I bought sixteen at seventy bucks, and I uh, I went ahead and bought the collector's edition of Spider Man two for whenever it comes out. Other than that, no. I'll probably find some way to get Persona yeah. three at less than less than uh, than seventy. Make Hey Auto proud. Dun, 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 dun. Uh. Oh. This also is not the best arena for drifting. Yeah. Don't worry, once he blows up 90% of the arena. Yeah. <laughs> uh... no, I, re I refused to play full price for Tears of the Kingdom. I paid 80 for Breath of the Wild, which I almost never do, but now it's 90. Oh, where the fuck do you live? But yeah, 100%. Zona 3 taught me that Latin is a fucking metal language to, to name boss teams out of. Yeah? It really is. Uh, the people getting mad at the new evokers also get pissy at Koromaros and Igus' evokers too. Uh, I don't think so. Oh. I, I haven't seen anyone actually get pissy about it. I've seen pissy people get pissy about the redesigns for character outfits because they're like, ah, now they're just too overly designed. They're, they look like Phantom Thieves. And I was like, guys, they were literally school uniforms. Three and four yeah. were just school uniforms. Let them do something unique. Like, it's fine. Like, it's you, okay. School uniforms are still in there when they're in school. They look different in the dungeon. It's fine, guys. This really is going to be like an RE4 make situation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I always, I always just accept that. Yeah. Uh, show to, uh, you do know that the collection edition of Spider-Man 2 doesn't even come with a physical copy of the game. Yes, it does. Uh, I got the I got the collection edition. It comes with the still book and, and all the good stuff. You got tiny little chicken eggs. Yep. No, I finished Fuga 1, and uh, I saved all the kids. And when I started Fuga 2, I laughed when, when the Soul Cannon was the antagonist. You got pissed that you didn't sacrifice kids to it. Yeah, yeah. It is pretty good. Yeah, legs are legs are great. Um, hug its hug its body uh, instead of flying. Dash uh, dash around its legs. 
Uh, that's the best advice that I can give you. Uh, actually, I do have I another idea. I think I have the idea. pile driver unlocked, and I think that would probably do a lot yeah. of damage. I was about to ask, like, do you think melee damage would do pretty well? There's there's a specific type of melee weapon. It's it's the uh, the bang fist. I think I, I think I have it unlocked, and um, I guarantee that would do a bunch of damage. This seems yep. like a, a boss that was made for it. Yeah, because the, the chain gun isn't bad, but it overheats before you can really land damage. It makes me wonder if the idea is you use more of a, a melee thing. Uh... You could potentially, you could potentially go for a, a four, a four chain gun setup, where you uh, you use one, you uh, exhaust one, go to the next one, then the next one, then the next one, and circle around all four chain guns. Uh, how would you guys feel about uh, Witcher One remake? It's in the works. Yeah. Like they're they're actively remaking it. Yeah. I think it'll be interesting. Are you guys nervous about the MGS Three remake? I they've gone out and they've said multiple times that they are. Uh, actively trying to be as faithful as possible, and that's fine. But at the same time, it's like, okay, I do want you to update it like a tiny bit, though. Yeah, a tiny bit. Like, tiny like bit. I want you to update it a, a tiny bit. You know, maybe maybe expand the maps a little bit. I'd be I'd be fine with that. It's I just don't want you changing story shit. You know. A uh, pile bunker dunks on this boss. Okay, so that yeah. might be it. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, the fist the fist weapon probably absolutely demolishes this thing. It, like I said, it literally, it, it feels like it was made for it. Yeah. I want to crouch walk. No. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean that to be that aggressive. You I, I I didn't mean that, chat. You didn't know any better. It's not your fault. Why would they ever add? Why would they ever add crouch walking, chat? Uh, so a little bit better damage. Yeah. It, it might literally be a case of like. You know, pile bunker is the uh, mm -hmm. the the fuck up it, weapon. It is literally the explosive fist from uh, uh, Bloodborne. Okay. So, so yeah, it might it might literally be the answer. If we die again, I, I shall might try. need to go to the store because I don't know if I actually bought it. Ah, okay, okay. So you can check. You can make sure to check, but I might not have bought it yet. And I, <laughs> we've got like four million bucks just lying yeah. around. So yeah, here's for some. Yeah. How ugly are they gonna make the female characters in the Witcher remake? Uh, Witcher always has hot characters. Yeah. CD Projekt Red actually gives a shit about what they're doing. Yeah, they like. They know that a sexy character is supposed to actually be sexy. <laughs> they know they sell. Yeah. Even in Cyberpunk, where they're all like weird, like postmodern people, they still look conventionally attractive in some way. Yeah. How dare you show that the Paul Bunker from Bloodborne came from AC first? That's fair. However, I need to explain it to people in terms that they understand. Uh, if there was one game I'd like a remake of, it'd be faithful remakes of P1 and, and P2. Yeah, I'd, I'd love them both. I really would. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to back out and buy it. Yep. Okay. So, so to the store. Quit, yep. Quit. Quit mission. Yeah. So that's this is the thing that that sucks. Uh, it, you have to back out of the mission, go to the store and buy it, uh, and then redo the entire mission. And yeah, granted, at least annoying. the missions are short, but it, it is still them being short makes it that much more annoying. Uh, Abigail Estrada for two dollars. That's on the Final Fantasy VII original, and the remakes coming out. Uh, I'm not a terrible. I'm not a big fan of the remakes. Yeah. Um, they're, they're okay, but eh. Yeah. Uh, the original Final Fantasy VII is fun. It's, yeah. it's, it is very fun. Not my favorite Final Fantasy, but it's it's definitely a good fucking game. So it should be here. Yep. Oh, wait, actually. Hmm? And before we get started, to get past that one section with the bridge. Dong, dong, dong. Spider legs. <laughs> Uh, the difference in each successive version of P3 have, uh, have partly been due to tech limitations in P3, uh, but also largely in part due to negative response from the Japanese player, making auto battle not mandatory anymore, not trying to force on uh, force in the answer. And P3P was the best-selling release of Persona 3 in its time, largely as a result. Yeah, like, Persona 3 was just a, a fantastic... I'm sorry, Persona 3 Portable is my favorite version of the game. Yeah. Uh, like, you have people that... you have. I don't know. I don't know what to call them. They, you have people that just hate on it because they don't have the anime cutscenes, uh, and they're like, "Oh man, fucking Persona 3 Portable sucks." They barely change anything for the for the female playthrough, and it's like you have entire social links that were added, dude. Yeah, like, entire social links. Like, what the fuck? Uh, like, you're just trying to downplay something because you you missed that your pretty pictures got taken away. Uh, fuck us, cook us for dollars. When it comes to pole shit and people like short fat taku, you really don't believe in the fence uh, serial position on both sides. Also, should people on the dinosaur media running with Meepoo allegations be condemned or sued? A lot of Paul shit is like basic common sense, but everyone wants yeah. to make it difficult because they want their team to win. Uh -huh. Where everyone agrees on the same thing, but no, the guy with my flag needs to win. 
Yeah. So they'll shift details around to make that sound better than the other. Yeah. When really everyone is like, yeah, corporate corruption fucking sucks. But one side's position is murder everyone who is rich. Yeah. And the other side is more money for Israel. Yeah. Uh, should I play Persona 3 Portable? I mean, I would definitely recommend it. Any thoughts on Dragon's Dogma 2? It's going to be great. Uh, the map is four times... I think they said it was, it was like three or four times the size of the map of uh, the first Dragon's Dogma. And my first thought was, man, this game is going to take forever to beat. <laughs> exactly of, like that, too. For the love of God, no fast travel. I want to walk around in the middle of the night and LARP his guts all over again. I want I want more stones. I want more fucking rift stones available to me. Not rift stones. I want more fucking teleport stones. Port stones. Yeah. Available, available to me. And give me fucking carriages. Holy shit. Yeah. Give me the give me the ability to travel from major city to major city. Fucking yeah. please. Holy shit. That's if, okay, yeah. If it's going to be four times the size of the original map, it gets annoying to, tra to traverse Dragon's Dogma's map because you just move so slow. Uh, it can outright impact quests. <laughs> it does actively impact quests if you take too long to do certain quests. Some of them are bullshit, too, where, like, you find out a quest is, like, super early in the fucking game, like... The Sa fucking uh, little mage girl. Yeah. If you start her quest and you don't get to her fast enough, you lock yourself out because I think she fucking dies is what it is. Yeah. Uh, also, your your friend in the village. Yeah, your you friend find, in the fucking village, yeah. Yeah, you, you find out she went off on her own to try to help you and you have, like, a, a, a short amount of time to actually get to her before the quest ends. Yeah. Four times longer ever fall. Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what a fucking loser. I just want a skull horse and dragon's dog, but two, or to ride an ogre or a dragon. I mean, technically, you can do both of those. Yeah, because you can you can grab onto the dragon and stuff. They'll try to kill you, but you can do oh, it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I, I I hope that they were able to. I really hope that they're able to fine tune the uh, the climbing mechanic. Yeah. To make it uh, better. Yeah. Because it was a little jank. It's understandable because that that tech is fucking crazy. Yeah. Um. It's understandable that it's jank, but I, I just hope it's been really fine tuned because that was a that was a big thing. They wanted you to be able to do so much more in Dragon's Dawnward than you can, but it was a matter of it was really hard to flesh these systems out, guys. We're working with a fucking 360 here. Yeah. Give us some fucking you know, give, give us a break. Yeah. So what they did was pretty fucking fantastic, all things considered. Uh, and to see that like there's the very real possibility that can only just be better. Yeah. Fuck yeah, baby. I also want them like you know invest in some more cutscenes because mm -hmm. like the story by itself was so fucking dry. It was yeah it had it had its it had its moments but it it was yeah. really more about the uh, the adventure yeah. It was about the side stories. Yeah. Like, eh, I don't know. But yeah, I, I, get, I get what you mean. Yeah. Uh, invest in, in some cutscenes. The actual, like, climactic battles when you were, like, fighting a monster and they want to make it feel like a big deal, it was fucking sick. Yeah. Like, legitimately awesome. Yeah, fighting the dragon's cool. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Fuga, after seeing your streams on it, uh, I was checking out what other games CyberConnect also did. <laughs> they did a bunch. Uh, they made all the Naruto games, uh, JoJo All-Star Battle on Eyes of Heaven, uh, Dragon Ball Kakra, Asura's Rage. Imagine some dude that for some reason wanted to play all the games of a single company and chose CyberConnect. He goes from shooting uh, Rasengan's and punching people with ghosts, sacrificing children to feed an evil tank. Oh yeah, they've worked on a ton of stuff. Oh yeah. Their big thing is they make pretty games. Like, that that's really it. Uh, the new Final Fantasy VII games look to have some interesting, uh, interesting potential for new story developments, but it's not what people wanted for decades. When I see a VII remake, it makes me appreciate you know, even more how the original FF8 team rebuilt the entire game from scratch, and uh, as was, and only upgraded the character models based off of the old Dissidia styles and textures. Yeah, it's like people want a, people want a remake of the game, and it's really just yeah. they just want to replay the same game, but prettier, but prettier, and they want to have some new things added to it. The the thing that game companies can't seem to yeah yeah but yeah, there we go. the thing that game companies just cannot seem to understand is they look at a remake and they go okay we're gonna remake the game but we're gonna change a bunch of stuff and we're gonna cut content out because remake hard and shit and it's like no people want people want the same game they want the same story you know all that stuff they just want maybe a couple things added to it but mainly they just want to they just want it pretty, man. Yeah. They want it pretty, and they, you know, like, like I said, I wouldn't mind them expanding areas in, in Metal Gear Solid 3. I don't want them fucking changing anything. Yeah, yeah. Them changing shit would make me livid. Like, y'all y'all haven't seen me angry on stream yet. They fucking change shit, and, and they change shit in the Master Collections or 
in fucking three three remake, I'm gonna oh, be yeah. fucking livid. Oh yeah, because there's literally no reason to. Yeah, no fucking reason to. Yeah. It's already bad enough that we have the oh that's yeah it is confirmed by the way uh, that we have the oh this was made in a different time thing that's yeah. already bad enough that people are literally so brain dead that that you have to have a thing where it's like this came from a different time and you really need to nothing. remember and it's it's, yeah. it's like it's like it, this has no impact whatsoever on people why the fuck is it here yeah why is it here if your population is so fucking stupid. That you need a fucking disclaimer to say, oh, well, this was fucking ten years ago. Call your fucking population. Kill them. Fuck them up. I don't give a shit. They don't fucking deserve to be alive. They're that fucking stupid. They need a goddamn disclaimer. Well, more than that, everyone's saying the same thing. It's got to be there for the ending of MGS2. Where it's like, my conspiracy theory when it's talking about cultural control and government institutions trying to do that. I I, I know what it is. I, I know it's several fucking moments in, like, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. You know, uh, you know, you have you have naked riding getting felt up. Yeah. You have a uh, fucking you have the uh, Volgan being gay. You know, you have you have all this fucking shit, and it, it, it's played off as, as jokes. And it's like, yeah, it's, it's fucking fucking called humor. Yeah. Uh, humor is not going to resonate with everybody, especially whenever everyone wants to be a pretty fucking princess. Yeah. You know, everyone needs to make their call out posts on Twitter so they can get their fucking clout. Yeah. Like, give me the old game I love, easily playable on new hardware. Dude, that's the thing. That, like, that's why I was super excited whenever they finally announced the Master Collection. Because I was like, fucking thank God, all these games that I want to play and I want to have a new way to play, easily accessible to me, everyone's going to get that. We're getting on PS4, we're getting on PS5, we're getting on both Xboxes, we're fucking getting on the Switch and PC. So, for the foreseeable future, for the next, like, 20, 30 years, there should not be any, like, any complaints. Because we're, we're going to have it on PC. It should fucking play just fine for the foreseeable future. We will reach the point, I imagine, where where we have uh, shit where it's like, oh, well, we're trying to play a, a game from the the early '90s on PCs, and it's just yeah, it's just gonna store. fall apart. Yeah. But that's fucking, you know, that, that's uh, that's decades down the line. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't give a shit about them. Yeah, yeah. Fuck future us. Fuck future us. I don't we'll give figure a fuck it out. Them. We'll figure it out. There'll be a fan patch in like a week. Yeah. It's it's just. Yeah, like I just want I just want to play the games again, dude. Like, yeah, I, I I don't like having to break out the PS3 or the PS2 in order to play these games again. Uh, there's nothing bad about it. It's just extra work. Yeah. Or I need to download. A, or I need to go out of my way to to pirate them when it's just. There we go. I am willing to give you fucking an extra thirty thirty dollars, however much it is, to play these fucking games again. Let me play them. So Pile Bunker absolutely is the answer to this boss. Yeah. 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 Uh, Miss Silly, more 15 fake monies. I remember thinking the Diamond and Pearl remake having the weirdest direction ever because they deliberately yeah. kept it just as limited as the DS, even though it was on the Switch. Makes no sense to me. Yeah, I, like, I, I hated the character. I hated. The ch I, I don't like chibi art in general. There's a very small amount of times that I like chibi art. Uh, Miura does chibi art well. Yeah. Uh, the Fate, like the Fate Funny comics, I don't know what to call them. The Fate Funny comics yeah. have good chibi art. But for the most part, I fucking despise chibi art. I think it's ugly as fuck, and I it's just is not entertaining in any way, shape, and or form. It's it's funny for like a a once little bit kind of style break for a joke, but yeah, if it's the whole art style, mm -hmm. it can get a little like eh. Yeah, like the the remakes for the uh, for the Final Fantasy games uh, that were all just chibi art. I was I was very upset when they came yeah. out when they came to the DSs and it, instead of having pixel art it was oh hey we just remade the game with with chibi models I was like what the fuck yeah like we are losing so much amazing art because you wanted to do a fucking low effort fat squish and stretch piece of shit model Persona Q must be vomit inducing for you no because yeah. I it, Persona Q is not quite as aggressively chibi. Uh, as other things, um, like pull up a pull up something, pull up the chibi art from Berserk, yeah, and you know what I mean. It's easy to take in, in doses towards the end, tw like in quote unquote towards the modern Berserk when Puck is always chibi. Different story. Chestnut P Puck. It gets annoying because he's always just chestnut Puck. Yeah, that's chibi art. It's always there. It's annoying. Uh, Mark down nine for a dollar. I still remember my first time in Dragon's Dogma. Jesus felt like uh, walking home in California <laughs> or Haiti. It's great, though. It is. It's fantastic. They need to embrace more of the Berserk. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you're clearly in love with it. You had entire, you had a marketing deal with the fucking movie trilogy. Embrace it. Go even harder. <laughs> Give us the fucking Dragon Slayer. Yeah. Don't wuss out and, and only let the warrior carry an axe. It's like, no, let us let us go full on. Let us yeah. LARP. It's great. Yeah. Uh, you won't get in trouble for it. 
Corpse, Corpse Party ended the series with a shitty chibi style art game. Yeah, uh, we were supposed to get a mobile game that we're gonna that was gonna release in chapters, but it didn't perform well, so we never got any more chapters. And it's like that kind of would have been pretty interesting because it's a visual novel at the end of the day. So yeah. like, yeah, let me play it on my phone. Yeah, especially since like there really isn't anything that would be too intensive. I mean. The original one was like a fucking RPG maker game, basically. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's straight up what it was. Um, yeah, and I really like Corpse Party. Corpse Party oh, was yeah. always, uh, even though it's completely dead now, uh, Corpse Party was always fun. Yeah. It knew what it was, and that was the fun part. Mm -hmm. Give us the full Berserk trauma. I want my character and his pawn to suffer. Yeah, like, the the nature of pawns is just sad. Yeah. It Really, really cool detail. I always liked it, where it's like, they... They only exist to serve you, and on some level, they do know that's fucked up, but yeah. they also, like, just accept it because it's in their nature. Yeah. And then the very end is your pawn takes over your body. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know what? That's that's pretty cool. Uh, Persona Q was built around the Etrian Odyssey aesthetic because it was basically an Etrian Odyssey game. Also, until the main plot was kicked into high gear, it was much more lighthearted. Yeah, that's true. All of that is true. Yeah. The dragon rapes your pawn. No. uh it's My pawn. She got fat titties. She <laughs> fight hard. I want to I make love to my pawns. Well, oh boy, do I have do I have some news for you? I mean, that is sort of something they do imply in Dragon's Dogma, where I think the anime especially talked about it. We're like, <coughs> yeah, some some of the, the the fucking arisen do fall in love with their pawns. Mm -hmm. I think that was actually the deal with the original one, the one you had to fight at the end. I was just God. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, me and my pawn is small. Uh, the uh, you mean Zod? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, okay, he, okay. He, he was. Game. Yeah. 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 Darker Risen. Yeah, he was in Darker Risen. I still can't believe they got away with just. Okay, no, he Zod. Okay, he might have actually been in Darker Risen because they're saying, yeah, that was a plot point in that one. It's like. Yeah, yeah. Dar Darker Risen was was Zod, and he literally just fell in love with his his pawn. Yeah. And was ba ba basically punished for it. Yeah. He was basically punished for it. Yeah. Just make the gagging noise again. It turns me on. Yeah. How wide can I stretch your asshole before you start to cry? Yeah. <laughs> we don't talk about the Dragon's Dogma anime. We really don't. It, it is bad. It is. Uh, I only watched it because I was really uh, like I got back into uh, Dragon's Dogma like and, and you right wanted to before see, it yeah. dropped and I was like you know what? I am morbidly curious and then it's such a bitter fucking the world sucks God's dead everything's bad and uh, like, you should have no hope in the world and I was like did you fucking play the game? It's literally all the worst part like it's what people think Berserk is. It, it, it's what morons think Berserk is. Yeah. It, like it made me so fucking livid. I was like, no one involved in this project played the game. No one fucking bothered to go to the Wikipedia page. No one bothered to fucking get off their, their fucking ass, walk to the computer, pull up a Wikipedia article that gives you a fucking plot synopsis of the base game. Not talking about fucking Dark Arisen. They put no fucking effort into that show whatsoever. fucking ever. Zero. Zero fucking effort. It's fucking garbage. Fucking terrible. It fucking pisses me off. Hey, look at that fucking... Look at that six-foot vertical, baby! Yeah. I'm killing this dude right now. No, my son! <laughs> Kill him. He must learn. I want him... I want him Long to live the king. Long live the king. <laughs> <sighs> Wasn't the Dark Risen's pawn based on the woman who raised him or something? I don't remember what she was based on. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. All I remember is he fell in love with her. Watch your jet, bro! Watch your jet! Watch your jet! It's one sign Spider bought up for the verse. He's be uh, we're, We are actually Penny Parker. Uh, we are currently piloting Spider Bot. You can't call him Spider Bot, though, because that's a bit that Ross Scott made. We don't want to rip off a cursed pawn. He's a cool dude. <laughs> Wait, so Dragon's Dogma got an anime? Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, it's bad. It's a Netflix anime. An aggressively Netflix anime. Yeah. Imagine this. Imagine this. You you take you take all the bad parts of, of Netflix Castlevania, you boil them down, and then someone someone in the boardroom said, "Oh yeah, that's exactly what everyone liked about Castlevania." Take this IP that we bought, make an anime that's all the bad parts of Ca uh, Netflix Castlevania, and yeah. it's nothing but that. And on top of that, it's all in CG. 
<laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's all in CG. It's fucking uh, terrible. Uh, of course it was made by Netflix. Yeah. Fucking stupid fucks. Is the Tekken anime any good? I actually didn't watch that. I did not watch I it. I can only take so many bad adaptations of things that I like before I start getting, like... <laughs> before I start getting overloaded. They're still bitching about the Superman cartoon. <laughs> Stop filling my TL with the fucking Superman cartoon. Clearly you don't fucking hate it if you won't stop watching it. Fuck! Every time it's like, guys, they're just turning it into Invincible. I don't care! I don't fucking give a shit anymore. It's like some guy posts like, oh yeah, here, you know, Gintama might get something new. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. Under that is five different posts about, man, the fucking Superman show sucks so bad. It's like, yeah. stop watching it. Yeah. Stop fucking watching it if you don't like it. Jesus. I'll, I'll harken back to what I used to always say when we first started streaming, and that's no one wants to hear you bitch nonstop, dude. Yeah. Make fucking entertaining shit for people, or at least do something fucking productive. Like, holy shit. Stop watching it. Stop talking about it. Well, it's like everyone, like... I, I genuinely, like, get angry when I see people post the fucking Peaky Blinders thing. It's like, remember, no hate watching. It's like, why do you need to tell each other that? I know explicitly that you, the one who posts this, you're going to be the one that hate watches. What I, the fuck it? I still haven't fucking watched Barbie. I don't want to. No, I'm not going to. Like, I don't I don't care. Like, I, I didn't watch Barbie. I've got no interest in watching Blue Beetle. Like, I don't, like, don't want to watch any of this shit. Who's bitching about Superman? Everyone! They will not shut the fuck up about the new uh, My, My Adventures with Superman show. Like, God, fuck, dude. It's not true. It's okay for now, except only gay parents have children in their world, sir. Oh, you mean America Chavez? Yeah. Some niggas love hatred. Mm -hmm. The only thing I'll hate watch is the boys. You shouldn't even hate watch it. Like, you're fucking rewarding yeah. it. You, yeah, you're active. You're actively rewarding it. It's like uh, people just don't seem to. They, they go, oh, but I'm, but I'm pirating it, and it's like yeah. people still get statistics from that. Like people know, uh, corporations know how many people are pirating their shit. Yeah, well, like they, they have people that go out of their way to to look at data and study this shit. Uh, it, it, it's even more than that. Like. It's one thing if it's like, I genuinely want to give this a chance. I'm mm -hmm. just going to pirate it so there's not a financial involvement. Because, you know, you put money down on something, your standards get higher. But if you're if you're genuinely trying, it's like, I want to see if this is good. That's one thing. When you are when you go in knowing you're going to be mad, knowing you're not going to like it, and you're actively hoping to get angry, yeah. motherfucker, find something else. It gets really fucking annoying whenever I see fucking Joe Schmo, whatever the fuck, with a, you know, fucking... Uh, 10,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube that is just looking for the new content farm to yeah. farm hate watches on. Fucking, like, it's annoying as shit, you know? Like, I like I don't like the people that have turned that into a career. I don't like the people that looked at that and said, oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. I don't fucking like it. It's garbage. Yeah. Well, because the thing of, like, dude, in, like, two years, no one's getting fucking remember. Yeah. It, it, it is just, it's just for, it's just for the fucking wallet yeah. for the time being, and it's like... I don't vibe with that, man. That's why I'm really happy with, like, how a lot of people have been requesting shit now where they genuinely really like what, what they're suggesting and they yeah, want me to talk about it. That's how like, it should be. It's like, yeah, that's awesome, being able to, like, talk about stuff that's potentially, like, really cool and really good. Like, th this fucking City Hunter video I'm genuinely excited about because, like, I spent, like, fucking an hour just talking about all the different adaptations and what makes them interesting and yeah. fun. Like, that French movie, I fucking loved it. Like... I was literally like, holy shit, this is like one of the best live action anime adaptations we've got. Like, what the fuck? And I never would have watched it if, if, you know, I focused solely on, you know, the adventures of Superman and Lois. Yeah. You know, it's like, you know, you don't just shit on stuff that you think sucks. You, you also talk about stuff that you genuinely like because you can shine a new light on a franchise that, yeah. you know, might not have gotten much love or, 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 you know, you genuinely care about and want people to know about, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Like you're you're given the tools to, to do it fairly easily, and, and instead of doing instead of talking about stuff that you like or introducing people to, to shit, you know, just gushing about just gushing about shit, you instead choose to, to make fifty fucking videos over every episode of My Adventures with Superman or whatever fucking flavor of the month shit that's coming yeah. out now, and it's like, fucking come on, dude. Yeah. You're you're worse than the people that just lick up the fucking slop that they're given yeah. because at least they're fucking quiet about it. Yeah. They put their heads down in the fucking pig troughs and they, they eat. 
right? Yeah. But no, you have to you have to fucking look up and squeal and talk about the same shit that they're fucking eating. Yeah. And accomplish nothing. Yeah. At least with the Last of Us show, when I talked about that, there were genuinely parts that I wanted to talk about. I was like, this is actually kind of interesting with how they did it. Yeah. You know, it wasn't purely just the show sucks. It was also like, well, hey, episode seven was actually really fucking cool, and I don't understand why. People think episode three is the masterpiece when seven is like yeah. really fucking interesting and made by a very good director, you know? Yeah. That kind of thing. Uh Joe has forbid me from talking about Final Fantasy uh thirteen. He's virtue posting his bound me in the basement. Final oh. Fantasy eight, thank you very much. I do hate bad media too much. Well it's a thing of like you can talk about bad media where it's like, hey, I really just didn't like how this went, but turning it into a whole ass fucking meme where every single week it's Guys, the new episode came out. You know I have to talk about it. It's like you're grifting. Yeah, you're gr- you're talking about flavor flavor of the month shit. Yeah, like you're you, there's nothing there's nothing productive being done here. Yeah, you know, like you're not even you're just talking about how bad something is. You you can't even muster up the effort to talk about. Well, this was done poorly here. Uh, like here's, actually, genuinely give it a shot yeah. and talk about what you like and what you didn't like. Yeah, here's here's how I think it could have been done better. You know, like. You have a bunch of fucking hour-long videos coming out all the time, and the YouTube al- algorithm fucking loves that shit now. Uh, yet you can't be fucking productive in any way, shape, shape, and or form. It's just got to be an hour of you talking about how much you, you hate something. Yeah, yeah. That's my Jack and Dexter back. Uh, episode yeah. 3 was the gay one. Yeah, that was the Bill one. <laughs> yeah, that was the Bill one. And that's, like, it's, the gay one is quite literally why it got recognized. Yeah. Uh, and I talked about that in the video going, like, hey, it's kind of condescending to make it, like, well, I wanted to trick people into watching a gay romance. Like, how old do you think your audience is? Right. You know, and, and talk about how, compared to the game, it's a much weaker story. And, like, Bill was a better character because he served a purpose and actually did things in the fucking game. And you took out all the danger and defanged the world with him and, and, and Frank to where it's like, why the fuck would anyone leave their compound? Yeah. Like, literally, why would you leave? Yeah. It's full of guns and food. They were self-sufficient, like... It doesn't make sense. Yeah. But everyone praised it just because of gay romance. And it's like, no, it's fucking stupid, you know? Yeah. You still tackle it from the lens of this is a logical world. So you compare other episodes to it. You talk, you compare it with the game and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know? I didn't completely hate Last of Us show, and I wanted to express that. Uh, Tekken Anime wasn't good. Uh, good. It was bad retelling of Tekken 3's story with Tekken 7 characters for some reason. Oh. Uh, well, that... that uh, the story. Listen, the story had the story had those moments. Yeah. Tekken Tekken Seven story had those moments. Uh, Blue, Pe- Blue Beetle should actually be about a uh, heterosexual life couple of Blue Beetle and Booster Cult. Uh, yeah. uh, my adventure Superman is the worst thing to ever exist. It raped my childhood. It fucked my oh shit. Pissed on my cat. Uh, showed uh, the show. Show just mid. Not worth talking about. Yeah. Uh, just say watch the old animated show and move on with your life. I mean, that, that's kind of the thing that, that's annoyed me the most about it. Every single thing I've seen from it is, like, it's not even, like, aggressively bad. It's just boring. It's, yeah, like, it just, it doesn't doesn't look very, very entertaining. Like, yeah. there are things here and there that, that I looked at, and I was like, oh, you know what? That that looks kind of cool. I hate 90% of the character designs. Designs are really bad. Yeah, a lot of the designs are really bad. Like, I don't I don't like Superman's outfit in there. I do yeah. like I do like Lois Lane. I do like a uh, fucking... Yeah, Tomboy like, Lois is interesting. Tomboy Lois is cool fucking uh vicky vicky vale yeah vicky, yeah, vicky vale vicky vale i thought was cool uh you know yeah it's none like, of the villains look cool I, no, I, none I, of the villains are interesting i don't think they look cool but like i haven't seen anyone talk about anything story related other than all they have uh they have a council of loises and it's like who cares it, well no it's it's like the show's called my adventures with superman yeah it's lois lane's show yeah like it's in the fucking title I under I understand them going like no no guys, Lois Lane, yeah like it's fine for them to put po- it's fine for them to push her, yeah. Like, like, uh, but it's just not something interesting to me. It's at the end of the day, it is still a children's cartoon, you know. And it's, it takes a lot to get me invested in a fucking kids cartoon. Like it yeah. really fucking does. Just the 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 title of being a kids cartoon is gonna make it take more effort. Yeah. And like I said, my my whole thing is like nothing about it's been aggressively bad to me. It's just fucking boring. Like. I, I don't understand getting so outraged. Like, like yeah, one guy probably was like, oh, she was fine until she was suicidal. Like, people were, like, screaming red in the face angry like that. It's like, yeah. who fucking cares? Yeah. Not it's people like, complaining about it. It's like one of the most basic bitch fucking rom-com tropes. The, the misunderstanding, the, you lied to me. Well, fuck you, you lied to me. Like, that's in fucking everything. It's why I, yeah. it's why I couldn't muster any form of giving a shit. Mm-hmm. It's like, who cares? 
Is it on a, isn't it on Adult Swim? Yeah, it doesn't mean nothing, shit. It, it quite literally doesn't mean nothing. Yeah. Like, it hasn't done anything. It hasn't it hasn't done anything that it couldn't have been on just Cartoon Network. It was originally planned to be. Yeah. They just put it on a, They just put it on Adult Swim because they had a time slot open, I imagine. Ooh. I'll just look at the hentai then. Good. There we go. We got an amber alert. Oh, no. New Superman show looks like it was targeted more towards adult autists than actual children. Well, at that point, it's not really much different. <laughs> it's like, let's be honest here. Yeah. Kids show market's been fucked for a long time. Yeah, kid, uh, ever since 4chan uh, did the brony thing, and it, yeah. it became an unironic... Well, okay. Yeah. It became un- it became a, a bunch of people unironically enjoying a literal, like, babby children's yeah. show. Uh, the market's been fucked. Yeah. Uh, girl vagina, my, uh, girl Majima for three dollars. Have you guys ever uh, read Steve Dicko's run of the question, of Mr. A? Personally, I think a hero with a strong sense of right and wrong and showing moral gray areas, uh, being excused for evil actions, can be done well. But most writers are afraid to touch it. Well, it's because if you show any character with any like actual moral compass, they call it fascist. Yeah. Also, like it, do- it doesn't help that uh, you know, uh, the question and uh, subsequent spinoff characters were kind of built on a literal black and white view of the world. Yeah. Uh, Eco for dollars. Uh, speaking of wanting to talk about things I like, I'm still waiting for you to look at fucking Slayers, Lolly. I'll suck your fucking dick if you do. It's on the list. It's on the list along with the 7,000 other things. Yeah. <laughs> wait in line, boy. Take your number. Wait at the end of the line. Uh, uh, Destructo Dish for dollar. Lolly, ever notice that on 4chan nowadays, whenever there's a thread where OP posts sexy girls or, or is a stealth Lolly thread, the train trainees will force the thread to be only to, uh, only to spam fill with Nico Avocado's nudes and his horrendous ass? No, that is uh, that is the uh, the that is 4chan in a in a nutshell. That like kind of that kind of sounds like the epitome of everyone involved in the story should die. Oh no, like, like all all of all of 4chan is just shit now. There used to be points here and there that were that were fine or, or good. Like there are certain boards and everything is just garbage now. Yeah. Like you, you still you still have this really weird view of it where uh, back in the day it was all oh, man 4chan are a bunch of like fucking psychopaths and stuff yeah, and it was always just Pepe Frog posting yeah uh, and now now there is still somehow that same stigma and it everyone that posts on 4chan is just a fucking tranny they share yeah. your same lefty politics like the ones that the ones that aren't there they're on poll and that's just a bunch of fucking and cops. that is also trannies <laughs> No, it's just, it's just a bunch of fucking cops. Like, that's all it is. Yeah. It is literally just a bunch of fucking cops. Fuck you, I'm an entitled little prick, and I want what I want. Thank you, Chad. At least you understand. I mean, the 90s Superman show was also made for kids, too. Didn't stop from being great. Kids shows still have standards about mediocrity. I don't care. I, I, I don't care, and... There's a million flops before you get a genuine great. Yeah. That, that is how it works. And, and once again, hearing about it every fucking week and hearing people bitch about it is really annoying. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I understand it's like, oh, you can mute the words and all that. People still find ways to fucking post it. And it li- it really yeah, does get to the it'll point still where... Get pushed up to the top. <laughs> it really does get to the point of like, why the fuck are you watching it? Yeah, you also, you have people that are so blinded by nostalgia that they're like, no, but the thing from before was good. And it's yeah. like, it's like you, you remember how many dud episodes there were? Yeah. You remember the entire first season? Yeah, literally. Where they were, they were trying to be like, no, we're not Batman the Animated Series. We're not. I don't. Yeah, I think it did come out after that, man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's like. I'm tired. On. I'm tired of all the bitching about Lois and companion or fucking Amber. Bitch, please, Lois, apologize and learn from her mistake. Amber's just complete cunt. Yeah, that's another aspect to it where it's like, hey, you can use a trope and not have it be like the worst version of a trope. We got the galaxy police angry. Good. They. <laughs> so you have a bunch of people that are just scavenging the planet and causing a bunch of issues to the point where the military shows up and goes, we're gonna squash everything on this planet. You're gonna fucking behave. And they, uh, yeah, they come in force. Bitch, make Spider-Bot. Make Spider-Bot. Make me. Ugh. Kid shows used to have quality now they're either aimed at adult children or they're just uh, minion derivatives where they run around hurting themselves. Yeah, like I said, it's people don't really understand how many forgotten shows there were oh, yeah, in between all the goods. Yeah, there was a shitload of kid shows that you don't fucking remember yeah, before sure. the really good ones survived. You know, like that—that's kind of the thing with nostalgia. You don't really think about like, yeah, sure, you had Ren and Stimpy, but what about all the other knockoffs of Ren and Stimpy? You know, yeah. shit like that. What about all the garbage? Like you. 
You you don't have to be angry about every bad show, because if it was, you'd have a fucking stroke. It's like, that's why I like talking about stuff I like. Yeah. Uh, so does the game have a good story, is it, uh, or is it the gameplay the reason? I mean, the story is okay. Uh, it, it's a gameplay-focused series, just yeah. in general. Yeah, in general it is. The story the story is fine. It's serviceable. Yeah. Uh, it's it's there. It's mecha fun. But uh, you're, you're playing it for mecha shit, and you want to have fun. Yeah. Just be real, kids don't even watch cartoons anymore. They're on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. They're on YouTube watching YouTube's kids, YouTube kids fucking like weird abominations. Yeah. Uh, currently actively working on my exit strategy. An entire major department is about to collapse at work. Holy fuck. Oh god. I'm not, I'm not planning on dealing with that fallout. Holy shit. Have sex with one of the bosses. Yeah. Uh, the brownie shit's insane. Imagine being a VA for that show, going to a con, and it's a bunch of greasy twenty to forty year olds. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. For sure. Well, like that, that's a thing where like. Some of the dudes who are, like, they outright describe themselves as, like, first waves in, in the fucking mm -hmm. Discord. Strape told stories about what that was like watching it go from, like, yeah, we literally did it to fuck with the mods on 4chan, and yeah. then it turned into, you know, fingers in massive quotation marks, a cultural thing, and it's, like, the weirdest fucking shit ever, where it's like, yeah. dude, we were joking. It, yeah, it was, yeah, it was literally just a bunch of people that were, like, fucking around, and then those same people that were fucking around started to unironically enjoy it. Yeah, it's like the weirdest fucking shit ever. Yeah. It, it, My fucking sister it's, got into that. It's literally, well, at least, at least your sister's a woman. That is true. Uh, it, it's, it's a matter of, you get to the point where you're so irony poisoned that you, you like the yeah. stuff that you're being I ironic about. Yeah. Uh, it, it's the same thing as like, hey, be careful about the jokes you keep making because they'll turn into fetishes. Yeah. Uh, where it's like, haha, that's funny. But sometimes it do though. So you need to be careful. I'm honestly kind of convinced that's what happened with Barbie. People got so irony poisoned they refused to admit they saw a bad movie. <laughs> I, mean, I imagine so. Like them going like, no, but no, but like, but uh, but Ken though, and it's like, really? Are you that? Are you that much of like a, a fucking toddler that I can I can you know yeah. post one meme and you go. Ooh! So you, you call out the wear suits to the minions thing as a marketing thing, and you couldn't tell the the Barbenheimer shit was. Uh. To be fair, I was all I was all over that shit like a fuck. I was on that shit like an itch on a crackhead. Yeah, but you know for a fact it was a fucking marketing campaign. Yeah, that's what I imagine. Like, well, like I can imagine that the Barbenheimer thing is a product of of people, but the Ken stuff specifically, because because what's his face Ryan um, Gosling because Ryan Gosling kept acting in character in interviews. That's what makes me go, oh, yeah. no, the Kin thing was a marketing ploy to get people that would not watch this movie yeah. in theaters to watch this movie. And it worked. And it doesn't matter how many times you point out a marketing gimmick, people will still fall for the marketing gimmick. Oh, yeah, we see it like, all the you, time. You are not immune to being advertised to. It is literally that. Yeah. But it's still really fucking annoying to see people like go, no, but I wasn't advertised to. It's just the funny. And it's like, mm. It's not, though. Mm. Curious. Curious. Fuck that, I didn't watch Min Minions either. Good. Yeah. I am Knuff is the only redeemable thing. Not you too. <laughs> he who fights monsters should see to it that in the process he doesn't become an unironic cuckold. Holy shit. <laughs> there you go. He who fights monsters should see to it that he too does not become a monster, says man with a Barbie shirt on. <laughs> Damn, bro, you speak the true, true. They're trying again with uh, Paw Patrol. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, yeah, yeah, Paw Patrol, uh, Paw Patrol's marketing team just posted on there like a, a fucking knuff meme oh, but it was with the, Paul, the new Paw Patrol movie and it's like it's like alright you're gonna have to like you should probably hire better marketing people yeah. than your Twitter guy to try that the Doom guy Isabella thing started it, uh, and it was the only good thing to come from it yeah I mean that, that was just that was community like that was the, that was community because it was the weirdest fucking like yeah like, like it was a complete coincidence yeah, whenever yeah whenever I see like the 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 Barbenheimer thing, I can see being a a, a person thing, you know, like a, it's people just go, wow, it, it's it's funny that you have two two movies or two things of such contrasting, uh, I, like uh, tones coming out at the same time, and it, it's just humorous, you know. I can see people getting around that. It's the it's the Knuff thing. It's how hard Ken stuff was pushed. It's the fact yeah. that Ryan Gosling in interviews did a great like character, yeah. and he just memed the entire time. Like that's that that's the stuff that just feels like a marketing ploy. Yeah. Uh, Creeper Weirdo for five dollars. Two thousand team and T was around that time, uh, around the same time as Lunatics Unleashed. What's Lunatics Unleashed? Exactly. Yeah. Lunatics Unleashed was the. Uh... Oh no, that was that was uh, what is it? Darkwing. Yeah. Uh, never mind. I got I got like, confused with Darkwing Duck. Yeah, you know, like I said, it's it's this happens all the time. 
Yeah. Happens all the fucking time. Just, uh, stuff happens all the time. It's just really annoying whenever someone doesn't... They get so consumed by the marketing that they're like, no, that... It's good, though. And it's yeah. like, no. Bar- it's like, like, it's like, not. Like, Barbie is a fucking... It's a, it's a fucking Barbie movie. Yeah. Like, it's just a live-action Barbie movie. It's fucking... It's as garbage as any other Barbie movie would be. You just like it because memes. Yeah, you just like it because Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Uh, I believe Ryan uh, Ryan did uh, really enjoy the Knuff stuff, even if it was for marketing. I can see it because, like, come on, you're part of the fucking Barbie movie. Like, I, he has to have some fun with it. And yeah, I, I've seen the shit taken. Yeah. I've seen the shit taken out of context where you have a literal fucking high schooler berating uh, a grown woman, saying yeah. that you know she you ruined women. Yeah, you know, that, that you're shit. everything. You're everything wrong with the world. And like, I can imagine, imagine being a man on set and just rolling your fucking eyes and going like. Yeah. Man, our ancestors really had it good when they just fucking raped and pillaged. Yeah. It's like, my, I, my, I wish I could go back to the good old days. My, my grandfather did not storm the <laughs> beaches of fucking Normandy to be talked down to to some little shit kid. Right. You know, for for a bad corporate movie. It's like, you know, shit like that. Yeah. Superhero Looney Tunes chasing the DCA money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I imagine so. Yeah, Looney Tunes Unleashed was the edgy Bugs Bunny show. Yeah. Sony cares about their exclusives, and why uh, Why won't they remaster the games like stuck on the PS3? Some of them they have. I mean, like, it's just a matter of I don't know if they give a shit to, and the studios that have a lot of the really good ones are just working on more high-profile stuff. Like, yeah. Uh, Sucker Punch is working on the sequel to... Um, uh, Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, Ghost, they're working on Ghost of Tsushima 2, so why would you have them dedicate a team to... Warring states! Warring states! Warring states! I don't know what the time periods are, but I would like them. I would like to see them leave uh, Jin behind and go with a new character. Yeah, do it as, as much as I, as much as I love as much as I love him. But yeah, just do do a different character and stuff. Um, why would you have them take off of that and then return to um, fucking uh, Injustice? Yeah, to do a fucking remaster of the Injustice games, and it's like, yeah, I love. Did I say Injustice? Infamous games. Yeah. Uh, I fucking love Infamous, dude. Like, I I am a, I am a fucking champion of Infamous. Uh, all, all the games. I love them. But why would you dedicate a studio to doing a, a remaster of those games when you can just have another super crazy mega blockbuster yeah, that gets a metric fuck ton of accolades? Battle of Sekigahara would be awesome. It would be. Oh, let me play, let me play someone big and cool. I want to play. I want to play. I want to play, uh, I wanna play uh, uh, Muramasa. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I want a game based on fucking like Muramasa. You know, that'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be so fucking cool. Let's play as fucking Musashi, or at least like a, a yeah, a, like Musashi. Yeah, so, something like that. It's like that'd be so fucking yeah. cool. Like I like I like I fucking I love I love Musashi. Like I, I really do. I love just the historical. Legend Musashi. Yeah, yeah. And, Vagabond Musashi. It's yeah. fucking awesome. Uh, and any anytime you see an adaptation of Musashi, it is like exclusively super cool. I love Fate Musashi, even though it's not oh. actual Musashi. Uh, I know, I know in the in the comics, and not the comic, in, in the in the manga for Musashi. This is annoying. It is a literal stealth mission. If you get detected, you insta lose. Hug the left side. Huh. Yes. I did not know that. Yes. Uh, Spider-Bot will be stealthy. Yeah, hug the left side, kill the enemies as you see them going here. You'll get there, and then you'll have to go do something else, and you'll be good. Okay. Um, yeah, but but yeah, like, I love Musashi. I know in the manga for Fate, uh, for the, the fucking Musashi part of it, there... The big thing about Musashi and Fate is it's like a... a she's like a, a... Basically a dimension hopper. You know, she can hop to different worlds uh, and stuff like that. So in Fate you have you have actual Musashi, the real world Mus- uh, Musashi, which is uh, towards the end of his life he locked himself away to write his memoirs, See. which was everything about his life. So you cannot blow those up. Yeah, you mainly focus on the ground stuff and kind of just just ignore them. Okay. Uh, there's a decent amount of leeway. It's just a matter of yeah, getting involved with a bunch of people. Yeah, big red light bad. Yeah, big red light bad. Uh, so you have him going, you have him going crazy, writing his memoirs in a, in a cave, and you hear him babbling. So you have the two Musashi's, uh, of course, Vagabond, yeah. fucking god tier. Like Musashi's is cool. He's just yeah, so fucking just good. fucking awesome, cool. Yeah. Uh, I used to ironically like Limp Biscuit. I mean, songs are songs. You're gonna you're gonna like them, and then yeah. uh, you might move on from them. Uh, sometimes you hear a band so much that you get tired of them. Yep. I'm not even joking. I have a friend who got into war because he kept joking about uh, about it and enjoying it. Yeah. When I said that, I, I meant it. Like, if you make too many jokes, there is the potential that you just become a you just 
get into something. It's very weird. Lunatic Texas Unleashed was the edgy superhero version of Looney Tunes, so a Vagabond game. Vagabond game would be good. Fate Samurai Remnant is out next month, and it looks like a pretty good action RPG so far. Maybe give it a shot on stream. It looks to me like it's just a smaller scale uh, version of their Musos. Like, it literally looks like they're Musos, only instead of fighting a shit ton of enemies, you're just fighting a handful. Yeah. Which is incredibly, incredibly fucking disappointing to me, because I saw Fate game... Where you basically play as Musashi. It's not actual Musashi, but it's it's the Musashi in in universe's yeah. character model. So I was like, oh, that's so fucking cool. It's gonna be awesome. And I saw gameplay, and I was like, fucking god damn it! You can't give me anything, can you? You can't give me a single fucking thing to enjoy. I gotta I gotta go on this fucking drought right now. Fuck you. Uh, John Doe, but original for dollar. Be careful about the jokes you make or the turn of fetishes. Haha, <laughs> women are generally careful and share my interest. Whoa. <laughs> She's called having a dick. Infamous 2 and Saints Row 2 are the perfect sequels. They improve on their first games in every way and both gave their definitive series their uh, their recognizable style. I, uh... Uh, Girl Vagina, Goro Majima for $3. Continuing from my last question about Steve Ditko, despite him having a black and white view of the world, I think mm -hmm. Mr. A is still pretty compelling mm -hmm. uh, and can be a breath of fresh air to uh, black and white sense of morality be shown as a net positive. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, like, you know, shit like that is interesting, and, and especially now where everyone's trying to be like, no, but the world more complicated than that, and it's just because they're bad people themselves. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, like, it's, like I said, uh, it's like I said before, where it's like, it's really weird that you have people that are like, oh, man, we need to, like, we need to learn to forgive uh, murderers and and, uh, and pedophiles, you know, let them let them pay for their for their sins, and it's like, I really just feel like it's uh, it's because you're a bad person, and if, yeah. uh, if you can get me to forgive someone like that, then you, you're, you're shit small time. Yeah. Uh, Dandelion for a dollar. Don't blame content creators for trying to make feature-length films about topic issues. Blame that fucking dunce in Wajiki for fucking up YouTube forever with her progs working at uh, the company. In fact, it's like Carl Ma uh, Carlos Maza and Daddy, Daddy 05. They're, they're just symptomatic of just the issue in general of yeah. people will do fucking anything to rig a system. Yeah. Like The reason they don't let people know what the algorithm is is so people can't break it. Yeah, they can, and, they and, can, and, can. and like jump up to it as fast as possible. You can argue all you want about like, hey, is that okay to do? I mean, like, hey, people have the right to know what the fuck they're working with, uh, and they do have points. I'm just explaining uh, what the fucking logic is behind stay, it. Stay in this area. Don't. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say, don't stray too much. Yeah. But yeah, the it, the whole thing is they just don't want. Eh. They they don't want people to try to break the the algorithm because you know they need people they need people who they can control to win. That's why they, they have exceptions and they're allowed to do whatever the hell they want because well, they, they have them under lock and key. If you're making them enough money, like they don't they'll let you. They don't care. Yeah. I, I show speed fucking showed his dick on stream. On, yeah. On literally YouTube, on YouTube and he didn't. I don't even think he got a suspension for it. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. You know, showed his fucking pecker on stream to a bunch of kids. Yeah. Like, like come on. Uh, and nothing's gonna nothing's gonna happen of it. And as a matter of fact, you saw people going good. Uh, nothing should happen to him. And it's like, bro, like where where do you draw your line? Yeah. You know, and, and it's a whole thing where people are so, like, they, they want to min-max. That's why... Twice? Yeah. God damn it. That, that's why people, like, uh, follow the trends they do and, and do the shit they do, or someone can jump entire genres in the span of weeks because they're constantly trying to make it work. So you can, we can blame YouTube as much as they want, but the truth is a lot of people don't get into this because of, of passion. They do yeah. it because they want to make money. Yeah. You know, they, they want to make money. They look for the easiest genre to make money out of. Well, yeah, you can have fun talking about stuff, but you, you can really feel a difference between... You know, the, the guy who has, like, 50 subs who makes a three-hour-long video about why he really likes The Sims and, and and his series retrospective, that motherfucker has heart and soul. Yeah. The guy who makes, like, hour-long documentaries about Twitter threads, Don't that's not me. heart and soul. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he does not. Pippa showed anime, an, uh, anime titties, too, yeah. Yeah, well, she's playing Honey Pop. I was going to say, even then, there's a separation of, like, it, it's just a drawing at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, I should... Uh, uh... Speed literally showed his actual fucking cock. To, to keep in mind, a majority of his his the people that follow him are children. They're yeah. they're children that like it when people yell and make really loud noises because that's all he does. He just makes faces and hey, wait a minute and, and yells. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, makes faces and, and yells. So it's like it's small children following him, and he just shows his fucking cock to a bunch of kids. And it's like at some point you need to follow your own rules that you set up. Right? Yeah. Like, why is it that there are channels that can uh, deem themselves educational and it's just a gay guy shoving dildos up his ass to review dildos? Like, yeah. why is that allowed on a platform? Yeah. You know? uh, you, all you are doing is courting the eventual, eventual like, fucking controversy that's going to fuck everybody over. Yeah. Because that's where everybody, like, 
they, they start having fucking realistic depiction of a panic attacks uh, over, over like, oh no, the apocalypse, the apocalypse, the apocalypse. It's like, everyone knows there's a million different fucking things on YouTube that could cause it. Because YouTube never fucking thinks about shit, and it's purely like, okay, what's going to happen by the end of the yeah. day? It was for two seconds by mistake. Why was this cock out, chat? Wait, you don't yeah. fucking show you... No, shut the fuck up. You don't fucking show your cock on stream by mistake, you stupid fuck. Don't you fucking pull that shit. Yeah, no, that's not by mistake. Yeah. He you know, was absolutely doing controversy fucking marketing. Fucking imagine that shit. It's like, that That was controversy marketing. Let's be fucking honest here. He, he's high enough in it to where, like... No, no, you don't... That, he has agents, you know, because he's one of the bigger streamers. He's like yeah. one of the dudes where he has people set shit up for him. He, no, you just don't. You just don't fucking show show your fucking dick or your tits out by by fucking mistake, like it, in general, right? Yeah. It, it, it's like what the fuck? Like a actual fucking camera footage of, of your dick, you know? It's it's not like it's not even like a fucking uh, dark side fill thing where it's yeah. just audio. Yeah. Right? And he's just leaning his head back on camera, where yeah. where he actually had the ability to be like, well, was I really? You know, shit like that. Yeah. No, this dude fucking whipped his dick out on a stream full of a lot of different people watching. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fall for the for the nah man, it was a mistake thing. Like that's just fucking stupid. Like you you use your as a person, use your brain. When was the last time your dick fucking slipped out in public? No, yeah, come seriously, on, come yeah. the fuck on. Use, use your fucking brain. He's wearing sweatpants and flopped out. Nah. Nah. No, I've no. worn sweatpants. That doesn't happen. Yeah, to I was me. gonna say. I, I, I wear sweatpants every once in a while. My dick's not fucking... It's not fucking hopping over the, the edge or anything like that. More like I show... Exactly. I'm kind of done found that everyone still makes content on YouTube despite how bad they're treated. It, it, it's, yeah. If you get in there, it's a gold mine. Better, uh, better the devil you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just stupid. Did you see the video? I it can be he can be super fucking stupid. Like I I've never liked his content. I have respect for the fact that he was able to turn his situation into something better. Uh, but yeah, you don't. To me, him. that's just proof it might have been intentional. Yeah, I don't go out without my underwear, lol. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like like I said. Does he wear like five XL sweatpants? Yeah, exactly. Like this is what I mean. Like when you get to the level of like an iShow speak, because that's it. He he is a pretty prominent dude. These are guys that actually hire, like, marketing agencies to work with them. Uh, guys like Markiplier, yeah. when, when uh, they say, like, what, do you think we have a team? Yes, yes you do. they you probably do. on paper have yes. entire teams that set up shit for them. They yeah. have production teams. You're, you're, you're part, of the, you're part uh, of the same advertising group that, you yeah. know, Mr. Beast is. Count Dankill openly talks about how he hires staff to help him with videos. Yeah. That's an entire production team. There is no way on God's green earth something like whipping your fucking dick out and, A, not being punished by YouTube, which right there shows, like, Okay, automatically you would at least get something. Yeah. Uh, and B, having that turn into a bigger opportunity, that just turns into like, okay, this was controversy. It, it was, it was. Oh, you know, here, here's the that bad little day of news, just so you can get the week of good news. You know, that that kind of thing. Yeah. It's really funny how journalists have no problem with speed shouting slurs all the time, but when PewDiePie makes edgy jokes, he's the worst human alive. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what slurs he he shouts, chat. He wasn't wearing sweatpants, he was wearing boxers, and they just flopped out, apparently. Like I said, shit like that, it's like... Yeah, it don't, it don't, it don't happen, dog. Like, it's, it's not organic. Everyone everyone still thinks a lot of YouTube shit's organic. A lot of it isn't. Yeah. Gavin shoved the dildo up, up his ass. Oh. Oh. Yeah, though, no. yeah. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This, this was a cool mission. Okay. This was a fun mission. Someone, someone likes dick, go tell us the truth. Oh, no. I honestly believe it was a mistake, and he is just stupid, and he can't be this smart to, to this. Uh, he is like 20. Look at the video and give your opinion after. Like not, I said, yeah, I'm gonna say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna it, look for another dude's dick. Yeah. A, uh, like I said, it doesn't need a smart person to do it. No. It's literally just do something controversial to get us in, you know, get us trending on Twitter for a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's simple as hell. It did most certainly trend. Yeah. It's simple as hell. The fact he he like bare the fact he really didn't get anything for it. It's like right there. Okay, so they probably made people aware beforehand. Hey, we're gonna do something crazy on stream. Yeah. It's simple marketing shit. Uh, Dr. Blue Jay photos. Hey, bros, I got back from a pool party. Uh, it was awesome. Love the time with the boys. Thank God for the uh, the one sober guy who gives people rides home. <laughs> nice. Whole, whole, nine, whole nine yards are most of the funny N word. Well, you know why he's allowed to get away with saying that. Oh, yeah, word. stuff like that. It's, like, it's pretty obvious. Yeah. So many Twitch is becoming like YouTube every day. Oh, YouTube's, YouTube's just outright better than Twitch. What he did doesn't require a brain. Exactly. Yeah. Big it's like, no, I. I am of the, the controversial belief that when you get up to like a multi million dollar streamer, yeah, you're you're gonna hire people to help you you know push your brand. Mm -hmm. Speaking of YouTubers, you saw the Fozzy Tube swatted themselves live on stream? Yeah, actually yeah. 
Kind of proves my point there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, he's just a he's just a you know he's a funny little he's a funny little guy you know. Yeah. Uh, swatting yourself on stream isn't uh, you know isn't a uh, whipping your dick out, but it is uh, quite dumb. Yeah. Uh, there was also someone who was actively helping him swat himself if I, if I remember correctly. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. So uh, thankfully the cops just got there and then arrested him. You know because. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's like could have ended a lot worse. Could have. Could have. Yeah, could have ended a lot worse. Uh, the man has lived his entire life with that thing. There's no such thing as an accidental slip. Like yeah. I said, when you are a multi-million... I, I assure you, chat, you know where your dick is at all yeah. times. When you are a top-level streamer like that, shit you do is not an accident. Yeah. It's, like I do. It's, it's dumb. It's dumb shit. Yeah. That's not even saying, like, uh, oh, you know, we, you know, no. he should be banned and shit like that. It's like... No, it's very obvious he's one of the favorites that's protected. Hey, he's, and, yeah, he's he's one of the, he's one of the favorites. It's it's. I want you to to equally dole out your punishments, right? Yeah, but you're not because he makes you a metric fuck ton of money. Yeah, it's protected, by a basic protected by a basic shield. Just go inside and fuck it. Just fuck it, Lolly. I know Mutt's law. The swatters need to be raped to death. I don't know what I don't know what Mutt's law is, but uh, yeah. yeah, I don't I don't I don't like swatters. I don't, I don't like doxers in general. Uh, Lolly, uh, you're going to want to... I know, I know. Uh, uh, now, uh, now get out of this cave as fast as possible. spider bot scared. spider bot scared. Remember that thing I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, so your energy is going to regenerate really fast and uh, drain slower than it normally would. But you will constantly be uh, uh, losing uh, HP. Yeah. Uh, dicks can slip out, but not on stream unless you have a dick cam. Not if you're a top-level streamer. Like I said, top level streamer where you literally have producers involved, that shit don't happen. Not on accident. Uh, run, bitch. Especially with the way he, he was reacting with it, where he was like faking having like a mental breakdown because kids on Roblox were making fun of him. Yeah. It's like, nah, this shit this shit's a fucking marketing stint. Right. Yes, I know it sounds like we call literally everything a marketing stint. Shocker, in the age of social media, everything is a marketing stint. There's a reason so much money is spent on marketing. Like Whenever, whenever you look at, at movies and stuff, and you see the the fucking tens of millions of dollars that are spent on marketing alone, and you're like, I barely saw anything about this movie. Yeah, the money goes somewhere. Has to. Ooh. Uh, YouTube turning into the, the new Disney Club. <laughs> Sir, what does that mean? Uh, uh, ow. Where, where the hell am I going? Ow. Owie. Sorry for your lost lolly. <laughs> oh, okay. We just go straight up. You don't know speed. He's he's retarded. Oh no, I I I know most uh most like people that stream for their their main source of income are absolutely fucking retarded because otherwise people would want to watch them. As did you don't got to be smart. You just got to have an idea. Just got to have a dip uh, dick to to show on stream for two seconds. Yep. Lolly, keep your phone. We're fine. <laughs> uh. Is a full-on fighter jet-esque build and appearance achievable. You can have it really sleek, but yeah. you can't have, like, wings. I uh, respect your opinion, believe it's true, but most of the time, not in this case, my opinion, uh, Speed's face is honestly horrified to the mistake or is a really good actor. Uh, like I said, it's just one of those of, there's so many different fucking marketing stints, and, mm -hmm. and like, the, the Logan Paul stumbling into a dead body in Japan, like, and, and, and thinking it'd be a good idea to post on YouTube is like, yeah, I think a lot of the shit that these people do gets them in trouble for a week, and they know, well, no one will give a shit after that week. Yeah. I'm a comic his son streaming in his mansion. Yeah. His mansion that he didn't he didn't fucking buy. It was his, un his uncle Chink and his family. Well, no, the funny part is it's like, man, hang all landlords, and you look into his mom, and oh, she's yeah. literally a landlord. Yeah. Nothing can stop the, the monarch and the mighty spider racist. Hey, wait a minute. So what you're saying is the the uh, red stuff makes your boost meter fill three times faster. It does. Speaking of I dick speed, I assume that one cam girl who got her ass eating uh, ate out uh, also top earner making an accidental porn as well. Yeah, you don't make accidental porn, chat. Yeah, no. As they they know what brings in money. They get the the shock reaction, especially if it's the female streamers having sex. It's like people donate buku bucks yeah. because lonely simps. Uh, they'll get in trouble with Twitch for a week, then they promise to send an admin some nudes, and boom. Now people recognize them as like, oh, you're the one who did this, and more people flood in. Yeah, their admins are, are pretty, yeah. pretty major simps. Any publicity is good publicity. This is what this is the logic they operate off of, and a lot of the time it works. Yeah. the The truth of the matter is not 
uh, not every, every uh, all publicity is good, is good publicity. However, they operate on that logic, and uh, it does work a lot. Yeah. Son bought the mansion to fuck porn actresses in. Very gross. Oh no. That is pretty gross. That is pretty gross. Yay. No, you just follow a line of them. It's not working. Why isn't it working? <laughs> Lolly. Lolly. Why isn't it working? Lolly, we have a boss fight in this mission. <laughs> Don't waste ammo, Lolly. We have a boss fight. Okay. It should actually be this way, I think. If he was an accident, he was asking for it. <laughs> Seeing how he wants it to always thrust his pelvis on the camera. Uh, you know what? That is true. Every every clip of him I've seen, he is actively thrusting his dick at the camera. Yeah. Like I said, it's more a thing of like, hey, you know, these, these people have a lot of streaming shit down to a science, so... Oh. I, I really am of the belief of like, he'll probably eventually admit in some way. It's like, hey, we were hoping for something to happen. Wasn't, wasn't he like streaming some FNAF porn game or some shit? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm asking chat. They'll know. <laughs> seen a man stream that he's been shot, bleeding out and everything. Nothing would surprise me anymore. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I've seen the video of the guy shooting himself in the foot twice. Yeah. Because someone called him a bitch. Biggest issue is, now, is everyone uh, now knows what his penis looks like, including his future children. Yeah, it's true. That's the thing. Does he really care, though? It's like it makes too much money to care at this exactly. Point. It's like the the concept of shame is like it's not really that. I was gonna say once you once you make enough money, uh, it's the concept of shame just disappears from your, your yeah. Face. It just you no longer have a concept of shame. It's very weird. It was FNAF DLC he was streaming. Five Nights at Fuck Boys. Oh. Uh, he was streaming a FNAF game, the newest one I think. He might have been. I just knew it was, like, FNAF-related. Yeah, my buddy uh, does set and camera work in L.A. Everything is staged, like the, the work of the Emmys, and made a note that even the fashion commercial are staged and prepped weeks in advance. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that doesn't shock Absolutely. me. Once there's enough money invested into a project, you work to make every single detail work. I'm not even saying, like, oh, this was all a massive marketing stint. It's more the fact of, he understood. Any publicity is good publicity. It, like, even if he shows his dick on camera, he'll win in the end. That's exactly what happened. Where now he has a whole uh, massive boost in viewership because people want to know, hey, what's the deal with the guy who showed his dick uh, on stream? Yeah. You know, shit like that. Mm. He just wants to fuck the robot in the game. I don't think none of them are that hot, chat. Chat, I chat. Maybe the FBI needs to go after him. Uh, he had it out for Cass. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Concept is expensive. Yeah, shame. Yeah. Talking about I show meat. You see him getting mad that his dad was singing the song, making fun of him. Like I said, shit like this is like, yeah, this is all like fucking scripted streamer stuff. Yeah. It's a weird amount of shit. The weird amount of stream shit yeah. scripted. I honestly think that man would ever let himself become a father. True. Yeah. Big true chat. I don't think he cares. Yeah. You know, he he's he's basically living every twenty year old's dream right now. It's like, oh yeah, making millions of bucks off playing video games on the internet. He, uh, like, he's happy as a clam. No, even if he showed his dick, he's happy as a clam. Yeah. Fucking paparazzi got an upgrade. Well. But he have 10 million sub. Does he need publicity? Yes. It's always about getting as much eyes on you as possible. Those ten, you have 10 million people all talking about you showing your dick on stream. Yeah. That 10 million is going to explode real fucking quick. Yeah. You know, it... As much as we, you know, as much as we go with the idea of like, well, don't you have enough? To some people, no. No, there, no, enough is never enough. Especially if That's you're in the entertainment industry where you are beaten over the head with the mindset of you need to keep doing something to be remembered or you'll be forgotten. True. Like, especially the streamer circle. It's very competitive. Like, everyone has some gimmick to do something. It's why, as much as everyone talks about like it's a major sin to like false flag people and gun after them, they all do it to each other all the fucking time. They do. Because even if you look like the heel for a little bit, now people are talking about you. Yeah. That's not false flagging. It's an example. It's a hypothetical example. <laughs> yeah. He showed his dick. That's not false flagging. No shit. It's like... And that's the epitome of how would you feel if you didn't have breakfast this morning. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people just don't... Uh, a lot of people just outright can't comprehend it whenever you just... Uh, uh, suddenly change yeah 
change your direction. So Tall's gimmick is being bad at video games. It works. I'll have you know. It works. If a, if a journo can get through it, all right, Lolly can get through it. Uh, so this is how Dark Side Phil is still relevant to this day? Ironically, yeah. You know, uh, everyone everyone gets into Phil due to the, this is how you don't play. People want to know, and they yeah. check it out, and yeah. there's so many new people coming in, and so many documentaries being made about Phil that his name's always out there. Same with Chris Chan. Yeah. Hey, look, it's our buddy from the tutorial. Yeah. Uh, people, people know who Chris is because, dear God, it's interesting to talk about Chris. Yeah. Uh, and because of that, he'll never truly go away. Yeah. Uh, it's one of the biggest parts of learning climb and One of the biggest units is learning uh, how to spin a blunder into a net positive. Yeah. Yeah. Opinion, opinion on the fact that the last pick of the leader of Wagner Alive is him holding a Jonas Sipa book. That's the yeah. one that I saw going around, but I was like, what? Yeah. I was like, is this some old picture? I was convinced it was an edit. Yeah. Uh, generally stuck for always the funniest bit of Twitch being full of wannabe socialists is that they're all uh, they're the most cutthroat capitalists. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, they toss each other under the boat, uh, under the bus 24-7. Do you truly, genuinely think these people believe a fucking word of what they're saying? They... Uh, they are the ones that are on top currently, and they make yeah. they make money by just saying the shit that they do. Yeah, uh, they don't believe any of it, but saying it makes them money. They they don't believe a fucking word of it. Mm -hmm. They will do whatever they can to make it look like they do. That's why Hassan will wear the Eat the Rich shirt, which you look into, and it's like twenty thousand dollars. It's all LARPing. It's current thing LARPing. It's oh boy, you know we sure don't like capitalism and landlords. Am I right? And it's like. Dude, it's fucking, it's fake bullshit. Yeah. It's all fake bullshit. Yeah. Why do you think we're so like, yeah, I show speed probably did script showing his dick. Because oh, yeah. the Twitch sphere is dominated by people who make the fucking like user generated content sphere is, is. It's been dead for a while. Well, it's just, it's completely over, overrun with people that, you know, you have people that are going to make fake controversies, you know? Yeah. So like, Hey, uh, a million people constantly complaining about um, fucking what uh, about uh, my adventures with Superman and making fifty videos on it. Like they don't, I don't even think they genuinely hate it as much as they do. It's just a matter of hey, if we just you know fucking bitch about it nonstop, we can we can artificially create a, a controversy where we can make money off of this by bitching about it. Yeah. yeah, these people have been doing it for for fucking forever, and every single facet of the internet is some mm. variation of that. Yeah. As much as we all made fun of Doug Walker, at least he talked about. <laughs> we all live in a, a an angry reviewer cinematic universe. It's true. It's merged with reality. Everyone is making their own skits and fighting the plot hole, and we all just call it different things. Yeah. So I think I think the moral of the story is you can complain about the the downfall of the internet and blame it all entirely on Doug Walker. Yeah. I'll blame it on Doug's friends. Doug never intended to hurt anybody. Doug never wanted to hurt anybody. Uh, he, he's Quasimodo, the, happy in his bell. The the way the the way the internet uh, is today, and the reason it sucks so bad, isn't because of Doug Walker. It is in fact because of cinema snob. Because that of piece of fucking shit. <laughs> because of Linkara. Because of Linkara and the cinema snob. The corrupting element in all stories, Linkara. My lecoq, it le flopped out. Thank you, Oppenheimer. Put your dick, put your dick away, Oppenheimer. We're not doing it right now, Oppenheimer. There are people whining about the sexy in that movie, and it's like, I, I, uh, it's important. It's like actually important. You're, if you're complaining about it just being a sex scene, fuck off. If you're complaining about the content of the sex scene, sure, because That's one it's thing. dumb. Yeah, the, dropping the I am I am become death destroyer of worlds line. You can argue about that, mm -hmm. but just going like, well, why did it need to show that? It's like mm -hmm. fuck off. It's a movie for adults. Yeah. This is a new Armor Core game I've been hearing about. Yes. Speed is a uh, YouTube live streamer, not Twitch. Same circle. Like, oh, yeah, it's it, the it fucking is, same circle. It is the same circle. Yes. Uh, and I personally believe he is innocent. This time it was a mistake, but if it happens, it's a hundred percent stage. Dude, like I said, it. it it's not even a matter of, like, guilt or innocence, because he did show his dick. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, the fact did. of, as stated, you have a 10 million sub channel. Shit like that don't happen organically. Yeah. For the simple matter of, you're fucking over a lot more people. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. It's just a thing of, as stated, any publicity is good publicity. There was an entire period in the 2000s of, like, Every fucking celebrity and their mother was getting arrested for something. Yeah. Because it got you in the news. <laughs> he legit had his wife in the cuck chair in Oppenheimer. It was great. 
Scientists used to be good, man. One week for five dollars. We're all angry, angry viewers. Lolly and Chota, angry viewers on the platform of God. There you go. The Superman cartoon was pretty clearly originally supposed to be uh, on Cartoon Network. Something got an axe and moved to Adult Swim. Yeah. Yeah, like it's. It just looks like a, a fucking Get children's show. show. Like, it looks there's not been any content that made it, like, need to be on well, Adult it's made, Swim. It's made by the Shiro team, who also did the Voltron reboot. Yeah. And they pretty explicitly aimed their shit towards more like kids. Yeah, yeah. It's just a bunch of adults watching them because, you know, man children. Uh, and <laughs> Bro, I just checked it out. He's at 20 million subs now. What the fuck? Hey, hey, remember what we just fucking said? Make me hit you, chat. Make me hit you. We might need to get the whiteboard. We might need to get the whiteboard again. And like I said, it's not even a condemnation. Whiteboard broke. I have to use the blackboard yeah. now. <laughs> it's not even a condemnation. It's a learn street smarts. It's, it's just, learn when you're being marketed to. It, it, it's you, you had an entire generation of people that knew to never, ever, no matter what, even even if it cost you everything, to not trust the salesman. Yeah. And now you have people that have been raised on the salesman and trust them. Yeah, the the friend simulator. Yeah, the the friend the friend simulator the the people. Oh, he's still alive. Yeah. I, was <laughs> I I wish I could harness the sheer the sheer energy that that hillbilly and adventure bros did whenever he leaned down into the, into, into Doctor O and said. <laughs> I wish I could harness it. Yeah. Uh, it was not made by the Shira team. They just outsourced the animation to the same Korean animation studio. That's what it was. I thought it was. Because that's why everyone kept bitching about it. Yeah, everyone was saying it was a She-Ra team. I know for a fact it's animated by the same people. That's for damn sure. Uh, Dandelion for dollar. Oh, God. Fucking Review Tech USA. Those shirtless streams, burps, homo moans, and licks uh, porcelain chicken. Uh, talks about horses, men nipples, and sucks on cucumbers like their dildos, knowing damn well that his audience are below 14. He's fat and ugly. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of that's just shock humor. It's like, yeah. yeah. He's a big fat guy, so he does gross out stuff. Boogie did the exact same thing. Yeah, that's true. I can't get angry at, like, the jokes someone makes just because of the fact of, like, <laughs> you know, why Why would you? Yeah. <laughs> Doug, I never meant to hurt anybody, Juorio. Nobody ever does, Walker. What was the marketing for the Ripperverse? Outrage marketing. I mean, I can't say it doesn't work, but I'd rather just make something good and put it down. Yeah, I mean, that's something, that's something you can say with uh, Ripperverse, where a lot of the marketing was just fighting SJWs on Twitter, and it worked. Is that the ISOM guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's because that's, that's, the, that's the circle. You're not, like... Most of these people who who uh, went out of their way post comics gate to make their own comics, they didn't actually try to sell the comics to actual people. It was exclusively comics gate people. Yeah. So they, they sold all their comics as fuck yous to other people. It's why they all bicker amongst each other because it is yeah. it is quite literally them fighting over the same consumer base. Yeah. The only people that really got out of it was the common America guys, and that's because they fucking once they got their shit out, they stopped. They keep their their little Twitter bickering on Twitter. Yeah. They keep like as far as I understand, common America is pretty devoid of politics. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You know? It's a magical girl thing. Yeah, so like yeah, like I can see that getting popular, especially over in like Japan where they actually take very well to the magical girl concept. Yeah. 100%. Uh this game good is very good. It's very good. It's very fun. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it, it it's a whole thing where the the hyper competitivity that mm -hmm. when when we talk about the the hyper competitivity of of uh of like the Twitch circle and why like something like the I show speed thing would absolutely be a marketing stint this is what we mean because yeah, like, like, you're like, all fighting over the same pool of people why do you think Tim Pool and Sargon gunned after VTubers it's, it's all it's all it's all like the yeah. same fucking pool, pool of people yeah, yeah. It, it's it's why Tim Pool and Sargon gunned after VTubers because they knew our audience also watches these people if they donate to them that's less super berries that go to us therefore well why would you watch these guys they're all just men with voice changers you know that kind of thing yeah you know it it's all hyper competitivity, and that's why you see a lot of the, the bickering right, back Molly. and forth. But they're right; they are all men. They're all men. I have seen Noel's tits. No, no, she is not. Oh no, I've seen Noel's tits too. I also think it's a man. <laughs> I've seen Pippa's feet. I know those are men feet. I know it. Ugh. I guess Common America is good for what it sets out to be, but the most striking thing about it is the character designs. Yeah. Yeah. Like. I've got no interest in reading literally anything that came from the comics gate people, uh, fucking at all. Like I don't, I don't have any interest in, in Cyberfrog really. I don't have any interest in any of the ISOM shit, none of the, none of the Ripper, Ripperverse shit. Like I have got no interest in actually watching. They're, they're selling to their audience, and that's they're kind selling of the point to their audience. Like 
whenever I was watching, uh, I really didn't watch any of them. The only one I watched was a uh, like I followed the EVS stuff going on because yeah. at first he was genuinely getting felt like he was. Yeah, that, that was he was genuine... forced out of the actual comics industry by weirdos that said, "Hey, look at the way he does a signature. It's actually a swastika." Yeah, it's and like it's that like, was over the top shit. And he got fired for it and couldn't get a fucking job because now he was the the fucking Nazi artist guy yeah. that drew a pretty fucking good run of Green Lantern. Yeah, you know, like. Yeah, he couldn't find a job. So I followed that from the, the sense of, I like comics. This shit's fucking insane. Um, I watched your boy, Zach, because, like... Genuinely chill dude. Yeah, he, he's a chill dude, and I liked that a lot of his opinions... Uh, I mean, obviously, all, all of his opinions coincided with mine for the most part. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be watching them. Um, the main thing about it was... He, he would go... The issue with this is it's made by people that haven't lived a, a fulfilled life. They yeah. have not gone out and done stuff. They beeline to New York and they immediately went to doing comic stuff Yeah, and you can tell because they have no actual proper life experience outside yeah. of the internet and it's something I wholly agree with yeah how, how they how they write people it's very obvious they don't know how people work yeah and that, that's always the, the consistent issue in a lot of their shit you know at the end of the day the whole woke mor- the woke shit in general really just comes down to they don't know how people think yeah they, they don't know how to write authentic you know, human beings, because yeah. they themselves are not. They kicked him out over over a signature. Fucking what? I yeah. think I think they kicked him out. And okay, I think it started over him supporting Trump. Yeah, because uh, he, he very openly yeah. right wing guy. And then and then from there it was well he supports Trump so he needs to be a Nazi. Yeah, this was full Trump like this was 2016. This, 20, this was yeah this was prior to 2016. Like this was running up to the election. So yeah. this was full swing Trump. The Trump worst of the worst. Yeah. When things were the like. So fucking awful that you would like I would not forgive you if you murdered somebody that started screeching at you because they're just that fucking stupid. Yeah. Like this is this is when shit was the worst of the worst. So it was I support Trump. Oh, so you must be a Nazi. Oh, look at the way he does his signature. That looks that, that looks like a fucking swastika. You're you're you must be a Nazi. And then yeah. DC's like too much heat, bro. Like too much heat, you're fired. Yeah. Wendy Goon just posted this uh, his engagement photos. Very wholesome. Yeah, oh, very nice. cool guy. Very I cool forgot guy. he was been the process of getting married. I, I honestly thought he already held the wedding, but you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I live to pray normal life and still don't really understand people either. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, like, like I said, they yeah. they live their life through the internet. They don't actually yeah. they don't even live a normal life. They they were coddled. They went to college. Yeah. They immediately got a got a job at uh, you know writing comics. That's not a yeah. hard job. Yeah, you know, they they didn't work retail. They didn't work blue collar. They didn't, you know, they didn't bust their ass trying to get through like nursing school or something like that. It's like no, it's, it's like oh, I went to college for like liberal arts. You know, very very like cushy. You're you're surrounded by other man children that never want to leave college. That kind of mindset. Yeah, and that's why you saw it in the Marvel books where, hey, why is everyone in college? Why is this this like fucking like, idiotic bullshit? Like, because they didn't know anything else. I've seen no. I've seen Noel schlicking it. Honestly, not a good video. She moans in a weird way. Uh, Pippa, Pippa is mostly, uh, definitely, most definitely a woman. Uh, she didn't know what what a tinga was. I bet. Uh, how do you know so much about feet, Shota? I have them. I've lived them. I've lived with them for over yeah. twenty years. There you say Trump isn't bad. Did you know he raped and killed my dog? Maybe your dog asked for it. Maybe you shouldn't yeah. have let your dog go out dressed like that, chat. You ever think about that? Yeah. Yeah. What I thought. Wait a minute. I was gonna say, I think one is literally hiding behind the fucking. Bing, 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 bing. We might have fucked up. No, you're good. She launched the missile. You're good. Kill, kill him. Now turn around and look. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, just look up. Yeah. yeah. I can't aim for shit, but uh, we do good. Yeah. How many gigs is your is your feet folder, Shota? Uh. I don't have any feet pics, but I have uh, I have all the Japanese audio of Gage from Borderlands 2. Uh, I have all of her dialogue in a 2 gigabyte file on my computer. Is there a counter to gaslighting? Just say people are fucking liars. Yeah, just <laughs> say like, uh, you're a liar and you're a piece of shit, and uh, anyone that actually does their, their research uh, they will, will be able to see it. Yeah. Oh, no. College loans were a mistake. True. <laughs> Well, no, allowing people to be forever students was a mistake. Because that's what happens. They they will take bullshit classes over and over and over again for fucking that years. That is true. In order to be forever students. And I'm like, oh my god, if I found out my kid did that, I'd beat them with a bat. Yeah. Where it's like, how much fucking money did you spend to not get a job because you don't want to <laughs> leave college? The fuck is wrong with you? Gage is a great waifu. To, okay, chat, before anyone starts, 
when Borderlands 2 came out and Gage dropped, I was younger than Gage. So don't you start that shit. Yeah. I know what you're gonna do. Don't you start that. No beating children. <laughs> Not beating children was a, was a mistake. True. I saved Pippa's Pippa's feet pick. Yeah, you would, Chad. Listen, if you if. By the time you're a forever student, you're not a child. You're in your 20s. No, you're in your fucking 30s, bro. Yeah. You know, you're in your 30s. You're not, like, spending all that time doing anything productive. Yeah. Hey, uh, this is the one that I built Cataract for. That, uh, this this build that we have right now, I, I built it so that you could literally hover over top of him. It is a really good fight. Because he's basically invincible from, uh, from the front, so you have to shoot him from above or behind. Okay. It is a, a genuinely pretty fun fight. Mm -hmm. Live action Luffy did a, a meeting with Oda. He's single handedly making me th making me think this adaptation might not be total AIDS. It's gonna be complete. Total it's gonna ass. be complete fucking AIDS because you have to remember in the beginning they were all man fuck Oda. Even even now they're like, well you can't do a one to one they, adaptation they, of yeah, One the, Piece. The, fucking, the the Netflix Twitter account fucking like said a message for Oda. Uh, and then it was just a list of things that was essentially saying, yeah, we're going to deviate from yep. the source material. Fuck you. God, I, I, I can't. And, and it was like, you, you, how do you go, how do you fuck up your marketing? Yeah. Where, where it is, it is, you have people that are dumb enough to genuinely believe that you're going to do a good job and respect the source material. And then you go, nah, fuck that shit, bitch. Let's have our Twitter account say that fuck you. We never even intended on, on adhering to the source material. Yeah. Yeah. Shit like that. What the fuck? I mean, why do you think they had to, to quickly rush in that new campaign of like, well, here's the live action actors meeting the, the voice actors and they're giving their blessing. It's like, yeah, you know you fucked up. Yeah. You know you fucked up. Yeah. I mean, God, that's why I'm really, I really got to get that fucking City Hunter video ready because the, the fucking French live action movie, I'm, I'm, I, I had an actual we, crisis watching that going like, this is made by a dude who like genuinely grew up with the anime, yeah. and he gave a fuck enough to make the characters act like how they're supposed to act and look how they're supposed to act, and you feel like an actual like, you know, there there, there is the indescribable sensation in 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 film and projects and video games, known as soul. Yeah. Soul is something you can't describe. It's there. It's the life force of of the universe. You know, mm -hmm. that shit. Where basically you can tell, despite the problems, despite how hard it was to make it, no matter how many heartaches and, and horror stories you read, people gave a shit about the production. Yeah. They wanted it to be good. You know, despite, you know, Scatman Crothers bursting into tears, begging Stanley Kubrick to just tell him what he wanted for the hundred plus takes it took for The Shining. True. You know, people gave a shit because, you know, yeah, it's like he believed. Yeah. Stanley Kubrick believed he built an entire fucking hotel out of sets. That the bio that that was based off different different fucking uh, a completely different hotel in New Mexico. Built it bit by bit to make it look like this hotel in the middle of fucking Colorado. That amount of autism and care, and that's exactly what I felt in the in the fucking live action French City Hunter movie where it was a guy who. He didn't give a shit if you liked it or not. He was having fun with his friends, LARPing as, as the anime he grew up with. Watching that and, and remembering what Cowboy Bebop ended up with, yeah, literally a fucking crisis where it's like, yeah. why? Why? Why did you... Why Why are we in this timeline where this is the movie that, that gets forgotten and fucking Cowboy Bebop is the one in the marketing campaign right. behind it? What the fuck? You know? Like Oliver Anthony making those songs, he had soul. Exactly. I don't know who the fuck that is? I haven't watched the French one, but the Jackie Chan one is better. Jackie Chan one's just Jackie Chan. Yeah, it's okay. As opposed to an actual fucking movie that tried. Yeah, it's it's okay, but I mean it, it it's a thing where it's like people keep going. Well, maybe I'll give it a chance to shit with like Netflix, where they openly talk about how much they don't like it. You're, you're willing to put you're willing to put more effort into giving Netflix a chance to ruin something you like than you are than you think you're willing to put in. Finding new shit to like. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's the thing where, like, Netflix has made it clear they're buying up these licenses just to pimp them out. They don't care. Yeah. They, they aggressively don't care. And it is tragic because there, there are, there is a different way. There is a different way. There are people who do care and they do try. Fucking Robert Rodriguez, say what you want about his version of Alita Battle Angel, he cared. He liked it. Yeah. He, he liked Alita and he wanted to make a movie about it. And it's like, you feel it. Yeah. You feel him having fun. So, no, you don't need to be like, well, maybe, you know, this and that with One Piece. Like, no, fucking punish Netflix for even thinking it was a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Devin McTaggart for five dollars. I recently watched Pacific Rim The Black. Now I see why you, uh, you say these people don't watch what they shit on. It was freaking good. I haven't watched it. That's the that's the, the 
Netflix show, right? I think so, yeah. Okay. It was the anime. Which, I mean, like, a Pacific Rim anime to me sounded kind of redundant, but... Yeah. It, it was just, a, they tried their best to do a live-action fucking mech yeah. anime. Yeah, I mean, Guillermo straight up said that in the fucking uh, uh, director commentary. Yeah. Uh, only good thing about Netflix Bebop, I finally saw I finally saw Cowboy Bebop anime. I loved it. Uh, is the Hotel in the Shining architecturally impossible? No, quite literally. The the Hotel in the Shining was based off a different hotel that was in New Mexico, uh, and Kubrick built it set by set. They had pictures of of each room in the in the hotel, and they would build sets based off those pictures uh, to like an insane amount of detail. So it's not architecturally impossible. In fact, it's based off an actual building. It's just not the Overlook Hotel. I'm pretty sure the Alita movie was James Cameron, not Rodriguez. No, it was Rodriguez. It was Rodriguez. James Cameron was a producer. Yeah. James Cameron wanted to make a movie about it because he's also a big Alita fan, but he let Rodriguez handle it. Which is for the best. Yeah. I think Rodriguez understood the the fun of Alita. Yeah. I, I think I think Cameron would have tried to make it a little too artsy, and it's like, which is weird knowing James Cameron, but you know what I mean. Yeah. He, uh, no, Rodriguez did a good job. I don't even like Alita Battle Angel yet. I like the live action movie. Yeah. He did a good job. Wally, for all your research for the City Hunter video, how often does Get Wild get stuck in your head? A lot. It even plays in the fucking uh, French movie. It plays during an action scene. We're like, it never left. Uh, the reason I like it so much last day, there, there's a lot of really fun uh, references to the series. So you have like, there's a scene where they get captured. Uh, you know, bad guys do do. You know, bad guys outsmart them and they get captured and they have to find a way out. Basic City Hunter shit. So they shoot it as like a first person, like hardcore Henry style fight scene. And you get the fucking action movie, Get Wild, uh, playing during the fight scene where, where Rio has to, like, in first person, escape, beat the shit out of guys, uh, shoots, uh, shoots his gun. Genuinely really fun little, like, sequence. Mm -hmm. God, I've seen the ads from IRL One Piece out loud. I, I said, really? That's the joke? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've, uh, the very tiny bit that I've seen, I don't like. I mean, I've got no interest in One Piece anyway. Thank God I'm not a One Piece fan. Right? Listen, I'm a Dragon Ball fan. We got our, our shitty live-action adaptation out of the way. Yeah. We were pioneers, chat. What do you think of the 2019 City Hunter movie? Oh, Shinjuku Private Eyes? I loved it. That was fun as hell. The The Cat's Eye cameo was great. <laughs> I, I thought they were awesome. Can't believe City Hunter's still getting shit. And then we're on, like, another... Cat's Eye got something! <laughs> they did a fucking crossover with Lupin the Third this year! I, I can't believe we're still getting shit from all these old franchises, yet fucking all all Dragon Ball fans get is a fucking a, a, a non-canon anime that just made Yamcha a fucking a, a proverbial intergalactic pedophile. I'm not joking. I saw that. When I saw that, I, I clipped that, and I sent it to the group chat, and I was like, what the fuck? Fuck, man! He yeah. can't get a win, bro. You wanna know? You wanna know what's best? Hmm. You wanna know what's best? Fucking, we, we we are getting the new movie for City Hunter yeah. Angel Dust. We are getting the Japanese live action movie, yeah. and you know it was just announced in China. Look out another one. Fuck, another dude. Chinese live action God movie. Damn, bro. Dragon Ball fans can fucking suck it. God damn, we're. <laughs> We, I, I Eternal Else! I suffered for 20 years, and the only content we got as Dragon Ball fans was a terrible live-action movie. Yeah. 20, 20 <laughs> years we suffered with nothing, okay? We got games that just retread the same fucking story again and again and again and again. We got nothing. Dragon Ball Super came out. A bunch of fucking uh, a bunch of a bunch of chariot riders hopped on and they just they just wanted to fucking ride the bus with everybody else. They didn't fucking give a shit. All they wanted to do was just be on the the flavor of the month thing. All right, fuck it. Whatever. I don't give a shit. It's, it's a show and let, let let them on board. Fuck it. We get we get Super uh, towards the end of Super. It literally like the the universe survival uh, arc literally just becomes hey, uh, intro, ten minutes of recap. Five minutes of actual stuff that happens. Outro. Yeah. It got it got to the point where me me and Irishman we watched we watched the uh, uh, Super as it was airing. Uh, we we were watching it and we would just go to Super. We'd skip the recap. We'd watch the the fucking five minutes of actual stuff. Then we'd go to something else. It, it was so to a point that we were able to just go. Oh, it's so short. Let's just add another anime to what we're watching. Yeah. <laughs> That's bad, chat. It's bad. We got fighters after that, but it doesn't do anything new. Uh, we got superhero. At least we got superhero. Thank fucking god. But like, yeah, we're not getting anything like properly new. You know, the manga's retreading the same stuff, and on top of that, the manga's technically non-canon. 
sad. Uh, uh, six million peso man for five buckaroos. If they ever animate the Yamcha Easy Kai, that would make that would be ten times better than any any DBS media. It's fun. It, it, it is a fun little thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jackie Chan would not be in the Chinese City Hunter, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a young guy again. Yeah. Because older Rio is where you get to Angel Heart, and Angel Heart's completely fucking different. Toriyama's done. He made his money and he got out. He did not chat. He did not. Yeah, he still does all the character designs. He still does the premises for everything. Uh. He he really just said no. If y'all want me to do more Dragon Ball stuff, y'all are gonna give me a Sandland movie. Yeah. And they said fuck. All right, fine. We'll adapt Sandland. We'll give you a Sandland movie. And all people are going is, man, this isn't Dragon Ball. Yeah. <laughs> uh. The circus so that you can be hyped for the new Goku form. That's basically <laughs> what it was. Yeah. And to be fair, when Ultra Instinct dropped, it was a big fucking deal. Uh, yeah. Unlike Gear 5 Luffy, it did actually break the internet. It it broke Latin America. It broke Latin, it broke Latin America. I uh, My favorite thing about the Gear 5 stuff that, that happened is everyone going, oh, oh, it broke the internet just like Ultra Instinct, and then people would immediately post a picture of them going to a website and it working fine, and then yeah. they would go, bro, plug your fucking Ethernet cable back in, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> If we get a DBZ Xenoverse three, they should uh, ch they should Chrono uh, Trigger Goku in your OC and he's, uh, needs to make him canon to his own show. We uh um we're getting the Budokai Tenkaichi four, and yeah. I hope it's I hope it is like the other Tenkaichis, because it will be just genuinely fun and it will be. I I pray I pray it has more effort put into it being a, a fucking fighting game than what we have with a uh, with Xenoverse because Xenoverse is jank. Oh yeah. Shit. It is just fan service for the sake of fan service, which is fine. And then it goes on for ten years, and you don't get any other content. And yeah. then a tear, a tear starts to build in your eye, and you go, "Man, I, I'm so happy. I'm also a hunter, hunter fan." And then you, then you look at the rope, and you're like, "Thank God, I'm a berserk fan." <laughs> oh, oh man, thank God. Uh, 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 you start, you, you start getting the itch, and you're like, uh. Uh, well, at least, at least I like, um, uh, at least I like Devil May Cry. <laughs> and then you, then you, you know that the, you know that the only guy keeping the franchise together literally said, all right, I'm gonna go make another game. Yeah. I don't plan on making another Devil May Cry. <laughs> and then you shed nothing but tears. Yeah, thank God I'm a Vagabond <laughs> fan. Thank God I'm a Vagabond fan. Oh, God! <laughs> then you say you're a Pumpkin Scissors fan. Oh. It was funny when Blue Beetle was coming out. All the marketing was surrounded on Latinos finally having a hero that represents them. Yeah. Goku is the hero of Latin America. They don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Uh, it, it was, yeah, he's the hero of, of Latin America. And then they did nothing else. Like, the only marketing we got was things that I can only assume are bad parts of the movie because yeah. they're just... It's just shit like, oh, we need to bring down, like... like I don't know. It's, it's just like... Almost outrage marketing because I don't believe that the people that they're trying to pander to actually give a shit. Oh yeah, no. Right, and all you saw, like all you saw from the movie was like on, un or uh, sorry, the movie advertisements were uninteresting shit. And then yeah. George Lopez says something about like Batman's a fascist. Yeah, Batman. Yeah, fat. That's what it was. You know, you get punched fascist shit, and you're like, who cares? Like, who, who really cares? <laughs> like this this DC reboot shit's almost fucking dying anyway. Who cares? Thank God I'm an Oshinoko fan. Hey, at, hey, at least at least you're at least you get chapters. At least your author is doing something productive, all right? She's playing she's playing she Apex Legends, Legends with a bunch of VTubers. If you need a reason to hate VTubers, remember, they're the only reason you're not getting new Oshinoko content. If you, if you need a reason to hate Boulder Skate 3, Dungeon Meshi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dungeon Meshi on, on temporary hiatus. I just can't stop playing Baldur's Gate. It's for I research. swear to God! It's for research, I swear. It's for research, you fucking bitch. By the way, do you like my new Just a Car that I'm adding to the series? <laughs> she's actually chaotic evil, but she's my pure maiden. She's fucked a thousand men, you piece of shit! Don't you do this! Thank God I'm a Captain Harlock. At least fan. I'm a Gintama fan. At least Gintama ended, and you're getting shit with the the fucking yeah, Gintama sensei. More stuff, yeah. Like Gintama sensei is getting a fucking full-on spin-off anime. Yeah. God damn, dude. It's nice being a JoJo fan. It is. It is nice being a JoJo fan. Devin Metagra for five dollars. I'm playing Mech Warrior. It's dope. Uh, the Black was a gem. I don't respect most reviewers anymore. Also, screw commies. Uh, hope you have a good night. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank God Kintama ended. Oh. Thank God I'm an almighty lolly fan. Shut the channel down. <laughs> I need more Arima screen, screen time. I bet you do, loser. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. Mangaka is not finishing uh, their mangas because of crippling health issues. Or they're not finishing their work to the VTubers. Idol mastering good games. Dude, I fucking love, like... There, I, <laughs> there was the story where... Uh, Gintama was supposed to end oh, all the way yeah. back in like 2017 or so. Yeah. And it's to the point that like even the anime caught up to it and was like, all right, we're supposed to end right. We're going to end right. Yeah. I think they got as far as like the final Turn fight around. with, yeah. It, they got as far as like the final fight with Utsuro. And it's like, hey, you know, we're going to end right. It's it's over. And they had to go, no, it's not. It's like, what the fuck? Why not? It's like, and they br they literally bring fucking Sirachi out on screen and he goes, I was busy playing Sekiro. Manga got delayed. Yeah. Fuck you. You get the giant Transformers <laughs> Death Worm. Death Worm! Careful, Death Worm Hort! <laughs> I was playing I was playing Sekiro, Sirachi Gorilla, yes? Yeah. Thank God I'm a Lucky Star fan. Thank God I'm a Type Moon fan. Type Moon fans are getting content. You're getting fucking uh, a Tsukuhime actually ported. You're yeah. welcome, chat. You actually are. <laughs> You're... Ma massive type type uh, moon fan happy to, to finally play Tsukihime for the first time yeah. <laughs> let's give it up for him guys Slice Wolf fans finally got drip fed one trailer yeah, yeah. and they, running, they immediately bitched we're running Kenshin fans get their remake Lupin fans are getting shit bro fuck dog I can't can't be a part of any good fandom Lupin Lupin has had like new movies several come, movies actually yeah like several movies come out with a span of like a fucking two or three years and each one's been good Oh yeah, for sure. They've been really good. Wait, the the one the one that came out the same year they announced the the fucking I think it was Mewtwo Strikes Back remake, uh, the 3D one. That movie's fucking great. I watched that one. Yeah. The CG one, holy CG fuck, one's it's good. fucking awesome. It's fantastic. I was like I was like okay, okay. I hate CG just on principle, but there's so much fucking love and care put into this that I I, I cannot be bitter about it. Was the CG one good? It was fucking good. Mm -hmm. Lupin the third, the first was amazing. It was. It was fucking yeah. cool. Was the CGI one good? It was. It was very good. Thank God I'm a hit. I'm a Hitman Reborn fan. <laughs> They're all trying to be like, oh, haha, ha, you know, this thing that never gets content. The shit you're quoting it gets content. It gets content, or it actually ends. Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball fans were happy when we had an ending. <laughs> Whoever right. owns whoever owns the IP for Lupin could fucking print money if they did crossovers with Lupin and Rio. They have, they have done. I was gonna say yeah. Now we're on to new missions. Uh, if we come across a choice mission, it'll have a little symbol uh, either next to it or on here. Uh, so let me decide which one that we do. <laughs> Pat Labor fans. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God I'm a Shenmue fan. There you go. The one, the one guys yeah. that legitimately got fucked over. Of course, your your franchise sucked anyway. Yeah, you had one good game. You had one good game and one half good game. And then Yakuza came out, and everyone's like, "Oh, this is just the better one." <laughs> all right, all right, but like one one is steeped in Chinese culture, the other one's steeped in Japanese culture. I at least like Japan. Yeah, one's better. <laughs> so Yatara's Dragon Ball Super manga isn't canon. No. Um, it's in the gray area where, like, the, the anime is what's canon. However, if the if the manga like goes past where the anime is, then the manga will be canon tempor temporarily just because it yeah. made it further until something directly contradicts it. Yeah, I uh, space mouse two hours. Thank God I'm a drifter fan. I I just take whatever I want and and make it canon because, like, there's stuff that the manga does that is just better. Like. I, I like the idea of of like the different forms actually having a purpose. Like, yeah, you you'd be in Super Saiyan God over Super Saiyan Blue because it burns significantly less stamina. Yeah, uh, you being able to to fully control you know your power and stop it from actively leaking out of your body. Yeah, that would result in a pretty fucking massive power boost. These are these are cool things that the anime didn't touch on because fuck. Uh, God's Crash Man not for sale for a dollar. Sargon didn't gun after VTubers because they're stealing his audience. He did it to antagonize the anime nerds because the first six months of Loader Seeders he had to deal with people recommending Shonen Trash. Tim Pool probably did it to start a civil war. Nah, I mean, it's like... How's that, uh, how's that political career going, Sargon? Well, it's more of a thing of, like, how are VTubers and Shonen Trash connected? Yeah. 
How's that? Uh, Eco for a dollar. The only comic skate, uh, comic skate stuff in looking at is uh, Common America and RGE's comic. Mainly because I like manga better than comics. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Common America is the only one where I can definitively say, like, hands down, no debate. Yeah. It's successful. It's successful and is a franchise. Yeah. Uh, everyone else, they still try to latch it on to the, well, we're the new comics. And it's like, no. You gotta have something to back it up before you can say it. Thank God I'm a Black Lagoon fan. Yeah. You're getting chapters. You're getting chapters. Very slowly, but yes. Thank God I'm a Blade of the Immortal fan. Also, it's it's a thing where, like, yeah, I like manga better than comics, so I'll just read manga. There's a yeah. whole bunch of them I'm reading. Yeah. Thank God I'm a Precambrian era fan. <laughs> I'm literally doing a fucking hour-long video on some fucking franchise from the 80s. Thank God I'm a Mesoamerica fan. Oh, that's right, actual cutscene. Yeah. Thank God I'm a gangster fan. <laughs> oh. Oh, are we fighting actual Raven? We might. I thought he was dead, chat! Why ain't he dead? He hit hard as fuck! So he spent less than five dollars. Never forget that the Dragon Ball movie was so bad that Toriyama started writing new chapters. Yeah. Uh, he, he started thinking about writing new chapters. Uh, Archie E chased off his old fans because of criticism as well, right? Ugh. So the whole... Like, whenever you base your entire internet persona around being bitchy over anything, like, yeah, I imagine. Yeah. Well, it's a thing of, like, shit like that, that just has to come down to common sense where, hey, you know, making your, your call-out video where you're talking about something you think sucks, yeah, you can get away with that. Yeah. When you're genuinely trying to ask people to put money down on a product, yeah, you have to take what they're saying into account. Oh, for sure. Oh, the, the, anime, the anime went uh, went in with the assumption that uh, Extreme Control was a feature of Super Saiyan Blue already, and that was the foundation of Super Saiyan uh, Blue Cow Ken being possible. Like, ah! I uh, can't really put that down as something the anime didn't touch, just that the manga chose to work with different mechanics. Uh, not really. <laughs> uh, not really. Uh, there was no, like... There was no absolute control in the in the anime. They actively go out of the way to show like, no, they need the they need to practice controlling it. It's, they they do tackle it from a, a different perspective. It's just a it's just in the anime it is quite literally no, but trained to get stronger. Yeah. And in the manga it was, all right. Well, I'm I'm training so that I can actively. The aura for Super Saiyan Blue is active power leaking out of your body. So whenever you learn to control it, you no longer have an aura. Yeah. Because you are containing all that power. So like, that's a that's a progression that I, I I like and I think it makes proper sense as opposed to Scuttle. just the status quo. Scuttle. Thank God I'm a ritual sex. So thanks for thank God I'm a corpse party fan chat. Yeah. Uh, Count Dankil at least knows to put more of the annoying stuff onto his second channel. While, uh, his main remains Mad Lads and Celtic Mets. Yeah. You yeah. know uh, Count Dankil is another good one where like he he knows like people are there because they think he's funny so everything he does comes back to I'm the funny guy yeah yeah, yeah. you know even when he tries to get into politics he still pushes himself as I'm basically a stand-up comedian oh. you know I'm a funny guy like he he understands his brand and he's very good at it no new messages I love air she's great hey. uh me fan of breathing me happy new breath come in all time me no board me no board Remember Berserk? Yeah. All, the new people don't. Uh, that's the advantage of the Dragon Ball Super manga. Tori Tower can plan it out better, and I like it more. Like, I, I still think, uh, I still think Toriyama gives gives him an outline to work in. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, it's his baby. Yeah, but like, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. I, I just like a lot of what Tori Taro does, and. Yeah. Continue. I pulled the mic out by accident. Oh no! Uh, I think it just comes down to like most Dragon Ball fans just can't be. They just want to complain about everything, and it's like, yeah, uh, there's certainly things to be take issue with. It's just they don't know what they want. The classic issue. Yeah, like, like they 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 say they say that they know what they want, and then they proceed to go out of their way to complain about what they got. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh... I'm gonna just go do a little, a funny little thing real quick. And just do a, a funny, a funny little thing. Dong dong. I don't remember what legs I had. Well, I guess it were these legs. I guess it were these, chat. All right. That's a. I gotta, I gotta say, chat. That's just, it's pretty, pretty sexy. Get my stream labs. Uh, Lolly will see it whenever he gets back. Uh, pulled the mic out by accident. 
Chat, I don't think you can comprehend how small our area is. Favorite Mad Lad? Uh... I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna be real. I don't really watch Dankula. Um, it'd have to be one of his older ones. So, I had to spend a seven-hour car ride with my brother on Monday. Started off with a couple of Mad Lads, and we went uh, hard into the uh, Duke Simmer saga. Uh, it's all. It also, was said in the manga that Goku and Vegeta have honed their bodies to the point that they can no longer get uh, stronger, and in the conventional sense, they need to find new ways to get stronger. Thank God I'm a Spider-Man fan. Uh, that was also said in the anime at the beginning of the Goku Black arc. Um, Vegeta says outright in the anime, he goes, yeah, we've hit our limits. We can't get any stronger. And then they just magically, like, they fucking sweep that under the rug and they just go, later in the arc, they go into the hyperbolic time chamber to train for a year or however fucking long it was, uh, nonstop. And they, they're just magically stronger. Is the mic cold for Lolly's cock? Chat, I don't think you've, I don't think you've seen a Blue Yeti mic, chat. I wonder how many Dragon Ball fans saw the original from the 80s. I'm rewatching it. Yeah, uh, most most haven't. Most haven't, for sure. Some naked old dude out there that kept meowing when I was taking a piss, and I think I was looking at my dick. Our neighbor's cat comes over sometimes, and he just pissed me off. Yeah. Thank God I'm a Sinran Kagura fan. Okay, but as long as you don't have a PlayStation, you're good. You'll get new content. Yeah. They'll find a way. They'll find a way. Yeah. I like the dog meat in general. Loyal yeah. and the horny find a way. Yes. Controller right there, so be careful. Yeah. Ah. That's right, I'm wearing the, the stiff pants again. <laughs> oh. uh. The stiff pants. The very stiff pants. Why did I wear these when I knew we were going to stream? Don't bitch. Yeah. I'm sorry, baby, I love you. <laughs> ah. Nom, nom, nom. Stiff, they're literally stiff. They are some stiff jeans. All right, open up another beverage. Eh. What's the hold up on the next Sandra and Cogger game? Studios fucked over by Sony shit. Like Sony Studios actually fucked them over. <sighs> sad story. Very sad story. Is it because you love the stiffness? They are comfortable pants. Alright. <sighs> Samurai Bear for a dollar. Thoughts on Dragon Ball GT ending? I always like Goku taking a quick victory to a uh, quick victory to say goodbye to everyone before leaving with Shenron. It's okay. Uh Potential for a new QA. That could be fun. Could be fun. Uh Punish Luna five dollars there a donation tier for adding a series to the list of reviews. Yeah, that's like the the five to ten. Five to ten you can you can suggest. Oh, thank God you raised it. What? I said, oh, thank God you, ra you raised the fucking price. Yeah, five to ten. That's... It used to be a dollar, chat. Well, it's more of like... It was a bad decision to be a dollar. Well, it was more of like uh, people would like add in, they do like a super chat and be like, hey, do you want... I, I like this thing. Would you like... Would you like to talk about it? I was like, yeah, sure. I'll put it on a list. Uh, Devin Metagra for Five Buckaroos. Why doesn't the West get its, cra uh, its crap pushed in for messing stuff up? It's getting old as, as hell. Because uh, literally anytime anyone complains, it turns into a 50-video series about why you need to totally take it seriously, guys. Yeah. Or, or you're called entitled for going like, maybe I don't want to spend $200 on a game that isn't worth 30 Yeah. There's no there's no middle ground. Uh, I'm sorry, are they making us... Uh play a specific map? Okay, no. We just have a really weird looking... Uh, our paint job looks weird in this light. Yeah. Oh yeah, put on actual feet because they control better. We don't need to hover right now. We started the stream and you and you were like, I hate the spider legs. They look they look dumb. And then you and became I'm, addicted to the power that the spider legs bring. Now now, now I'm a simp for the spider. Mm, scuttle, 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 scuttle. No. Am I, Am I not, not spidery enough for the spider club? No, get the fuck out. Oh god, that's gonna be a joke in the next Spider-Man movie. <laughs> Uh, critical analysis of DBZ, a retrospective. I like talking about Dragon Ball, and I can talk about it nonstop. It's just a, just a matter of there's so much stuff that, there's so much stuff that gets out, out of hand and that isn't really quite canon. Oh yeah, they have fucking Droidicus. Yeah. By the way, uh, it gets it gets kind of out of hand, and uh, the Dyson shoes, like they're not technically canon. I mean, by technically canon, I mean they're not canon, but yeah. like. 
they'll they'll put some conjecture in there and stuff that isn't like actual proper information. So you gotta you gotta s- s- go and dig through that. That's that's a little. Marshall Marshall with two dollars. What's the game you like? That Sony strangling. Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush. Gravity, Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush. Everything. Sell the fucking IP if you're not gonna use it. Everything other than Last of Us. They they've botched Last of Us so hard that I no longer like the original Last of Us. Oh yeah, horribly. And and they know they fucked up. Mm-hmm. They know they fucked up with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, hang on. Uh, hidden parts are in this level. Three of them. One of them is a chainsaw, and another is a flamethrower. Okay. I I fought a dude in the arena with a chainsaw, and he fucking cut my shit up, and I was like, Where the fuck do I get the chainsaw? Yeah. You just missed the hidden part. It was not me playing. Yeah. I'd like to thank the FGO Wells for funding another bin bankrolling all these tight moon properties. I... Fuck them. Fuck them. They're not even funding anything. Uh, like, Bandai Bandai has the license, and they just keep pumping out Musos or Muso Light games. Yeah. It's Bandai. It's probably... Look to your right. Look to your right. No. I will in a sec. Just right now, i got people shooting at me. Don't let that Mark kind of has a DBZ deep analysis going on now anyways. Yeah, but he's annoying. Remember when Crash Bandicoot was Left 4 Dead? They got one good game that announced it was Left 4 Dead again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, did either of you watch... Did you either of you two watch Spider-Man Lotus yet? I haven't, but I want to. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. I uh, I want to eventually sit down and watch it, because I guarantee I guarantee a majority of the movie bad stuff is literally just, well, I don't like the people that made it. Yeah. Thank God I'm a revolutionary girl Utana fan. Yeah. Now Crash has a MOBA. It's not a MOBA. Is it? I don't no, know. No, it's, it's not a MOBA. It's like a like a it's sort of battle royale thing. It's fucking weird. Oh, so <laughs> Crash does have like a little battle royale thing. Uh, I remember them not advertising it virtually at all. But you want to know what the one piece of advertisement I did see was? What? what they made uh, one of the characters, the bat, they made it trans. That was their advertising for it. That's oh, literally all I saw about it, and I was like, I was like, guys, uh, I, this is like, this is a Crash Bandicoot game. Yeah. I, uh, I, I think you should be focusing less on whether or not the characters like trans or gay or anything like that, and more on whether or not the design is good. And I'm gonna be real, I don't like the bat. <laughs> the it looks like is shit. Bat. The design is not very cool on the bat, chat. It looks like shit. Yeah. I wish we had another Gravity Rush game. I do, too. Blame Nasu. Uh, he's very fickle with his games when they don't tie, uh, tie into the multiverse. <laughs> it, it could tie into the universe. He just needs to put in some fucking effort. <laughs> well, fuck. The bat, how to be trans, you cut off its fucking wings. Not trans, the bat was non-binary. Was it? I mean, yeah. I guess someone more invested would probably It's the same know. goddamn thing. <laughs> It is, we're gonna pretend it's, it's a fucking toothpaste flag thing. It's all fucking attention seeking shit. Yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, this is literally a marketing thing. So, oh my goodness gracious, how much money would it cost for Lawyer to review the wicked sex tape I made? Ten trillion. Uh, Lolly, your thoughts on the milf gar? Your thoughts on the milf garu? Uh, they added in the Persona Five X. I'm not playing the Chinese gotcha. I'm, I'm not. not playing the Chinese gotcha. I'm not. I, she I, looks cool, but I'm not playing the Chinese gotcha. I will. I will play the Devil May Cry one when it comes out because it looks like it just plays like a, slump, a simplified version of Devil May Cry. I will play it. I will not spend money on it, Shrek. I will not. I'm referring to the Super Hime remake. I mean, yeah, but people have been begging for that forever. Uh, Mahoyo. All right, we'll we'll wrap back to Mahoyo. All right, and a new Melty Blood, because, yeah, those were 100% funded by FGO money. Melty Blood gets a new version release fucking almost semi-yearly, it feels. Uh, every couple of years. It's just sad that Crash Bandicoot <laughs> drank the Kool-Aid. Crash is my childhood. It's not even surprising. It's owned by Naughty I mean, Dog. Uh, well, aside, uh, it's owned by Activision. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they had the, the... Activision owned the right... It's weird stuff. But, um... Yeah, like, it's... It, it doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of... I. You're supposed to be doing something to advertise your game, and if all you're doing is a uh, character is non-binary, it's like, my brother in Christ, I don't even know how the game plays. Yeah. Who owns Spyro? Activision. Activision, pretty sure. Yeah. Activision did, because they owned a lot of those classic platformers, because it was before they died. Yeah. Want to hear something fun? Doctors are experimenting uh, into shoving a, uh, oh, a uterus into a male. The goal is to make a man able to gestate and birth a child. It's not a male. They're just uh, they're just looking into womb transplants in general because the first surgery that yeah. happened it was a woman. 
Yeah, I'm interested. They that. might eventually so. start trying to do it with trans uh, people, but it's like, right now they're 100 percent like we need to make sure it works in the fucking genders first. Yeah. My brother, my brother in Christ, the last actual multi blood game was 17 years ago. Oh no, no, no! You you misunderstand. Uh, you don't understand how modern fighting games work, and that's uh, whenever you get a new version for your game, it's a new game. Yeah. That's how it works. Right. I mean, that's what they did with Skullgirls. That's what they did with them Mortal Kombat. It's like. Yeah. It's just what they do. It is what they do. Particularly anime fighters. Oh yeah. Part Blaze here. Blue did that. There's a part a lot. here. We already got the part. It's a it's a flamethrower. It's bad cook. Uh, what do you mean, Smash Bandy's cute? <laughs> you already got it. Oh boy, a new 100k operation. Yeah. There we go. Should, are you hyped for swimsuit Canis? I know I am. I need my tan skin tomboy. I do like Canis a lot. Um, yeah. We don't have to fight these people. But oh boy, might make things easier. Don't trip the wire, Lolly. I know, right? Uh, I'm excited for Canis. Um, I don't really care about Kama. I, I'm going to be real. I don't give a fuck about Kama. So if I can get Canis, I'll be happy. There we go. I want a Hulk Ultimate Destruction game with, with these levels and everything is breakable. My brother. Uh, they tried a womb transplant with a Chinese guy almost two decades ago. They don't talk about it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's not, there's not anything to talk about anymore, Chant. Uh, no, you're wrong how modern fighting games work is someone always gets outed as a pedo. That is true. As modern communities, Chant. Chant, like remember, seeing... look around. At any given point in time, there could always be a pedo. Right next to you. Breathing. There could be pedos here, chat. <laughs> I did like the uh, the the Smash player on Twitter who was like, uh, there, there's like an unofficial Pyra statue coming out, mm -hmm. and it's like her like crawling on the floor, uh, on the ground with her butt raised in the air. And there was like a fan artist who was like, oh man, I'm pre-ordering this right now. You know, it's like a horny artist on Twitter. Yeah. And the fucking Smash player was like, man, Pyra did so much to ruin the reputation of Xenoblade. It's fucking insane. Like, you I, mean I the can't highest selling it. game in the franchise? The highest fucking selling game in the franchise, and on top of that, people are like, you're a fucking Smash player. Yeah, if she has tits, I'd rather fuck a child, okay? Thank yeah. you very much. I have standards. Literally, that that was the that was the first thing people said. It's like, Smash players throwing stones is the exact opposite road to go. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck, do you not have any idea how your franchise looks? Monka S, yeah, pedos could be here. And they try to like he, he tried to pull rank and be like, well, I played all of them. And then should he play like Xenoblade X? It's like Xenoblade X isn't really technically a Xenoblade game. <laughs> it's a spinoff. It's considered canon in a different universe, but that's not a mainland title. And if you're talking this much shit, starting to think maybe, maybe, maybe you just got your ass kicked by Pyromane. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the MCU Spider-Man? I'm not a fan. Uh, this is a bit of a conversation I had a few days ago. Uh, I, uh, I, I do, I like it for what it is, but, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it is still just MCU stuff. Yeah. I'm there for Spider-Man, and I will consume Spider-Man. I will consume product, and I have, I have been very open about that. Yeah. Spider-Man uh, is your exception, yeah, no matter there, what. There are certain things that I, I will always just consume products for, and I am, I always make sure that I'm very open about it because of how staunch I am in other, other yeah. areas, and it's like, it's Spider-Man. Uh, if the if the game's eighty bucks for a, for the base game, I'm gonna spend the eighty dollars. Am I a shill? Absolutely. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let it affect the way that I think about the game. But I, I just like Spider Man. I just like Spider Man. It's big. Also, uh, I don't you don't see it very often, but we just got it there. The enemies also have three repair kits. Oh yeah. I noticed that during uh, one of the fights right before the Raven fight. It's like, oh, they have repair kits too. That's the first time I saw it too. The one there was a sneaking mission. Yeah. Yeah. The guy, the guy healed because I couldn't kill him fast enough, and I was like, "You fucking whore." You prefer controller keyboard for armor core? I'm on keyboard and mount, uh, keyboard feels crowded. The controller feels fine. The controller feels fine. There are moments because I, I don't play this game the way Lolly does, uh, particularly when I fight bosses. It is literally circle strafe, and what you're doing is you're holding a you're holding one stick to the left. You're constantly pressing the right stick to the right multiple times, and then I'm holding down L2 and R2 and mashing uh, L1 and R1. And uh, whenever I was first fighting the spider boss uh, with with this build, uh, I was like, I'm not gonna lie, my fingers are starting to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like my my hand is starting to hurt. But I imagine it's so much worse with the keyboard though. 
I'm the same way with Batman. Yeah, people have their exceptions. Yep, like, yeah, people. Will, yeah, people will always yeah. have their exceptions. Uh, yeah, mine. Cause... Mine will forever be Berserk. Yeah. Which, thank God, we don't give much <laughs> Berserk content. <laughs> right. It, it's kind of a matter. of, It's like, Shit. as long as you're just like, when you're a spur, when you're a spurg about certain things, like I am. As long as you're open about it. Like, uh, I remember whenever I was like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking shilling out $70 for Spider-Man. Yeah. Uh, I, the last time I said it, someone was like, someone was like, oh, well, so fuck your principles. And I was like, I remember when I had this conversation forever ago, uh, I brought up specifically, yeah, there's always going to be exceptions. And one of the, one of mine is explicitly Spider-Man. Another one, fucking uh, Persona. I'll try to find a way to get it for under 70 bucks, but it's fucking Persona 3. Yeah. I have hundreds upon hundreds of hours dumped into Portable alone. Uh, Xenoblade X is Canada 2 and 3, but Xenoblade X was being sold specifically as, like, an opener for people. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a way you could get into the franchise. It had nothing to do with the rest of the canon. was its own yeah. separate universe. That, that's what I mean with that. Where it's like, oh, yeah, of course, yeah, that's how you get in. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of shit. Yep. Last from the last version in two thousand uh, was in a two thousand eleven before Type Lumina. Yeah, then we got Type Lumina, and then we're getting a new version. Uh, at least the last Spider Man and Spider Man movie, uh, Batman and Spider Man movies were good. That is true. That is true. Uh, for the last ten years or so, before Type Lumina, Melty Blood was uh, was in a drought, and the only way to play it was on jank land, thrown together in hotel bathrooms at Evo because there's nowhere else to do it. That's still that. Don't you fucking start with me. That's still how it is, motherfucker. That's still how it is. Thank God I'm a Samurai Champloo fan. You got an ending. You did. It's a it's a one and done anime. So Persona ha uh, Shoda has to play the Persona Gotcha. Oh no no no, Persona Three in particular. I I like Four. I don't like it nearly as much as Three. Uh, and Five's Five's pretty good. Also, don't like it nearly as much as Three. Uh, if they gave me Persona One and Two content, I'd buy the fuck out of that. That'd be interesting. Uh, Guilty Gear used to be used to be one of them. Um, it is now cut off from the the funnel. It will, it will no longer be receiving anything from me. Uh, if if anything, not even because of the Bridget shit, if anything, specifically because they neglected so much Biken shit, oh, my yeah. favorite character, they neglected her so much despite having her products lined up. Th think about it like this. So they just announced a, a plush. It's a very cute plush for Biken. However, it is not a Biken plush. It is a, uh, is a Jacko plush. It is, it is being released as a line of Jacko plushes, and Biken mm. is a skin for the Jacko plush, because Biken is the most fucking popular North American character. Bridget used to be the most popular JP character, but the fucking fan base got livid post the fucking tranny shit. Yeah. Because you changed their character. You changed uh, a very major facet of what they liked about the you, character. You changed the, the favorite JP character for America, and you do absolutely nothing with the actual America yeah. favorite character. The American favorite character has a fucking $600 figure that I was ready to buy that never got shipped. And instead, we're getting five different Bridget figures that don't fucking sell. Yeah. Even diehard Guilty Care people who liked the Tranny Bridget thing are going like, they're not gonna yeah. fucking, they're not gonna buy the fucking statue. They'll, they'll fucking buy any small thing, but they're not gonna drop fucking three hundred dollars on a fucking Bridget figure. The exact thing everyone said would happen when the whole situation started off in the first place. These people don't fucking buy your shit. Yeah, no biking, no buy. That, that's what I said. Whenever Guilty Gear first dropped, I said no biking, no buy then. And then they added biking, and I was like awesome metal uh i can actually get into the game proper and i was like man biking's fun and then everything went to shit <laughs> very quickly very very quickly i'll stop with the, i'll stop with the double uh, devil part or devil part timer the bit's done did you see that mcdonald's is having a they have a mill at mcdonald's that is as it's called the as featured in mill i don't know what it consists of but it is it's things that have had that have had mcdonald's in it or referenced it uh, some kiosk had uh, the main character from Devil is a Part-Timer on the kiosk as the fucking attendant to huh. give you your McDonald's. That's at least clever. I did think it was kind of clever. Yeah. Uh, Space Man, two hours. Thank God I'm a biking fan. Thank God I'm a biking fan. We biking fans, biking fans know that their character is so popular, they get intentionally... Same with Bridget, uh, J, JP fans, honestly. Uh... Our, our, our characters are so popular, they get intentionally left out of the base game because they know the DLC will sell so well. Oh, yeah. And no one plays Drive anymore. Yeah, no one plays Drive. Yeah, it's literally a Big Mac meal for an extra $4. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, like, it's just, ugh. So, you, so much has gone wrong. At least you can spend that much money on Skullgirl stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. Literally before Skullgirls uh, lit itself on fire again, I had bought uh, several several key rings because I have... Um, I Whenever they first did their, their line of merch, I have a squiggly yeah. keychain uh, that's hanging up here on my wall. Uh, and it I, looks nice. Yeah. Uh, I got that uh, initially, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's cute. That's awesome. Um, and I bought that whenever they did their first line of merch. Uh, and then I saw a thing where they're like, hey, we have new merch. You can get Misfortune, and you can get Marie. And I was like, okay, I'll get all this cute shit, and I'll get a shirt, too. I fucking, I fucking love Skullgirls. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then they fucking exploded, literally... The day after. Like, like, yeah, it was it was the day after I actually received my stuff, they blew up, and I was like, Jesus, fuck, man, I can't have shit! Yeah, seriously. What the fuck? Like, I just, I just want to enjoy shit, and you can't shut your fucking mouth for five seconds and let me enjoy shit. You are the equivalent... You are the equivalent of fucking donkey in the back of the carriage. Yeah, yeah. Over and over and over again. I just want to sit in silence and live my life, and you won't leave me the fuck alone. What the fuck's your deal? Yeah, Let me sure. be happy. Let yeah, me fucking sure. be happy. Well, like I said, it's what makes the whole, like, oh, gatekeep thing kind of laughable. It's like, you're not getting jobs at these companies. You're not gatekeeping no. shit. The people you hate, the fucking psychos who are obsessed with, like, everything agreeing with them, and the everything has to be... 43 messages. Yeah. And, like, everything has to be, like, some fucking, like, you know rainbow flag toothpaste flag propaganda shit yeah they're the ones crazy enough to try to get jobs at these companies and and try to like weasel their ideas in yeah like you don't have a choice you have to fucking try yeah trainers are a cancer that want to actively destroy anything they reach i'm fucking certain 90 percent of the, the people working on the game aren't fucking trannies like it's just fucking no. bitter pieces of shit people that want to only ten thousand i mean i understand i got like four million but only ten thousand uh there was no base pay Mm. It's all like stuff you blew up in it. Oh, makes me sad. It's literally a Big Mac meal for an extra four dollars. I will buy the Big Mac meal for an extra four dollars. Yeah. Did you and Lolly ever get around to watching Magical Destroyers? Uh, no. Nope. Uh, spa uh Spaz the Space Wizard for a dollar. Uh, the South Park game's good, and his South Park itself good. I never watched it, and my uncle had uh, multiple complete collections of South Park in his house. That was almost completely split in half from a tree during a hurricane. Oh, man. South Park, the show, is awesome for Show's like a... Good. For like fifteen seasons straight. Yeah, and then you then you start to get some hit and miss stuff, but yeah. for the most part, yeah, the show's very good. Yeah. Um. Uh, no, no, no. Uh. Also, South Park games, yes, they're very good. Uh, Stick the of Truth two, and two Ubisoft games are good. Yeah, Stick of Truth and uh, Fractured Butthole are good. Uh, uh, no, no, no. For a dollar, quick question: Why does everyone act like Japan's media is absolutely terrible with no redeeming qualities and ignore problems with the West? Uh, E.g., Idol got attacked by a fan that would ne uh, that would never happen in the West. Who's John Lennon? Yeah. Well, it's because. <laughs> People still have it in their mind that like liking anime and liking Japanese media is is smelly nerd stuff of like shoving in locker. You know, people people have that insecurity of like, well, people will judge me if I like it. You know, that that was the thing with the the fucking Pyro situation with the the Smash player, where it's yeah. like, well, what if your parents walked in on it? It's like I'm 25. Why the fuck would they yeah. care? What if your parents walked in on it? My brother in Christ, your fucking parents aren't gonna walk in on you fucking playing anything if you're a goddamn adult. Yeah, it's like, are you fucking kidding me? I listen. I assure you, if you're a fucking if you're a fucking teenager, I guarantee you, your mom and dad both know you jerk off fucking nonstop. All right. Yeah. You're a fucking teenager. Yeah. They know. They know. Uh, Eco for dollar thoughts on the Legend of Spiral games? You know the ones with the Deviant Art Dragon OC in it. Legend of Spiral is awesome. I like the I like the first Legend of Spiral. Yeah, I like the first Legend of Spyro. Uh, okay, this, never... this seems like it's a choice. Uh... Or it concludes chapter. Oh, yeah, th this one concludes a chapter. Hey, you get to fight an actual boss. So yeah. we get to, we get to do the super fun thing that Shota really fucking likes about this game where we fight the boss and cannot beat the fucking boss with the build that we have. Yeah. And then I get upset and we have to we have to go back to the shop and rebuild our mech from, the scra from scratch. Yeah. So fucking fun chat. Listen, cute Japanese women are good enough for both of your fathers. They're good enough for me. You yeah. understand? Well, I mean, it's like, you know, I don't give a shit if, if people want to, like, judge me for watching something. You know, I'll, I'll watch fucking anime and I'll watch it like that because there's genuine works of art. Like, what am I supposed to, like, write off an entire medium, an entire genre because, yeah, but that comes yes. from that weird country. Oh, I thought we were progressive. I thought we were all, like, open to other ideas and cultures. Okay. No, we're violently racist, I assure you. Yeah, seriously. Uh, it's like, can't watch Ghost in the Shell, which is one of James Cameron's favorite movies. 
Can't watch Akira, which film students across the fucking world study. Yeah. Can't watch Perfect Blue, which is one of the greatest throws of all time. Can't watch Monster, which is critically acclaimed by every fucking one. Can't read Vagabond, which is another highly acclaimed, highest selling manga of all time. I'll read it when it's finished. <laughs> it, it, it's like, fuck off. Yeah. It, like, I don't care about, like, I don't care what people think of, of me or what I enjoy at all. Uh, it's a matter of, hey, is my experience with a certain medium good? Then I'm apt to try and seek out more stuff. Yeah. If I get burned by a medium, like let's say let's say I've watched like ten movies, and every all ten movies I watched were complete and total garbage. I would I would literally just go, all right, I'm not gonna fucking watch any movies anymore. I'm just gonna stick to TV shows and the other shit that I do. Yeah. Because. I've been burned so many times. It's like it's it's like with Manwa. I, I do not I don't like any of the Manwa I've read. So whenever people spurg out and go, oh, so you, you're just gonna write off an entire an entire thing, and it's like, yes, I am, 100. Yeah. percent Well, that's the thing. The difference is you try. Yeah. You go in and try. Yeah. I, I'm I'm also not I'm also not going. Well, I'm not reading I'm not reading Manwa because other people don't like Manwa. Yeah. Like, like I'm not I'm not doing that either. Yeah. I don't give a shit what other people think. Yeah. You know, you you actually give a shot. You're you're not factoring in like, well, people think I'm weird if I read it. It's like, no, it's nothing to do with that. It's the fact that you just don't like it. If you if you ever factor in what other people think, I, I genuinely think you are insecure. Yeah, I do. Well, that's literally what it is. You know, it's like, you know, people suggest shit like uh, like the dude suggested I review like high school DXD, and it was it was supposed to be like a troll thing. Of, mm -hmm. Not not so much a troll thing, but like a ribbing thing of like, oh, now you have to review the etchy thing. It's like I don't give a shit. Yeah. I gave a shit that I have to re-edit everything 20 times because fuck. Yeah. But, you know, it's a thing of like, yeah, I mean, I, I don't care. You know, it's a series. Yeah. It's not explicitly illegal. Therefore, why would I be worried? Yeah. I, I, I don't care. I don't care about it. I, I'm, I'm willing to give stuff that I, uh, what the fuck is a manhwa? It's just Japanese manga or comics. Korean. Yeah. Ah, my bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not Japanese, Korean. Um, yeah. At least Michael uh, B. Jordan is one of us. That is true. He was never one of you. Yeah, but DXT is a good etchy. Yeah, but that, that's kind of what I mean. It's like I don't write. I, I I try not to write off entire genres unless it's something where I just explicitly know I don't like it. Yeah. Yaoi stuff, stuff like that. I just don't like it. Don't care for it. Yaoi stuff. Uh, most lolly or Shota shit. Don't care for uh, it. Don't particularly care for it. Um, I I do. Uh, I have a soft spot for whenever it's it's just cute things. Yeah, uh, I don't remember what it is, but the the anime about the the Shota and the Lolly, and they both have massive fucking foreheads. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it was cutesy. I don't I don't remember the name of it, but yeah. Yeah, it, it's a slice of it's a slice of life thing, but yeah, it's it's. Uh, <sighs> worm hurt, worm hurt. I'm sorry for your loss, Lolly, but you ain't making it out the hood. We actually need the spider legs. We actually need the spider legs. <laughs> Give me the legs. <laughs> we drifted from the path of the spider. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, Tokugasan, yeah. Yes, man, what yeah, is Yeah, 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 yeah. Takagi, yeah. Takagi, the one that actually Tokugai. got a sequel, and it's, like, now about the, their daughter. their daughter, yeah. And it's actually uh, really nice. Yeah, it's, ni it's nice and cute, and, like, I guess maybe it might not adhere strictly to Shota and Lolly shit, but they are very young kids, just doing yeah. very young kid stuff. And, uh... Also, in the West, we're kind of tainted because people just people just kind of say lolly uh, and they mean just actual pedo shit. Yeah. But that's not what it is. Lollycon and Shotokan stuff is mostly literally just characters yeah. doing cutesy stuff. And I do mean... Woo! Whoa, baby! Oh, damn! Hey, y'all got this, baby! We need to get the fuck out of here! Run! I'm fucking scared. I'm fucking scared. Uh, it's just about being, being cute shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, they have a daughter. Uh, they have a daughter-based series. Yeah, yeah. The, they have a continuation where they're both adults, and it's just about their daughter being cute now, which is nice. It's a nice yeah, continuation. Yeah, very nice. Worm looks like a Tesla char charger cable. It fucking whore. Uh, I'm fucking scared. I'm fucking scared. Well, he doesn't like Yowie. Imagine my shock. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't like two gay two guys kissing. Yeah. Two women kissing though. Even then, a lot of those are boring as fuck. I, I, I was super into uh, licorice re recoil. That one's fun because that has yeah. people shooting each other. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't. I don't. I, like I said, I don't really do romance stuff. Yeah. Uh, like, um, me and Irishman fucking sat down and watched uh, Citrus, and that is That's so boring. More than boring. It was literally just, hey, two sisters want to fuck. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know why we're here. Yeah. Just to suffer. What are we doing? 
Maybe we shouldn't see each other again. I don't think we should talk. <laughs> I imagine that's gonna. Whenever we finally get to 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 Fate Prisma Ilya, I imagine it's gonna be that because that's, that's gonna be an entire room. That that'll be when that'll be when Dick Bro brings his wife and his kid to an anime night, and it's like we have to sit down and put on Ilya while they stare at us. <laughs> we so so for those of you who don't know about Prisma Ilya, uh, I haven't watched it, but I have seen the stuff out of context. And it is literally Lolly's kissing, and I was like, "Oh my god, bro!" I was like, "I don't want to watch this," but there's that weird tick in the back of my brain that's like, "No, you said you're gonna go through all of fate. You need to get through all of fate, and it has fate in the title." That also being said, there's like fucking twenty series of Ilya. We learned that when we were looking through it. We might need to switch to SMGs to crack the shield. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, are these machine guns or SMGs? There is How a difference. the fuck do you make lesbian sisters boring? Uh, romance. So we spent less for $2. Uh-oh, here comes the mana transfer scene. It was literally the mana transfer scene. And she fucking very erotically kissed the other fucking character. And I was like, I don't... I, I, I cannot handle watching this in a room by myself. I need to be in a room with other dudes just so I can be like... So this is as weird as I think it is, right? Yeah. Like, we'll get through it together. Through the power of friendship <laughs> and aggressive gay kissing, we will get through it, right, guys? <laughs> Mono transfer Ilya X Chloe. Yeah, it was literally it. Part three of, of uh, Ilya is where it drops all Yuri shit and plays the story straight. Oh, you mean I'm getting it through two seasons? What do you mean, two seasons? I just want to watch really edgy villains be over the top fucking evil. I like I like the edgy villains. They're cool. They're fun. They're super evil. The old man in his bug room was a fucking amazing highlight of our anime night. <laughs> the the I put the little girl in the bug room and the bugs violated every orifice was a was a fucking highlight because yeah. I had everyone going. Why are you so fucking evil? You're gonna lose because you're so evil. What the fuck? It's like, if you want to free the little girl from the bug room, you must take in the bugs and win me the Holy Grail. It's like, you're making him weak! Why are you so stupid?! It's so weak, it made Lancelot weaker! <laughs> you just, yeah, you made, it where, you made it where it's harder for him to control Lancelot now. You know the fucking berserker?! What's wrong with you, boy?! That old man's very confusing. Very, very stupid man. And like you showed up, I knew to stay clear from it. Oh no, like, it's certainly not up my alley. But I literally, me and Irishman literally said, "Hey, uh, there's two series we need to, we need to get through entirely. Fate was one of them, and we said we're gonna get through it entirely, including to sitting down and playing the playing the visual novel. Uh, we're gonna get through all of Fate, and the other one was the um, uh, vampire lolly that is can uh, one of the Monogatari's, right? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get through the entire Monogatari series." Like, those were the two things that we said that we were going to get down and do. And we have not started Monogatari. And I finally broke down and said, we need to do Fate while we have nothing else to watch. Or it's going to sneak up on us. Oh, yeah. Also, Ren is damn cute in Prisma Ilya. Ren's cute in general, though. It's not up your, it's not up your alley for sure. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really not. I am uh, very partial to my edgy, over-the-top stuff. Yeah. Really am. As a matter of fact, I I pulled Il, uh, I pulled um not Ilya, yes Ilya, yeah I pulled the main character uh, on Fate and I was very upset about it. I was yeah. very upset that I pulled her because it was on a guaranteed summon. Uh, have you watched Shikamaru's Not Just a Cutie? I have not. I have not. Uh, he was considered a failure of a mage. Good, he's a fucking dick. I hope he loses harder. The old man? Yeah, no wonder he's a fucking failure. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you away from every friend that you know. I'm gonna torture you because you're a little girl. Oh, I'm gonna torture you because I'm trying to have you win the fucking war. What the fuck is your problem? At you're, least... you're fighting, you're fighting against bare minimum. Okay, like a waiver's dumb. Yeah. Uh, Waver's a stupid, a stupid. Kid. Waver's a retard to the point. Waver. Alexander the Great straight up told him to shut or, the fuck up multiple times. <laughs> he beat the shit out of him multiple times. Like, okay, yeah. Waver's your comic relief. You are dealing with at least two incredibly competent mages. One that specialized in being an assassin himself. Yeah. He would take out other people during Holy Grail Wars, uh, and the other one is a, just a fucking psychopath. 
Yeah. All right. And he's also teamed up with a guy that has a very capable servant. And you're just going to throw it all away? What the fuck is your deal? Do you even want the grail? I think he just wants to suffer. Yeah. Uh, Davin McTaver for two dollars, bro. I wish I could play Armored Core Six. Looks dope. It is really good. It is cool. I I saw the when the worm first showed up. I was like, damn, that's like that fucking giant worm from the from the Transformers movie. And then I was like, I feel bad that I compared it to a Transformers movie. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, a stubborn boy went in blind. What do you expect? Uh, there's coming in blind, and then there's outright like, no, you are gimping yourself before the battle even starts. Like, yeah, the old man's just an idiot. Like. He's, he, so, he's lived through other Holy Grail Wars, right? Like, he knows what's going on. He's so stupid. Like, it, it's so evil that I'm genuinely convinced. I don't even think he wants to win. Yeah, exactly. That being said, whenever you watch Strang uh, Fate Strange Fake, uh, I really enjoyed it. It, yeah. pissed, it pissed me off whenever, whenever they're like, oh, we might turn it into a series. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean, might? You, yeah, did, you did a quarter of it. Yeah, seriously. Like, yeah, it's super cool. I got to see Gilgamesh and Enkidu fight. I get to see them fight every series, motherfucker! Piece of shit! Because Ginkadu is like the only fucking answer. Yeah, I I Inkadu is specifically there to be a counter to Gil, because, I mean, like, in, in actual stories, he, he was a counter. He was a he was a golem made by the gods, and then whenever, instead of uh, instead of punishing Gilgamesh, and instead he became friends with them, uh, the gods got angry, so they punished Gilgamesh by killing Inkadu. <laughs> There's got to be a trick to this guy. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Here, I, I'm genuine, like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing the moment my hands touch the controller, death. Yep. Uh, wait, Zokon, he didn't expect Berserker's Master to win and fucks him over. That doesn't matter. Then why get involved? Do you want the Grail or not? He doesn't want to win, he's aiming for the fifth war. And then when he loses that, he'll be like, oh no, I was aiming for the sixth war. I was <laughs> aiming for the sixth war. What a bitch. Like, I think he's just a fucking retard. I think he just likes filling people with bugs. Fucking weird fucking freak bug man. I think he just likes hurting little girls, chat. You ever think about that? You ever think you ever think that he's just a weird a weirdo? No. The, it's not gay if it's clay guy? Yeah. <laughs> it's not gay if it's clay guy. Sir, what the? What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, I think it's square and then circle. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. Uh, Eco for dollar. I know one show with a similar mana transfer gimmick, but involves sucking on girls' titties because of magic breast milk. Quasar, I think it was called. Uh, to be fair, I mean, that's just explicitly a fetish thing. To be fair, fate. I mean, fate started off and it was yeah. it was uh it was, it was sex that yeah. did your transfer. Yeah, fate's whole thing was it was just based off a a, a visual novel, a rogue thing, and and fate's always been like edgy as fuck. But that's kind of the appeal. I cannot believe I cannot believe my first instinct was to bring the absolute worst thing possible. I know, right? Uh, God's Crash Man for not for sale for a dollar. Are there any good Fate series beyond Zero? Uh, we're watching Fate Zero right now. I mean, uh, yeah, Fate Stay Night I hear is fine. I, I mean, I hear is good. Uh, uh, Heavenly Fate Delusion Zero. movies. Oh yeah, the Heavens Feel movies. Heavenly Delusion. I, I I reference the other anime. It's a good anime. It's a good anime. It's a good anime. <laughs> I was gonna say, please, please kill me faster so I can I can unmake this. Yeah, uh, villain who doesn't want to win just keeps going. Uh, sounds interesting. This guy just sounds weird, legit. Well, villain who doesn't want to win is like the the president chick from from Kill a Kill, mm -hmm. where she doesn't want to win in that she doesn't want to fuck over Ryoko and and permanently kill her because that's not her end goal. Her end goal is to kill her mom, yep. who is the actual main villain. This guy is like explicitly psychotically sadistically evil. Yeah. And he, like, Fate doesn't have one bad guy, it's multiple different factions fighting over it. Yeah. So he is just the representative of one faction. Yeah, usually it's everyone's a bad guy except for one one person. Yeah. Uh, they're setting up the feels for several for several different characters, but for the most part, everyone in this is, is bad. Yeah. I, I needed to die so that I didn't have to restart yeah. the mission, but it is, it is now occurring to me that it probably would have been faster just to restart the mission. Yeah. Uh, Heaven's Feel is the best mainline route, uh, Shota, that's why I want you to watch it. Uh, we watched the first Heaven's Feel movie. Yeah. I just don't care about Shiro. Like, I don't like his design, which in turn makes me actively dislike his character. Well, to me, he, he's one of those where I don't know what his character's supposed to be. Is he an everyman, or is he, like, a badass in hiding? Like, what is he? He's the main character. Yeah, there you go. I like everyone else. 
Yeah, I, I do actively like everyone else. Yeah, even his friends. Like <laughs> his mom, cool. Uh, his, the girl he likes, she's getting eaten alive by bugs, cool. Uh, the fucking uh, all the servants are cool. Yeah, all the servants. Yeah, all, all the. I, I like a majority of the servants. Like I, I, I never liked Gilgamesh because his entire thing is, oh, I'm overpowered and I'm arrogant, and it's like, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, that's a boring trope. Satsuki, you forgot her name. I did forget her name. Yeah. I listen. The the. It's the, been a while since I watched Kill Kill. The fact that I was able to uh, remember anything, okay. What do you think of Fate's Gilgamesh? Well, he just said he doesn't like him. I don't I think like he's Gilgamesh. Okay. Period. I think he's okay. Uh, I do think it's funny how often they try to pitch him as the answer to a lot of fights. Uh, because a lot of the time, he is kind of held back. It's like, he, Strange Fake was the only time, like, Grant, I've not seen too much Fate stuff. We're, we're only officially starting it with, with Zero, but, like, yeah. I'd see out-of-context stuff and, and bits and pieces like that. And it's always weird, because, like, Strange Fake was the only time you really see how destructive he could get. You know, with the fight with uh, Enkidu. Yeah, uh, fake, strange, fake. Yeah, that was that was a genuinely great fight. Like, it, yeah. Like I, I went into it going like, oh yeah, it's gonna be fun, and then you have a fight scene, and it's just fucking huge. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, that's that's a sexy fucking fight scene. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I didn't <laughs> I didn't like it because he was Gil. I liked it because it was a pretty fight scene. Uh, Zokan explicitly planned to sit out the fourth war until uh, Karaya uh, insisted. Once Gal showed up and it was clear the Grail was on the, the Fritz, he went full in the Tormented Karai instead. So why kidnap the little girl? To be fair, he was already torturing the little girl. He didn't kidnap her. So she, she was born into the family and he was already torturing her. So He's so, just a piece of shit. He's a massive yeah, fucking so piece the little of girl shit. Why are you running him. defense for him, chat? Why are you defending him? He had so, bugs ravage a naked little girl, chat. A very, a very literal child, chat. Why are you running defense? <laughs> Six million peso, man, uh, for five dollars is possibly equivalent to the giant Dark Souls three. Yeah, he's well, fucking weird. I was gonna say we we uh, we literally just need to equip a uh, a specific weapon part, apparently. Yeah, he's saying stun needle. Yeah, I I I, uh, I have it equipped. It's the one on the right. Okay. Uh, man needs to have some fun. Come on. <laughs> he was taking Sakura's mana. Like I said, like everything about the old man, it's like. Why set out the opportunity for one war expecting the next one? Because, like, what if they kill you? Right. I mean, I I understand, like, yeah, there's got to be multiple wars because that, that's literally just the series in general. Yeah, but The wars never end. But you've already been chosen to be a part of it. Very, uh... I think I missed Jet. <laughs> ah! <laughs> You know, liking a character doesn't mean approving everything they do. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. You approve of the bug pit. Yeah. You want to swim in the bug pit. You approve of pedophiles, chat. You approve of pedophile bugs. You approve of pedophiles, chat. You fucking pedophile. You you approve of, of throwing little girls in pits full of bugs. Yeah, the problem is I'm having trouble determining when, I, when I'm allowed to attack. <laughs> I know, right? Dokkan always wanted Sakura to be the master for the fifth uh, Holy Grail War. Karaya appearing was just a fun coincidence, so he decided to fuck with him in the fourth Holy Grail War funsies. Karaya was never expected to win. Not gonna lie, that's making me think he's more annoying than anything. Like, that was, when my, he's just, that was like, my chance to attack. Like, when, when he's, like, obnoxiously evil old man to the point it fucks him over, that's funny. When it's like, ooh, but I actually am, like, waiting for the fifth war, that just makes you obnoxious. Fuck you. Yeah. Uh, Fate, Extra CCC, and technically the finale of FGO Babylonia are other places where he goes all out. Uh, oh, uh, Gil. I mean, to be fair, he does have to go all out in Babylonia. Uh, a, because he's Castro Gil, and it, as such, is a brooch! Uh, it's okay to admit the author didn't really think it through. That's the worst part! He probably did! He probably thought it, thought it very well through, okay? It's just the fact that fuck the old man, he's an asshole! He is an asshole. The bugs are the real victims here. That is... <laughs> Go ahead, bitch. Come at me. I don't disagree there. Zalkin's a massive dick. He's a massive dick, and, uh... What, what is it? One of the Fate franchises goes out of their way to be, like, the big... Uh, a big change that they do is, um... Maybe it was, maybe it was actually... Maybe, maybe it was actually the plot of Fate... Fate Go. I'm, I'm not sure. But they actively go out of their way to fuck Zokin over whenever he's young. Yeah. Yeah! Oh my god, holy shit, Let's look at that. It. It's literally just shoot him, shoot him in the face. Ow! Ow! Please! I'm stuck in there! Sorry, boys, I lost my cool for a second. So yeah, this fight is all about just... 
This fight's just break the shield. Okay. Where'd he go? Chat, where'd the fucking snake go? Uh. Uh, Coromina gets shine in zero in Heaven's Field. He makes quick work as Oka and his assassin. That does raise the question. Like, like I said, I, I I am brand new to to official fate shit of like, hey, you know, knowing about the franchise and lore. Does the old man die and come back? Because like, he's one of those where he, he shows up. There's a lot up. of reincarnation in fate, yeah. even if it's not technically reincarnation. Yeah, he shows up and it's like, why would he not be one of the first you'd want to kill? Where he's like, he's, he's a dick. He's explicitly evil and a dick, and, like, he would absolutely target your family. Not you, your family. So, like, why not just kill him? Yeah. And a lot of characters in Fade do share that mindset. You have the dude where he doesn't kill servants, he targets the masters, because that's the quickest way to end it. Yeah, you kill the, you kill the master, the, the servant dies, and you don't even have to deal with fighting the fucking... Yeah. Go ahead, bitch, fight me. You don't even have to deal with fighting the actual hard part. So that makes me wonder if, like, the old man has, like, some kind of, like, measure in place to counter that. Probably not. He does seem like an idiot. Yeah. I, I want the first Holy Grail, uh, Grail War adapted because I think Solomon is so fucking cool. <laughs> I think Solomon is actually so fucking cool. No. Uh, fate is everything you cannot escape. Itsurugi is great at that. I'm sure when we get to him, it'll be cool. Uh, we might, Unless he's the guy with the sniper rifle. He might be the guy with the sniper rifle. I don't remember their actual names. I just remember their archetypes. Uh, there's dickbag priest, uh, guy with gun, uh, old man, waver. <laughs> Salcon hates his family. All right, if the entire... He, okay, he does hate his family, though. That is true. If the entire motivation of Zalcon is just throwing stuff at his kids at the worst <laughs> time possible, I will accept the old man and love him. He, okay, where where so. it's literally just like he, you know, he he's in a in a meeting planning the the next strategy of like here's how we're gonna win the war. You need sir? to summon this guy. Sir? You need to summon sir? this guy. You need to summon this guy. And his son like pipes up to say something and just throws a bottle at his head. He, even it, if it, even if it's a really good idea, just it is compounded because the guy that he's oh having fight his war for him was an outcast from his family. He, he yeah. actively left left the family. Yeah. So it would make too much sense. It's Rugi is the main character of Zero, so he's the guy with the sniper rifle, right? Yeah, he's the guy with the sniper rifle. Okay. Okay. Who's the who's the who's the guy with the cross? Who's the guy that gets taken over by um the one Russian spirit? The red, well, sorry, one Russian servant and fate. Go. Uh, Shiro quite literally has trauma as a kid, and the reason why he is, I want to be a hero thing. Okay, is he we've been over this before, Chad. And the roots in the visual novel combat his ideal. We're, we've been over this before, Chad. Just because you have trauma does not make. You being a bitch less annoying to me. I hate Kite Runner. That guy has a lot of trauma. Yeah. I hate Kite Runner. The worst part. The worst part was in class. They're like, well, you have to take into account. Like, you have to take into account what he went through. You know, it, it makes sense. God damn it. It makes sense uh, if you if you think about it. And it's, I don't care. <laughs> he he watched he watched his buddy get get the shit kicked out of him and get raped and then he watched the same thing happen to his son I don't like him he's a bad person <laughs> please free me yeah a sniper and uh fucking hand cannon that could stop an elephant okay yeah he's that guy he's that guy who's the uh the oh it takes, more than, it takes yeah. more than one to beat him it's the white haired chick's uh husband yeah. yeah yeah that guy she gonna die is Rasputin in fate yes I think it's Rasputin that, that takes control over the cross guy I think it's Rasputin uh, Shiro needs to be loved more, and also him in Prisma, uh, Prisma Ilya is a badass. He's, he is younger in Prisma Ilya, I do know that. He is also he is also Ilya's master, I believe. Yeah. Uh, the point of the story was for Shiro to become a Kitsuragi wanted but couldn't. Fuck. Well, he needs to show it. Show it. Bitch. They, they, they let Shiro be the fucking embodiment of, of Muramasa, bro. Fucking Muramasa, and it's such a it's such a fucking makes me dislike Muramasa because of it. How the fuck do you do that? In Prisma Ilya, he's her brother. Oh, okay, but he's also her master, right? <laughs> Not in a weird sex way, just like in a in an actual way, yeah. Like fate way. Yeah, in a fate way. Look, bros, they took bros' cheeks, bro. Yeah, shit. I have uh, begun to forget the lock on which is unfortunate yeah. chatty oh thank you chatty I'm sure you will keep me alive and safe I need you to look at me yeah. thank you there you go fuck it up 
Uh, this sounds so much like uh, Thanos would write because people did not listen to his dumb ideas about um, population control and die kind of thing. <laughs> I'm, not sure in what, I'm not sure in what way. Uh, the old man threw his other son's wife into the bug pit to die as punishment for giving birth to Shinji. He really hates his family. <laughs> Which at that right, point... Say, oh. <laughs> it's like, well, at that point, kill the old man. He is old. You are strong. Yeah. I think part of... Uh, I think the thing that I was talking about before, I think part of Fate Go is one of the characters stops him from becoming a mage, but I, I might be getting that mistaken. You know? That is entirely possible. I'm very iffy on Fate lore. It's very fun. <laughs> it's very fun to talk about Fate lore. Um... Uh, even if it's just because I get to talk about history in a different setting. Uh, still. After Kiryu after, uh, ran away, Zoki made a good marriage for his other son. Unfortunately, his son's wife gave birth to Sinji, so his punishment Zoki threw her into a bug pit to die. Because uh, Muramasa shows up in Shimosa and is actually cool. I'm sure, but... Hold up. Eh. Yeah, Muramasa. Yeah, I'm sure, but he also has to share, uh, share screen time with Musashi, who is just better, because she has tits and I love her. Okay? Yeah. Isn't the old man the bugs? It doesn't matter. Fireworks. That makes it so much worse! Because the bugs are crawling inside of a little girl! That is true. Jesus, fuck. Uh, Zokon is half the issues with why the Grail War never works. That is true. <laughs> it's like someone who is so oh, comedically fuck. evil hey. that they just, like, cause suffering invisible. to cause suffering. Yeah. Chat, why is Solomon so fucking powerful, huh? Can, I, can someone explain that to me? I mean, I understand he has the Ten Rings of God and everything, yeah. but, like... Yeah, it's like a biblical story that's well known, yeah. Why are you so strong, Chad? He uh, fucking bricked up. Shiro puts others for himself to the point self-destructive. He is then confronted by his future self that embodies all his ideals over regrets his dreams of becoming a hero. Is it Muramasa? Because fuck him. I need you to, I need you to come down. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit, why would you bring him down over there? Uh, I don't know if I've asked you before thoughts on Michael Bay. Does he deserve all the hate or not? I honestly don't think so. Like, you can not like his movies, because it's definitely a style where you're either okay with it or you're, mm -hmm. like, holding your head in agony. Oh, Archer Shiro? Okay. But it's definitely one of those of, like, at least he genuinely has fun making that movies. That's a fucking huge... I took damage from that. I know, right? The, the animation did not reach me. I was significantly out of it, actually. <gasps> I don't want to die like this, Poppy. Please. Because uh, he also has domain over the 12 demon rings. Oh, okay. I mean, sure, but, like, who else was summoned in the first Holy Grail War? Because, like, holy fuck. Uh, imagine, imagine you're, like, fucking, uh, imagine, like, fucking, uh, Marie. You know, Marie Anto Antoinette or, uh, uh, Elizabeth Bathory. And you get summoned to the first Holy Grail War and your opponent is fucking Solomon. Yeah. Ah! No pain, no game was great. Uh, I never saw that one, but I liked 13 Hours. I thought that was genuinely pretty good. Solomon is a beast, literally. That's not Solomon, that's uh, that's Goetia. Uh, the real bugs were the friends we made along the way. I need you to stop being bug. You know, you know, you know it's bad when the literal serial killer actually yeah, has, like... Fuck. God damn, yeah. shit, fuck! Like, the, the literal serial killer has, like, more of a consistent no. logic, where, like, he just likes to kill. Yeah, yeah. He, he just likes kill. Yeah, but he did also get the perfect servant for being a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Damn, I need to do that again. I ain't making it out of here, homie. I'm going to be real. Damn. You can do it. Damn, bro. Oh, I shot the wrong one. Have you watched Bad Boys 2? Not in a while, but yeah, that was a fun one. I liked that one. Mm -hmm. All right, now. Nah. You fucking sick man. All right. Well, I don't think uh, I don't think God loves me anymore. <laughs> Solomon's a grand caster. Of course, he's strong. Yeah, he was he was made to beat a beast, which may have been himself, which yeah, is kind of odd. Was the grand caster? All right, he took himself out of the out of the pool. Yeah. Uh, Chunky Coon for a dollar. Uh, howdy, Lolan. Showed up and having a fun with Baldur's Gate three and watching your fun streams. Got any advice for someone who has a hard time accepting change? Recent life events that make me. Uh, into Desmond from Smiling Friends being depressed about the future. I mean, change is change. Yeah. yeah. Which like, is them buying in the 17 oh, okay. Yeah. It's like, it, it, it just is what it is, you know. Yeah, I mean, you can't stop change. You just kind of yeah. gotta learn gotta learn to adopt. Yeah. You just roll with it. Yeah. You roll with it. Uh, like, it's, it's hard to even give advice. It's like, yeah, I've never really had too much of an issue with it. Nah, not at all. Like, yeah. I'm just that cool, chat. <laughs> 
Uh, not enough for dollar. No matter what you say about Prisma Alia, there's one redeeming factor. You forgot to mention, Ira's uh, VO is back. Does it make you pee pee hard, chat? Is that what you're trying to say? I bet it makes you pee pee hard, chat. You fucking disgust me. Uh, I'll suck your fucking dick, worm fuck! <laughs> Sorry, uh, I kind of lost my cool for a When you summon with a catalyst system, tries to match you up with the most compatible servant to you specifically, which is why uh, Rionosuke and Gals are a perfect match. That does make sense. It's like yeah. one is a child murderer and the other is a child murderer. It's like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there there is that. Um, but at the same time, like, you can also channel and try to get specific servants. Like, uh, what's his face that got Saber in Fate Extra literally just has a, a piece of Excalibur. Yeah. And that's why he's able to fucking channel Saber. Do worms even have dicks? I can find it if it lets me win. <laughs> What if you wanted to get paid, but the game said kill this mecha dune worm? Damn, you right. How much money you got? You got four million on your person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you suck good dick for four million. <laughs> Have fun with your funeral. That was Shiro on Stay Night. No, it wasn't. Which one? I don't, I don't, I'm not 100% with what he's talking about. I don't know either. I'm not paying fuck, goddamn it. I don't know how that hurt, whore. Oh. Preparing to fire a real uh, Shiro had the scabbard, that's why he couldn't die. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, in um in uh in Zero, they have the they have a piece of Excalibur. It might yeah, not be Excalibur, it might be Caliburn. Um They have a chunk of Arthur's sword, which is why they could summon her. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Come down on me, worm. What's your favorite fate character? Uh, I love Suzaku Gozen. Uh, I love Musashi. I like Muramasa himself. Um, I already said Suzaku Gozen. There's several. Oh, okay, I'm on the range for it that time. Nice. Uh, there's a lot of fake characters that I like, and most of them are servants. I don't really like the actual characters themselves. I'll, I'll be real. Yeah. Uh, most of them. Most of them are in service to just get a servant on the field, and then I can like them. I love Lancelot. I like Lan uh, I like Berserker Lancelot specifically. It was Avalon, the scabbard of Excalibur, in Zero. No, it was a chunk of the sword. It, it might. It might have been a chunk of the scabbard. I'm not 100. percent Yeah. It wasn't the full thing, because that's why... It definitely wasn't the visible. blade. Yeah. Because it was decorative. Shiro had Excalibur's uh, Scabbard Avalon. That's why he could summon Saber. Well, we're talking about, we're talking about, we're talking about Zero. Zero. We're talking about Zero. Sh uh, Shiro's not in Zero. I mean, at least not where we are. He doesn't have a piece of Excalibur as a whole sheet. Talking about Zero. We're not talking about that. <laughs> also, it's not. it wouldn't be the whole the whole fucking sheath of it either. Uh, anyways, because it's too small. It's comedically small, actually, chat. They're just talking about Stay Night. They're just talking about Stay Night. How do you like Quetzal Carl? I like Quetzal Carl. She's cool. Ah, fuck me, chat. I have to land two more of those. Einsberg family had the scabbard, and IRL was tasked with hanging on to it, I promise. I don't believe you, chat. But I specifically remember it wasn't the scabbard. It was a chunk of the sword. It was like a piece of it. Well, I, I Unless they were referring to the scabbard as a piece of the sword. Uh, very possible. I mean, what they say and what I see are two different things. It was it was, uh, it was blue and colorful, which is why I'm willing to believe it's, it's the scabbard. It's just people say Shiro. They keep saying Shiro. Which he hasn't been in the in night. Uh, I'm sorry, not yet. He hasn't been in... Oh my fucking god, holy shit, motherfucker. Get off my dick. It's the sheath used in Zero to summon Saber. Did you watch Zero? Yes, yes, we're, we're actively watching it, yes. That's why we're confused, because you're bringing up Shiro. I was going to say, you keep fucking... Damn. Yeah. All fucking right. little cunt. 10,000 damage. Really? Yeah. In one hit, chat? I don't know about that. Kitsurugi Maybe, uh... had Avalon, and after the Grail War, he implanted it into Shiro to save his life. Mm. Shiro gets in Fate's tonight. Yeah, we're talking about we're talking about Zero. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fate, fate Zero. Yeah, I was gonna say you do you have to do it from the beginning. Yeah, okay. You have you have what you need though. It's literally just hit him in the mouth with the uh, the uh, R one. Uh, it's in the end of zero. He gives it to a kid Shiro. That must be why people are confused because yeah. we're not there yet. Yeah, we are we are currently going through zero. So you going? No, Shiro has it. It's my brother in Christ. He doesn't show up until apparently the fucking tail end of it. Oh god. Fate Zero had the exact same scabbard to summon uh, Artoria, and it was literally the same scabbard. Kitsurugi then implanted the scabbard into Irisville to keep her alive, then gets transferred to Shiro. You think you're more an Apocalypse or Apoc getting summoned by a piece of the round table? I haven't watched Apoc. 
Like I said, I, I specifically remember the dialogue was it's Makes a piece sense, of. So she, the, did, she did break the round table. Yeah. But I, I specifically remember the dialogue is we have a piece of Excalibur, yeah, but not they, the whole thing. Yeah, the subtitle, the subtitle said we have a, we have a piece of Exc Excalibur, not the whole thing. Uh, the entire thing was, yeah, we have a we have a piece of, of Arthurian lore so we can actually summon yeah. the quote-unquote most powerful saber, my yeah. ass. I'm willing to believe it is the, the scabbers. It's the fact of, like, people are saying, like, no, it's, it's you know, Shiro has that. It's like, we're not talking about Shiro. Yeah. Shiro has not been in the series yet. <gasps> Ow. It's literally in episode one. They refer to it as a piece. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they did uh, refer to it as a piece of the sword. Is fate, is fate good? It sounds stupid. Well, whenever you look at people in chat that can't actually keep a conversation straight, I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure it does make you think that everyone that is that likes fucking uh, fate is a retard. So, <laughs> who's the most powerful saber? Not saber. <laughs> yeah. Not Artoria, as far as I'm concerned. Bad translation. No, I assume they're the official subs. It might have just been a thing of they were, they meant it as it's a piece of the sword because you need everything, including yeah, the say, scabbard. I was going to say, the, the scabbard is a part of the sword. Yeah. That might have been what they're referring to. It's just people name-dropping Shiro was what was confusing us because it's like, dude, he doesn't show up yet. Mm -hmm. We're literally talking about piece of, we're, we're talking about episode one. Yeah. He's a literal scabbard of a sword. Lolin shows this piece of the sword. Yeah, when don't you say blame me. Blame the anime. Well, it's like when you say piece of the sword, you seem literally a piece of the metal. It's like, yeah, a piece of the blade. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she would have mentioned extra when talking about uh, MC with the piece of Excalibur. Nah, someone someone else brought uh, brought up extra about something earlier. Killer! It's the male Artoria. He actually chases beast out of humanity. But why is he not that good, though? Uh, Musashi? Uh, Musa yeah, actually, yeah. Musashi is the Grand Saber, if I remember correctly. Oh, God. Metal sheath for a metal metal sword. How bizarre! You see, that right there is why people think Fate fans are retarded. Because yeah. of comments like that. Yeah. Wrong. The piece was from the pommel, so part of the fucking sword. It really, like this is like, I brought up before of like, how would you feel if you had breakfast? Like this is what we mean. Yeah, it's, lit it's literally it's literally like, all all fucking two hundred. It's all parts of the sword. It's all two hundred people in chat. They didn't have their breakfast. We don't have a Grand Saber yet? I thought it was Musashi. Uh, of course, Arthur, uh, Authoria would be OP if she goes full power. She has Excalibur for damn sake. Yeah, Excalibur's abilities, they said, like, if you had the whole thing, it's pretty fucking broken. Yeah, well, it, it actively heals you, uh, it keeps you young. Yeah. I'm pretty sure her armor is, like, a separate magic thing. Yeah. The sword is my dick, and the sheath is Artoria. Yeah, but uh, Shiro gets the fuck that one, so. How good is this game? Worth it when I'm a broke bitch? I'd say it's very worth it. It's very fun. Especially if you liked the other Armor Core games. It's fucking great. Yeah. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I, I pwned it off on you, Lolly, but the yeah. wall was about to have a hole. Yeah. Excalibur also is a nuke. Excalibur is a nuke. Where is he? Metal sheets have existed, uh, as do wooden even cloth sheets. But the point is, when you hear piece of the sword, you assume literally a piece of the blade. Yeah. Because they didn't describe it as the, the sheath of the sword. At least not what we saw. They literally described it as a piece. So it's like, alright, a piece of the blade. Which makes sense. It's like a thousand year old sword. You would assume it to be broken into pieces. Most likely. We only have archer, lancer, rider, assassin, and caster. Hmm. So, Lancer's Romulus. Don't remember Ryder. Wait, no, I might have that backwards. No, yeah, Lancer's Romulus. That's but that's the only one I got actually. Uh, eh. Super Orion. I'm gonna cut yeah. Shiro. Nice. Lancer Artoria is booba. Lancer Artoria do have fat boobs. Gabbers can be replaced. Blade pieces are forever. That's yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's there true. you go. Debate is settled. <laughs> Debate is settled. You're all stupid. You all, all did not, in fact, done. have breakfast. You're all done. The Lord Pan Excalibur is schizo schizophrenic. Oh, absolutely. I mean, in, in like, real history, it's, it's fucking fucky-wucky. Especially, it gets worse whenever you bring into account, like, other other things. Like, Big Booba Artoria is uh, is only Big Booba Artoria because she's from, a, she's from a different part of Artoria's life where she wasn't allowed to rest, if I remember correctly. Like, uh, whenever she gets run through by Mordred... Wait no, that that's a that's an actual Camelot storyline, but I, probably 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 the same thing. 
uh, whenever she gets run through by Mordred, uh, and it's Wayne, I think, is, is tasked with uh, uh, bringing Excalibur to the Lady in the Lake. Uh, instead of instead of actually doing it, uh, he just says, "Nah, because then you'll pass on to the next world." I refuse. <laughs> um, so she just keeps uh, she stays alive and gets uh, more warmongery. Man, I'll just talk for uh, man. I'll just hate for Lois so dumb and over the top. Man, I'll talk about how dumb Shiro is. <laughs> yeah, he deserves everyone, it. Everyone else is cool. Shiro's a cuck. He deserves the hate. Like the the little bit I saw in the movie we watched, it's like he's just kind of there. Mm-hmm. Every- not even there. He's <laughs> oh wait no in, in the movie yeah yeah in Heavensfield yeah in Heavensfield he was literally just there while we focus on all the other cool stuff happening. Yeah, I want that guy's railgun. I want to do that. Right. It's like, hey, dude, you're uh, useful and helpful. Maybe let me have both the stunner and the boom boom, please. Archer, Super Orion, Lancer's Romulus, Riders, Noah, and Arcade. Okay, I haven't seen Noah. Uh, assassins are first Hassan, and then he had he got replaced by uh, uh, Tuska Lapoka. Is that the one that I pulled on JP? Casters are Solomon. Uh, he didn't take it. Merlin. Uh, that's on a technicality. And several others. Okay. All right, we might have to whittle down the last bit of the health alone. Because I think I, I think rail guy got I, I think the guy with the rail gun bounced. Most big anime protagonists get the cuck gene. They really do. Yeah. And it, it's their idea of like an everyman. And it's like gonna, eh. I was gonna say like he's he's really fucking annoying. Uh, I mean, fuck. Even in Heaven's Feel, you have Sakura getting like beat up by her brother, and yeah. Shiro goes, "No, stop!" And I was like. You could just fucking beat him to a pulp. You could do literally anything. You could kill him. Shiro, kill him. Shiro, kill him. Shiro, kill him. I mean, that's the thing. In this setting, it's actually not that unreasonable. No, it's not. They, he, he fucking gets into a fight with them later on anyways. Yeah. Like... And then fucking uh, Medusa gets jobbed because it's fucking Medusa. Yeah. Him not killing that guy led to a girl dying. Yeah. Uh, why are journals okay with Boulder Gate 3 sex uh, content, but not Jap sex content? Because they're journals. Yeah, because they're journals. Uh, they're journals, and, uh, I mean, there's always a double standard. Hey, Shiro gets mad hose. I hate him. I like that there's a bad ending where Ilya has Berserker break Shiro. Just enough to not kill him, to have him as a doll, and later in uh, Heaven's Field, she said she was gonna. She was just goofing around. I'm just goofing. I'm just goofing I'm just, around. I'm just new boot goofing. She clicks her little, her fucking Uggs together. <laughs> You know, Shiro's in the fucking, like, straight jacket catatonic. TDF, Shinji is Shiro's friend before, before the story. Ow. Which one's which, which one was Shinji? Describe him to me. Was he the one with the gun? Well, I think he's I think he's the guy they're talking about. Like, the, the asshole. The one that we saw. Is he the one with the gun? Because if that's the case, it doesn't matter if he's your friend. Fuck him! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, you're talking about, yeah, Sakura's brother? Yeah, uh, I, I do not give a fuck. Yeah. You think I won't beat the shit out of a friend over my principles? You got you got me fucked up, chat. That's the only way you can call yourself a fucking man. Your principles take place over or take precedent notes over everything, alright? Since he was in America, how quickly would he get shot? He should have gotten shot sooner, honestly. <laughs> Ugh. Shinji has blue hair and tries forcey forcey fun time all the girls. Oh, okay. So he's worse, chat. I'm just goofing around as Shiro's being used as her sex doll. <laughs> Have you watched Drifters? Not in a while, but that was a fun one. Yeah. If you watch Space Captain Harlock? That, yes. was, that was also a case of like, man, that was like seven years ago. It's also a, a major classic. I assume you could be friends with literally anyone's a goddamn curse. Right. Get in the woman, Shinji. All right, Shinji doesn't have any issues getting in the woman. Yeah. I, I do know that for a fact. I'm sorry. Ow, ow, ow. I'm being wombo combo by the fucking worm. <laughs> this is Shinji, and it said that before the story started, when he hit Sakura, Shiro did beat the shit out of him. Why didn't he do it there? Yeah, why didn't, Why not again? Yep. Why not again? Also, I'm playing the V in that uh, he's being influenced by Zoken's insanity. Just saying, we should wipe out the Zokin lineage. Fucking hate that trope. The MC doesn't kill someone that really deserves it, only for people to die because of it. Fucking Heavenly Delusion dipped into that a little bit. Not gonna lie. Oh, oh, yeah. And it made us sad. Where 
Dude. Like that. Okay. Whenever I read Heavenly Delusion, because I read it, I read it whenever uh, they announced that the the anime was happening. Yeah. Uh, or sorry, before they announced the anime was happening, and uh, I went ahead and read through it, and I got to the part that the anime ends on, and I was fucking like foaming at the mouth, angry, and I was like, this guy, this guy, just raped a kid. Okay. Physically, for several days. For yeah, for several days. Physically, uh, the the body is fucking uh, the older 20, sister, like twenty, like twenty something. Yeah. Uh, but mentally, and the thing that turns him on is the idea that it is a small little boy that is inside her. Yeah. So he rapes her and forces her to watch herself get raped in the mirror while he is doing it. Yeah. And Literally then taunting him the whole time. Then the other main character finds him and is going to fucking kill him. Yeah, beat his ass to death. Beat him to death. And she goes, no, don't kill him. And I was like, what the fuck do you mean? I don't care. Your principles take take fucking precedent over this. You rip his fucking head off and you deal with the fallout from there. Yeah. I don't care what she has to say. I don't. Yeah. I don't fucking care. Well, he, he's a rapist. She's not the first woman that he's yeah. raped and I, I done thought, experiments I was only about to bring it up. It's like, it, he does even worse shit. You find out he's a full-blown fucking serial killer who fed people, you know, fed women. He raped two monsters. So it's like, more people are going to die because you did not kill him. Yeah. Literally. I don't think Shinji ever succeeds in getting anyone killed except for himself. That's for the best. Just, just kind of a piece of shit. Uh, what the hell are you watching? Heavenly Delusion. It's a genuinely yeah, great it's series a, up yeah, until a, that moment. Then yeah, it's yeah. like, man, that's fucking dumb. It's just incredibly fucking annoying because it's like, it's like, no, no. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't care what you're fucking basing it on. Like people like that need to be erased from the fucking gene pool. Yeah. People will understand if you kill them. Yeah. Especially since Heavenly Delusion, it, it's not like it's, you know, advertising itself as like a kid's show. It's, no, a it's lot hardcore. Of, a lot of people die, and there's a lot of very fucking hardcore shit that happens. I mean, fuck. Uh, they had rape! They, I mean, yeah, they've, they've had rape several times. Um, even, there's even sec uh, sections like the, the one uh, the one beast that uh, makes the one of the main characters hallucinate, and yeah. she, she hallucinates uh, her fucking limbs getting eaten. Yeah, being torn apart slowly by monsters. Yeah, that shit. Uh, yeah. You know... Once again, you know, I'll bring it back to, you know, because uh, relevant for, for the new video, you know, the fucking City Hunter. Ryo doesn't kill that much in, in the fucking series, but a lot of it's because he quite literally doesn't need to. Like, whenever he, he shoots a gun out of a guy's hands, because it's pretty much over. He's fucked. He's going to jail. Or if he really does not like you and you piss him off, he'll shoot you in the head. You know, it, it never makes a game of it, and, and never is there a case where he left someone alive where they went on to kill somebody else later. Yeah. You know, like, that's how you prevent that trope from being frustrating, you know? A lot of people talk about it as, like, the Batman rule thing. Like, hey, the more Bruce does not kill the Joker, the more people die. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time when you read a Batman story, you know, it's self-contained, and the idea is, well, once they're locked up in Arkham, that's it, it's said and done. You know, it's not meant to, to stretch on forever and have the long continuity, but that's just the issue with Western comics in general. You know, when you don't do that, and you are able to just be like, well, it's over and said now... No kill rules make perfect sense, yeah. you know, and, and situations where you don't want to kill make sense. It's when it gets so over the top that it's like that, where it's like, dude literally committed rape and psychologically tortured somebody. Yeah. What are you trying to prove? You're not proving anything. Like, uh, it is the equivalent of those those boys that kidnapped, uh, mutilate, uh, mutilated that one girl in Japan. Yeah. Like, the fact that they are, are out in the open and like have twitter accounts and shit like that and have the and have the opportunity to whine about being to, shit on to, yeah to, to whine about people bitching that they they're free men and we shouldn't live in a world where that's a possibility yeah and in in a fictional setting where people die for literally just living their lives as normal people the fact that you let a uh what is essentially a child rapist a murderer and just overall terrible fucking person live for a any, violent psychopath for anything yeah uh, whatsoever is no bueno it, 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 is, it is no bueno I don't think I don't know if it's for forced drama I honestly don't think it is it's it, just fucking frustrating yeah I don't know uh, I have the moral high ground too bad the high ground's a mountain of corpses yeah seriously a mountain of raped little girls uh, you're just proving that you uh, should be fed, uh, fed through a wood chipper yeah yeah uh, it's worth it to understand why Kiriko warns against the guy being killed. Yeah. Even then, it's like, dude, it's it's just an annoying trope. 
one of the guys who killed Junkos on Twitter and cries about not being able to be a normal person online. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Uh, at least Fate Extra CCC Shinji's a lot cooler. Is he the one that summons Koi in? Oh wait, no, I don't think she was summoned. Oh. I don't think she's. I think she's just the fucking person that led a cult. How far to zero are you? Uh, like episode four? Yeah, we're not very far. Yeah, we. That's why we, we were being confused when like people were bringing up like, well, what about Shinji. this? Yeah, what about this? There we go. Ooh. He's dead. Uh, yeah, I just uh, we we're on like episode four. We got past the we're. I think we finished the episode after the dockyard fight with Lancelot and them, where everybody meet meet up for the first time. I think we just finished that. Yeah. Uh, they need to prove uh, they need to prove that some people are too weak to do what's needed and some people suffer because of it. I wouldn't even describe it like that because like that that's such an Ed's Lord way to think about because people don't know what they'll do in a situation. It's the fact that there is a scale of morality yeah. in a story. There is. Oh, Anyone absolutely. that says every, otherwise, every story will end up having its own like self-contained scale morality. Yeah. Like, anyone that says it's not true, no, you're being a fucking moron trying to reinvent the wheel. There is a scale of morality where people are supposed to get what they deserve in the end. You know, the good are reward, the bad are punished. Because if you try anything else, you end up looking like a massive fucking edgelord. You know, there, there are occasions you where you... annoy people. There, there are occasions where you can do subversions, you know, my subversions where the good guy doesn't get to win, the, ki the killer gets to walk away. You know, some people like that stuff. Horror is all about, like, well, what if everything went wrong? But... There's too many times where people think that's all you do, and it gets to the point of, no, people need to get what they deserve. You know, it's, you know, it, it's, it's morality tales, it's old folk tales. Like people need to get what they deserve. So if you want to go as far as having a character rape another, by the end they need to have their dick cut off. Yeah. Like you, you set that there. That is an absurd evil that needs to be met with another with an absurd reaction. Yeah. You know, it's physics. Every uh, every action's met with an equal and opposite reaction. Even even in the same series, just a couple episodes prior, they even set up that same type of, of recompense. Yes. Because there's the guy who was held in the breeding camp. Yes. Uh, and he 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 gets his family back and it's all happy and everyone's you know, it's all it's all a really good time, right? And he sacrifices having that good time. To in order to murder. get to, in, in order to get to revenge on the guy that outed him and his wife and got her killed. Yeah. So literally, the guy that literally raised his son while he was gone, he murders him in front in front of his son. With takes a, his son with a buzzsaw. Yeah, with a buzzsaw takes this takes his son and then goes out and is like, "I'm gonna take you. We're gonna start our life anew." Yeah. And it's like, yeah, because that guy's a piece of shit. He got. He got this guy's wife fucking killed because he's a he's a goddamn coward. He got what he fucking deserved. Yeah, it's dark, but he got what he earned. Yeah, he got a life for a life. Yeah, life for a life. A life for a life. Especially since there was no reason for him to snitch. No, nope. they almost got yeah, out. It was just that he was a coward. It was just he was a coward. Some characters don't get justice. Uh, some stay broken. But that's still such a faggot way of looking at it. Yeah. Like he's he's not he's not staying broken. He he fucking. They had the chance to kill him, and the girl that got raped said said no. And it's yeah. like, it's like, listen, I don't care if you hate me for the rest of my life. Uh, he's a rapist. I'm yeah. I'm doing this for the betterment of society. And the best part is, this isn't even like a controversial statement. A lot of fans of the series outright said, "Yeah, that was a I, that seen, was a moment I've that seen was not great." Several people that get to that moment and they're like, "Yeah, I dropped it because I think it's stupid now." And it's yeah. like, yeah, like I, I I don't blame you. Like fuck it. it at, at least with Berserk, the entire rest of the series is dedicated to fucking that guy over. Yeah. Fucking that guy over, and the challenge is not, well, am I doing the right thing? At least in the sense of, is it cool to kill Griffith? It's that, hey, maybe you're letting that get yeah. to your head too much. Yeah. It's the fact of, like, but how can you, because he's literally the Antichrist. Yeah, right. You know? Why did she say not to? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter. We don't know. Doesn't matter. Uh... We're just misunderstood. Let's stuck, uh, suck Steven's dick. We're just misunderstood. Now let me yeah. rape your sister. Like, it, it, it is a thing where, for some reason, people think, like, it. it's just, like, it, it makes your main character look better if they're like, no, I don't even need to. It's like, no. You look at a guy like Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Mm -hmm. Dude is undebatably a good guy. He's a hero. He will protect little kids. He will save the innocent. He is a good guy. And he will murder a motherfucker in a second because he doesn't he, he knows 
Yeah. You know, he knows. It's like, you're not going to fucking change. You know, you are a piece of shit that wants to victimize others. You think your life is so fucking important that you you deserve to take food from a little kid. Go in the fucking ground. Yeah. You know, there the, some of, some ends of Fist of the North Star are specifically him torturing villains that did fucked up things. Like, yeah. you had the, the general guy. The general guy who was kidnapping women all across the wasteland to turn them into sex slaves. Yeah. And he, he used the move on him to literally make the skeleton in his body rip out of yeah. his... Rip out of him because uh, he hated him so much. Go to the arena and and do arena fights and kill everybody in the arena. <laughs> okay. Because we're cool chat. Okay, well not everybody, just the the one that I haven't done yet. Yeah. The, the ones that just unlocked. Yeah. There we go. Versus next. So these guys. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be next, and then they'll unlock the one right below it. Yeah. Hey, you're fighting cataract. Wait. Uh oh. <laughs> but guts said he's sorry. No, he didn't. No, he never did. And he should never do it. If anything, Guts explicitly, like... Even Guts post-getting the party, he's a vicious motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, Base Kinshiro? Yeah, like, he's fucking awesome. You know, I, I know a guy brought up with, with Rio. it's like, oh, you know, stop or I'll shoot. It's not even that. He shoots the gun out of your hand to show, I did that because I was nice. Yeah. Try, try it again, motherfucker. Because that happens. There are guys who, who don't get the lesson and he fucks them over. Uh, beginning of the series, he explicitly kills multiple people that piss him off. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we might need to go back to, to good old tried and true. We don't need shit. <laughs> but we missed the stun missile. We don't need shit. Uh, I think a great, uh, I think a great example of this is Wolfwood from Trigun. You see how much he's changed since he turned, uh, his life around? Yeah. Uh, after he, he changed the new leaf. You see him kill rapists without hesitation, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you also have, like, Kenshin from Roroni Kenshin, where he's explicitly like, you know, oh, I want to be a pacifist, I don't want to kill anymore. But that's because of his own personal history. Is like, you know, I did a lot of really, really bad shit, and I want to change. Yeah. Even then, multiple, multiple times. The first chance he's given to drop it and, and kill somebody, he's like, I mean. This time's okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll make an exception. Yeah. Uh, heaven, uh, heavenly, uh, or heaven's paradise, or hell's paradise. My bad. Yeah, hell's paradise. Uh, hell's paradise. The guy's like, no, I'm a pacifist. I'm a pacifist for my, uh, for my, my wife, and he's dropped on an island. And the first thing he he does is go. Uh, first thing he does is go. I mean, when in Rome, baby. It's like, hey, you didn't give me a choice. Yeah. Uh, the songbird. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Nice classic, and we'll go finish out the the rest of the arenas. And then we'll call it, yeah. Uh, the City Hunter shot a boxer in the head, and he's still alive, but he's paralyzed from the neck down. That's the anime. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, he is not alive in the manga. Also, no, he's not even alive in the anime. It's like, no, he, he explicitly killed that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. That's on Jaguar Man. I don't know who Jaguar Man is, Chad. Uh, Rio, if I remember correctly, fucks with the guy till he snaps and uh, just has him die in a burning car. Yeah, it was a serial killer who would go around and kill women. Yeah. And I think he posed That's as a like cool a... That's a cool mech, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. That, dude, that dude's pimping out. That's pretty cool. So anytime you beat someone in the arena, uh, if you go all the way down to the the right on the AC tab, you can copy their builds. Ooh, that's very So as long as you have the parts, you can copy it. Those Paradise says all the MCs be murderers. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, all the, all the MCs are like just objectively bad people. And it matches the setting. Where it's like, yeah, yeah this isn't really about, you know, you really can't be a good guy here. I'm asking about Jaguar Man from Fate. You mean uh, the girl? Oh, that's right. Jaguar nice. Warrior. Uh, she's uh, she's kind of annoying. Uh, she's cute, but she's kind of annoying. Uh, it's really, really, really fucking weird that in Babylonia she would just swap outfits and be Yakuza sometimes. <laughs> in Babylonia? <laughs> uh, main guy uh, from my... Uh, from Home Hero Anime uh, asked for... Uh, as for forgiveness from the father of the man and how to beat his daughter, uh, he dumped enough to be uh, surprised uh, with how that almost ended. Well, the guy from my home hero, he actually has a lot that makes sense about him. The reason he's not like a, a cold-blooded killer at first is because he's a normal guy. He's just a fucking salesman. Yeah. But when it came down to it, he beat his fucking daughter's boyfriend to death with a rice cooker. Yeah. Like, he killed the guy. He killed the guy. Uh, it was just when consequences were stacking up and he had time to really think, it's like, oh man, this could, this could kill my entire family, yeah. that he started thinking. And he did ask the guy, it's like, you know, your son tried to kill my fucking daughter. And the guy's like, well, fuck your daughter. And that's when he's like, 
All right, so fuck your son. So I'm going to cut your stomach open. Yeah. And I'm going to bury you in the woods. And he did. It's because her vessel of Taiga is a daughter uh, of, an, of an actual Yakuza. I mean, sure, but in Babylonia? Uh, the moral import of the decision is separate from the character and thematic implications. All that matters is understanding the decision, but all of it matters. I think that's in reference to, like, you know, main characters who are bad guys. Huh. Well, to even, like, have a character become a villain, you have to know what a villain looks like. You can't do the gray morality thing because you're explicitly trying to show him as evil. Yeah. You know? Breaking Bad didn't do the thing of, like, well, Walter's a good guy at the very end. It's like, no, they... No, Walter's a fucking massive... The moment Walter starts selling drugs, he's a massive fucking piece of shit, and it's yeah. just, it just spirals. Yeah, they, they make it abundantly clear he's doing it for his own selfish reasons. You know, once again, it's the thing of everyone wants to reinvent the wheel and be like, well, it's more complicated than that. It's like, no, some shit's very simple. Don't be a dick. Yeah, don't don't be a fucking dick. Your your morality isn't nearly as complex as you think it is. I said he's he's a you got one of the you got one of the agile boys. He's a yeah. fucking cunt. Chetarus, the um, umber ox metal. Ooh, he has a shield. Fuck him. It, it's fine, you know. It deals with shields, mini missiles, guns. <laughs> missiles, and mini guns. Oh no, I'm still on the heavily delusion thing. Oh, so he's just talking about something completely different. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gatsuyuki in the Hell's Paradise was only condemned because he destroyed the New Lord's Gate while shit faced, not because he was a murderer. All the convicts were condemned because they crossed the Shogunate uh, in some way, but only a few of the ones who actually went onto the island were actual killers. Yeah, but they're all pieces of. Sh they are all pieces of shit. Like except the little girl. The, the oh yeah the bandit chick yeah the, the bandit chick the bandit the bandit girl's cute uh, the only reason she's she's there is because racism I'm not joking yeah literally <laughs> it's just racism I I love the fact that she she like immediately becomes friends with her her handler and even the handler's <laughs> like you don't need to be here you don't need you you don't need the uh, you don't need to be here and then and then he's like oh whenever we get off this island I'm gonna marry you little yeah. girl and I was like I was like you know what. This should be weird, but you go, guy. And then he dies in the hardest fucking way possible, and he goes out like such a fucking boss. Yeah, I think the I think the only guy that died harder was the fucking fat guy. <laughs> yeah, the fat guy died really hard because they had a literal um, uh, all quiet on the Western Front moment. Yeah, where he's he's literally fucking like, like thinking he, about his paintings. Yeah, yeah, he's it, it's yeah. You need to die thinking about something good. Think about think about what you like, and it and it's him him going through uh, wanting to be a painter instead of a, an executioner. Yeah, and then he his final painting is of uh, of the Kunoichi chick that he he, uh, he yeah. loves, and I was like. Man, I'm sorry you died probably because you're fat. I ain't gonna. Be, I'm gonna be real. That, that literally is what happened. It's like he was too injured and he was fat and he couldn't keep up. He wasn't the. He wasn't as good of a fighter as the blind guy. Yeah. Because <laughs> that was that was the only reason they kept the blind guy around. It's like, cause that motherfucker could fight. He can fight. He can fight good as shit, dude. She's the one who. She's the one who wants to marry him. The little montage as uh, he's dying, seeing their wedding, legit. They'd be sad. Oh yeah. It's literally like, man, I have a tough life just because I'm a I'm a fucking native, uh, and it's like. Damn, that sucks, little girl. I can elevate you out of that. Yeah. Uh, Samurai Bear for $3. I was checking what's going on, redo of healer, and laughed about what I saw. Uh, MC tried to have his power of friendship moment. Like, dude, all the girls in your party have broken or taken advantage of. You haven't earned this or, uh, or nor deserve it. Yeah. Yeah, no, you, you rape, you know, like, they might they might be bad people, but you uh, you enslaved and raped all of them, so you're not you're yeah. not a good guy. That, that legitimately needs to end with him getting his head cut off because he was the bad guy. Yeah. Doesn't matter if, like, oh, well, they were just as bad. No, but he sank to their level. Mm -hmm. You know? He liked the fat kid in Fuga, yeah. Uh, no, 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 for a dollar. Uh, Ilya had the best line, Heaven's Field, she can regenerate, so cut, rip off her head and violate her corpse. Yeah. Yeah. But she's right, though. She, she can't regenerate. Ilya had a very tough life. I want you to rip off Saber's head and fuck her corpse. Hercules did not like that. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I realize you're talking about Hell's Paradise, but the native girl, I think. Yeah. That's Hell, that's Hell's Paradise. It's a little... Yeah. It's a little brown girl. Yeah, a little, little bandit girl. The only one that's not aggressively white. <laughs> yeah, the, the only one that is, like, like actually a good person. Yeah. We're on fuck good. Devin Metagra, five dollars. Good nights, GS, God bless. Pacific Rim, the, uh, the black review win. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Took it up the ass to get his revenge. Ooh. Uh... Which, at that point, it's like, you could have just prevented yourself from getting fucked up the ass. You could have done something else. Yeah. Yeah. It's like when 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 you get to the point of like I'll let myself get raped up the ass for revenge. It's like maybe you're just crazy. 
Oh no, he's talking about he's talking about Rio. <laughs> that wasn't for revenge. <laughs> that was for Coochie. That was I'll get myself fucked up the ass to prove that her boyfriend's gay so I can fuck her. Yeah, I took a dick in the ass, but it wasn't for revenge, so I could fuck her in the pussy. Alright? And then I think like an arc later, he there was the uh like transvestite crime boss that yeah. got fucked. <laughs> yeah. He had a lot of close calls. He did have a lot. Listen, his ass almost got violated several times. I'm convinced that's why like when Psycho showed up and they had the whole adventure with the warlord, he got to fuck the entire harem to be like, <laughs> I am not gay. I had sex with forty women. Why would you kill Ilya? Uh because in Heavens uh Heavens feels she's evil. Yeah. Like insanely evil. Yeah. Sigma pill, Sigma mill, Rio, yeah. Is that Raven again? Yeah. I, it's, I, I am not gay. I have relationships with women and sex with men. Wait, no, I didn't mean that. And it was 80s Japan, so that statement would have really fucked him over. I did it for the nookie. Yeah. He, he says as he steps off a building. Actually, now I think about it, there... There was that there was that chapter in the manga where uh, they do the reverse trap uh, joke, uh, where basically there is an actress who is disguised as a man, who wants to be protected, uh, so she hires Real to help her. Yeah. Thinking, well, I'm a chick, therefore he won't sexually harass me. He still somehow feels the <laughs> energy and is like, for some reason, I feel like we have a connection, and like gropes her in his sleep. <laughs> yeah. Like he's literally yeah. unconscious and groping her in his sleep, and he wakes up and is like. Why am I touching a dude? Why am I touching a man? And he comes to the conclusion of, that soft thing I was groping in the night, that must have been your balls. <laughs> Dear God. His, his mind didn't know, but his body did. <laughs> See, did you see the retarded ass pastor fighter shit is great. I I love I love that that they got so sick of people complaining about about rollback netcode that they said I'll just fucking kill the game. How about that? You're gonna bitch now? And people said, damn nigga, I didn't mean it. Sorry, chief. Yeah, you, you ain't gotta do that. You ain't gotta do that. It's like I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. I right. oh oh you don't want to shut the fuck up? I got you. I got you. Every character has a TOD 100%. As a matter of fact. You only got to put in a quarter of the effort you had to before. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm trying to read City Hunter. Translations are really bad. Yeah, they're, they're kind of rough, not going to lie. Yeah. I think Manga Dex has the most accurate one. The The one I mainly read was, uh, I think it was Makori scans. Yeah. Uh, they were not bad. A majority of the scans you're going to you're gonna get from uh, City Hunter are from back in the days when people would... Uh, yeah. They didn't care about being faithful. They just wanted to, to, to make things funny a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember back in those days. I remember, <laughs> remember reading the Duang dub. To be fair, the the, the Duang uh, the Duang translation was a uh, Chinese guy. That that was a guy genuinely trying. Yeah, or I think it might have been a Korean guy translating from Chinese, which is already yeah. translated or some shit. But fucking like, yeah. If you if you want to read City Hunter official, learn French. Yeah, that's not even a joke. Yeah. You hate my game? Fine. You don't get to play. Ne no. Those patches made the game unplayable, it's funny as hell. It, it just, it just, everyone has the same resources now, so it's, it don't even matter. Yeah. It's as good as a Duane, is it, is it as good as a Duane translation? No, not it, like it's that. Not, it's, it's not as choppy. funny as the Duane translation. It's a it's people actively changing stuff. Yeah. It was an of the time thing, you know? And in City Hunter, a lot of it was mainly just choppy, like you know, grammatical stuff, some stuff would sound awkward, things like that. Yeah. It wasn't the worst, because City Hunter stories by themselves were really simple. Like it, it was literally like an, an episodic adventure of the of the week type deal. Yeah. So a lot of the time you can get away with with not Such having the best, uh, but it was still choppy. Yeah. I will never wear that emblem. Yeah. All right. And now, eh. you're swapping back over. Mm -hmm. So you can see Armor Core Six, very fucking good, very good game, very great game. Mega good game. Yeah. Very good game. Very good game. Mm hmm. Uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's super fun. Yeah, being uh, able to customize your robot and, and do all the cool stuff. Yeah. If you do, if you if you pick up the game chat, remember as soon as you get the as soon as you get access to them, go to the sort sorty menu and do the tutorials. Yeah. Uh, because this right, uh, uh, these right here, all of these, 
lo- um, they 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 lock upgrades. Yeah. So you need the you need no. Yeah. Yeah. All all of the fucking tutorials. All, all of these you need to you need to go through all of these and do every single one of them because uh, they all have fucking t- uh, items locked behind them. Like yeah. one of these has the the submachine gun, the starter submachine gun that makes the the beginning of the game like bearable. <laughs> It, like it keeps that locked off, and I'm not—I don't mean as in like, oh man, it, it makes it manageable. I mean it's significantly more fun to have an automatic, at least one automatic weapon on you at all times. Yeah, it just makes the game more fun. All right, now back. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, with the jiggle physics, the mechs jiggle. Yeah. They jiggle real good. Mark Van Hanford, oh, remember when my Oshie sucked your dick? That was me, showed I sucked your dick. He came to a nigga sucking you off and didn't say no homo. I don't know, man. That sounds pretty gay. Yeah. But whatever I nut inside's a woman, faggot. Uh, would you have liked to have the Ace Combat 7 post-mission camera where you can film your plays during the mission? Eh. I don't really mess with stuff not, like that. Not really, because these missions yeah. are significantly shorter. They're, yeah. Most missions are going to be, like, five minutes tops. Yeah. And it's only the ones with, it's only, like, the chapter boss fights that cause any issue. Yeah. Like, I, I don't really mess with stuff like that. I don't mess with photo mode. Like, eh. Some people really like it. I, I'm just kind of like, I don't really see a motivation to. Uh. Well, he's the only person I've seen who criticized episode three without just spurging about gay. Well, I mean, Bill was gay in the game, so, yeah. Yeah. My problem is the fact that Bill was gay in the game, but he was a fucking badass on top of that. Episode 3 just made him gay. And, like, an aggressive stereotype gay. Like, very beginning when he's, like, crazy prepper, like, ultra-libertarian guy, it's like, okay, that's pretty, that's pretty funny. Uh, that's pretty interesting, seeing him, like, actually set up his traps and, like, build his compounds. Like, that's cool. Then it turned into he, he meets Frank, and it's the most boring shit ever. It's like, this is a bad Walking Dead episode. Shroger for $10. Hey, Law, I just want to say thank you. This may sound kind of gay, but my dad passed away a couple weeks ago, and your stream has managed to be one of the few things I've managed to laugh at lately. Yeah. Goddamn. Yeah. It be how it be. It be how it be. Just always remember that. Chat, uh, throw rocks at him. It's his first super chat. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Bill was gay, but that was a tiny part of him. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah. it wasn't the main thing. It wasn't, we wanted to trick people into watching a gay romance. I'm not going to lie. When I heard that, I was completely like, fuck you. Yeah, I mean. Fuck yeah. you. It is, it is goddamn current year. 2020, whatever the fuck, and, and you're tricking people into watching a gay romance? Do you have any idea how many fucking movies for gay people have come out in the last 30 years alone? Yeah, it's dumb. You have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. Walking Dead had gay characters. Yeah. Uh. Gay and badass? That's an oxymoron. Well, like, you play the game, and it's all about the fact that he's a prepper who has a very tense relationship with Joel. Yeah. You're not supposed to bring that shit up all the fucking time because no one gives a fuck. Especially so in the fucking post-apocalypse. Yeah. And especially when you're being chased by zombies. Yeah. Like, what the... Like, the only reason people bring up their sexuality all the time nowadays is because they get fucking ass pats for it. Like, yeah. whenever you take away the, the societal system of giving people ass pats and elevating them above their station because of their sexuality and shit like that, like, yeah. it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. It's fucking stupid. Yeah. And I hated being talked down to with that fucking show. It's like, fuck stupid you. Fuck. Especially with the fact that that's the same episode where Joel gets rid of a fucking M4 because, yeah. hey, it doesn't have enough ammo. While you're going to a compound owned by a prepper who has shitloads of guns and probably loaded his own fucking bullets. Yeah. Stupid. <sighs> stupid as fuck. Stupid. People, people ignored that. They actually ignored that. They ignored it because gay. Not only did they ignore that, they, they they flat out were like, well, yeah, that makes sense. No, it, no, it fucking doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it fucking doesn't. No. no. Uh. There's, no reason to, there's no reason to get rid of a gun at all. No. Like, like even if he didn't have ammo for it, human bandits wouldn't know. Yeah, a human human bandits wouldn't know you could fake them out. I mean, fuck, even if, like, absolute push came to shove, uh, a fucking rifle is still weighty. It's easy to beat something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> beat someone's head in. Ugh. Hashtag last of our brain cells. Yeah. If someone pulled an M4, nigga, I wouldn't fuck with them. Exactly. Yeah, you don't know. Yeah. Journalist for the Bill episode this is a masterpiece. Yeah, it's like, it's a thing where, like, seeing the, the high reviews for the show, I'm like, I don't understand. I don't understand. 
Uh, Seg162 for two hours. Hi, Jimmy Wells here. Wikipedia is not for sale. Kill yourself, Jimmy. Uh. What do you think of uh, what do you think of Tekken 8's Yoshimitsu design? So much better than Seven's. Yeah. Seven's fucking Seven Squid Yoshimitsu actively stopped me from playing the character because I was like, this looks yeah. too fucking dumb. I'm sorry. Isn't like five five six the most popular round used by the military? Not only that, they had factories that were working in that setting that made bullets. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, Could have sold the M4 for something. Not even that. Break it. The gun breaks in half uh, when when they fight the clickers and the the clicker rips the gun out of Joel's hand. The mm -hmm. barrel's bent. Yeah. You know, something where, like, hey, it's... You really can't use it for anything. Road handled it way better. The guy just kept the gun even though it was empty. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he kept he kept it empty. He went as far as to uh, make little wooden bullets to, make to it put look inside like, yeah. the cylinder so that they would think that it was loaded. Yeah. Uh, the last of us went from a good game with a great story to a walking dead. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Ugh. I think the game I Am Alive did, did a fake out with the empty gun. Yeah, it was an actual mechanic. You could hold the gun on him, and so long as you didn't pull the trigger. Because they explicitly said it was it was inspired by the road, and yeah. I mean, that was a plot point in the road. Yeah, that was pretty major. I forgot the Bargus picks. I like Swimsuit Bargus. She's pretty good. She's got fucking milkers that could crush the planet. The whole planet, chat. Empty all this time? Well, no, in the game you could get bullets, but the whole point is if if you held it on them and uh, pulled the trigger and you had no bullets, then the fake out would be broken and they'd come after you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's it was an interesting mechanic. Game itself was like, eh. But yeah. I, I always liked kind of the... The interactions with people in the in the game were genuinely interesting. Yeah. Where, like, you could fake your way out of situations and, like... Not even talk your way, just be like, hey, don't fuck with me, and they'll actually, like, back up and, and be like, all right, all right, we'll let you through, because they don't want to get shot. Mm -hmm. I like Xenomorph Yoshi, uh, but yeah, Demon Cosplay Yoshi's definitely better. Uh, I hate the squid tentacles. The squid tentacles piss me off. Uh, by the way, Boo, how good is how good is Summer Mar uh, Bargus supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Bargus best girl. I do like how fat her titties are, chat. It is true. Her titties are fat. Uh, I'm Alive was a fucking cool concept. Too short, no sequel, though. Yeah. Yeah. Good concept, but... Eh. It was, a. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was indie, yeah? Yeah, it, it, it was indie, but I think it was, like, published by Square Enix or something. Mm. You gonna play Starfield next? No. No, I don't really plan on it. I've got no interest in Starfield. Uh... And Last of Us itself, uh, human enemies will fall for a fake-out with an empty gun until you try and fire it with no ammo. Yeah. I don't really remember that, but I think it's just because of the fact that usually when a situation's that shit, it's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I do remember if you grab an enemy and have a gun to their head, their friends will be like, they will hesitate. Yeah. Stuff like that's interesting. It's interesting. All right. B B Boo, the fucking, the, the Bargust with Nero, uh, swimsuit Nero stuck between her tits is funnier than fuck. <laughs> it's funny. All right. Can we finish Fuga next? Never. Yeah. I'm actually ready to call it when you are. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's almost 3.30 here, and we are, we are sleepy. We are sleepy. So very, very fun shit. Very uh -huh. fun shit. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, everybody showed up. Good time. We'll figure out a game for next stream. We'll, we'll figure oh, it out. Oh, I already got one planned for next stream. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, already planned. Great. All right. Yeah. Love you, boys. Bye-bye. I plan on getting the City Hunter video out before the next stream. You're supposed to cut it before I said I love you, you piece of shit. I know, but before the next stream. I'm about to turn this into the super best.
come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. I say you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need the money when you look like that, do you, honey? A big black boots, a long brown hair. And she's so sweet with her. Said, are you gonna be my girl? Well, it's a one, two, three, take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. I said, you look so fine that I really wanna make you mine. Four, five, six, come on and get your kicks. Now you don't need the money with a face like that, do ya? I said, are you gonna be my girl?